Welcome to Let's Go With It Live, everyone. I remain somehow, perhaps tragically, after all this time, Grimoth. And we are back with the world of Inroth, a fusion of six, seven, and eight together in a merge mod uh, with the revamp branch on. We're in seven, and we're going to remain in seven at least until we are given the opportunity to transition worlds. Where exactly that is, uh, we'll see when we get there. But that's okay, because I do know Seven the best. Uh, the mod threw some curveballs at me last night, but that was to be expected. It's a learning experience coming in. I certainly didn't know all of the mechanics about the character classes uh, heading into creation, let alone having a Harpy Queen spawn behind me because of the Town Hall bounty. Or, uh, trying to figure out how the hell to access my follower tab, not having read that the tour guide wasn't with me because she went to go get drunk, because, like, fuck it, fine, I'm just gonna wait for the next group. And that my hotkeys for pulling up followers that I'm used to in, say, 7 don't work here. But eventually, we were able to access the face, uh, with, uh, middle mouse button and then heading over there and not holding down right mouse button and heading over there. And once we had that power, uh, we got out of the doldrums, we cleared out Emerald Isle, we did a pretty good job with that, and once we bounced into the main continent, we've uh, just bebopping along, we just recently cleared out our castle, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and clear out the home too. A clean home is a happy home, right? I'll remove our beginning soon text as we're beginning now. We'll be joined by Air Conditioner. Uh, as I have mentioned, any of my broadcasts will be over the next several months, courtesy of the time of year for me in the Northern Hemisphere. So, you missed character creation. We have five of these chuckle fucks. Five. Playing Might Magic 7 with five people. It's remarkable. Vargas the Knight using the Might Magic 6. Uh, human? We got the Day of the God Shrine running, which is why our stats are this high. We have Flailfist the Ninth as a monk, uh, currently not using his fist, but instead a club, because we still have minimum recovery time, even with this merge, revamp, branch, uh, gray face, all that shit fused together. Our, our club time is still stupid, so fuck it. We have Imizuri Lidrathir, the Dark Elf Archer. Uh, she is doubtlessly, without question, the most infuriating character on the team. <laughs> Just from a vocal perspective, I, I've i decided to keep her vocals. Uh, I refuse to bring along perfect I did it again voice, but uh, I haven't heard this one enough to throw it into a blender. We didn't have a, a joke goal marathon where I listened to that with every single character. So that's just providing, you know, com comic relief. We have Polly, the elven cleric. He knows and sees all. He understands. He tells it like it is. I was intending for him to be my archer, but an elf has a, uh, a malice to might, and a dark elf does not. So, fuck it. And we have Jarek, the Lich Sorcerer, because you can pick up undead races. And I chose an undead race. Here we are. <laughs> Abracadabra. How do you pronounce that name? Imizuri Lidrathir. It is a name of my own construction. I used it uh, for a green dragon player character. And I thought it was suitably ostentatious and obnoxious uh, for her to have. That's right. Uh, we have some artificial aging, courtesy of the Harpy Queen that ambushed us. It was tragic. Yes, uh, we pulled this off of Morkarak the Pitiless, the Staff of Elements. Of air magic, of fire magic, of water magic, of earth magic. Minus 40 armor class. But our, our magic skills... They're going to continue to escalate in power. It's gonna be... Delicious. Currently at level 4. As for skills, Vargas hasn't upped anything yet, neither has Flailfist. The Missouri Leadrathir has Disarm Trap. Uh, not that she can get the expert tier in that until we get her promotion, which involves replacing an elevator belt. 
uh, the Red Dwarf Mines. Uh, Polly, as Merchant Expert, Spirit Magic Expert, and Body Magic Expert as our Cleric. Alchemy! So, I had not intended to put Alchemy on him. Uh, I'm used to Alchemy being done by the fourth member in my party for Might and Magic 7. I'm not used to having five characters in the party, so I just picked it up out of habit and I was like, ah, damn it. And so I thought about how I would remove it. One way would be to pull up the console from MM Extension and run some code that would target this and isolate this and get it removed. And I thought about that and I was like, am I willing to go through that amount of labor? Am I that annoyed by this? And I was like, no, I'm not. The other thing was to pull out the Might and Magic 8 save editor and risk it all. Despite, you know, this being a modded fusion of 6, 7, and 8 instead of just 8. So I dusted off the Wayback Machine, uh, went to a zip file of that, because every other link I found was broken or suspicious. And who knows what the hell I put on my computer. Got that running. I was actually able to load up the save. I was actually even able to remove alchemy, but the resulting, uh, unintended consequences kind of made me go, eh. And the more I thought of it, I was like, you know, it might be helpful to have this around just in case the lich goes down and I need to make a complex potion for whatever godforsaken reason. But with that in mind, it's just going to stay. There have been runs where I've bought every available skill anyway. So, I got over it. That is the second time someone in chat read the name Polly and was like, Wow, bird, lol! Way to go. It's like questions, low-hanging fruit. So we just cleared out Castle Harverdale. Uh, I thought about training, but again, a clean home is a happy home, and uh, we're going to see to it that uh, the goblins uh, beyond our doorstep have been resolved. Two of them already... Uh... Cap has them. Must have sent... <laughs> Yes, that is my party. <laughs> Thank you. I'll let Big Twitch know about the party. A couple of, uh, the folks decided they wanted to come into town, and I strictly said no. We have Hairbog over here, the traitor. We're not going to talk to him right now. He can sit there. He knows what he did. All right. Let's get some fire auras up. Because our clubs, of course, need to be more powerful. Yeah, they need to do 2 to 12 points of fire damage. Yes, I can blame you. Accountability. Ah, did that mean to click out of the game window? I recently spent a whole bunch of money on spells, too. Exciting. Hello! So, there was a time in my life where I would slowly and methodically go through this area. It would take a good deal of time. You know, you're low level. There's a lot of goblins out here. They do have ranged attacks. Uh, very dangerous, particularly if you have any dwarves in the party, as the goblins will single out those dwarven targets. Uh, today is not one of those times. Today, the enemies are going to get their asses beaten down, and it's going to be great, really. <laughs> We're, uh, we're doing a little bit of damage, and we have a pretty strong attack modifier. And uh, we're not going to worry about mixing it up in melee. We have no dwarves for them to single out. <laughs> you know... Nah. Fuck it. We can always clean our home up in a bit. Pay no attention to the fort right now. Bigger challenge. I don't even need to have regeneration running, though I do have the spell, yes? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting used to these graphics in Might and Magic 7. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't anticipated the body horror. Ahem. Yep, we have regeneration. That's that's good. 
that's that's good. That's good. Strong, strong, strong that, yeah. No, uh, all these goblins are out here uh, preventing free-flowing trade from our town to uh, both Arathia and Pierpont. Much like the squatters who are sitting in our castle, they, uh, they're not taking no for an answer. This is part of uh, regular maintenance and upkeep that you must perform. You know how it is. Spring cleaning, even though it's mid-February, getting an early start. I'm gonna try not to hit that night. Or that one too. I can even heal them at range, uh, since I have expert body magic, but you know what? They wouldn't show me any damn respect anyway. I like all those goblins in town, all the guards in town sass mouth me, so fuck them. Stop manning that. They're trying to hit me with sparks. That's right. God forbid I get tagged by the Homeowners Association. They're not paying attention right now, damn it, but they will. Soon. Whoop. Hold on, I can I can fix this. Never mind that I can walk around. Wait, right? Wrong character. Ah, I've still got to do adjust to that. Tally-ho! Never saw me coming. Damn. Surely that low wall will impede him. Like I'm playing Fortnite. <laughs> Doing great, guys. I don't know. Hold on, hold on, I got this. Oh. I don't know. There we go, we healed him up. Like 20 hit points. All right, good work, team. Go get them. Go, 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 go. They went. <laughs> they definitely went. Ahem. I was actually too close. That's the most damage that was dealt to me. Oh, no. <laughs> Ahem. Stand back up, Polly. Probably treat yourself to a regeneration. <laughs> Satisfying. So what we got from this experience is that I'm more dangerous to me than they are. But I knew that. As dangerous as they go. Give me a Weezard eye. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright. Let's see here. Regeneration. Where do you where do you think you're going, kid? Stop moving. Our work here is not quite done just yet. Get out! Get out! Hey! Get out! Get out! Get out! Hey you! Hey you! Hey you! I don't know. <laughs> uh. Go join our guilds. Hello. No. No, never mind. It's through this door. Water Guild membership. Earth Guild membership. And we've already joined the Mine Guild. Not that that guild fucking matters. Pick up our plus ten might. Note, by the way, that we are using the Might and Magic 8 engine. Uh, we get to have locations of skill trainers marked on the map. We know where we they are. Oh, I think I need to go up the other side, don't I? Yeah. 
Wait, what time of day is it? No, let's let's clean up all that stuff in a bit, including the the chest crate that's over there. In a day of the gods running, though, it's gonna be running for another twelve hours. Still, let's go ahead and take care of the enemies. We can loot later. We'll tag this one, though. One of the uh, signal fires. That way we can summon the help of the Rathian forces, wink. Yeah. Bring on a bigger challenge. I came, I saw, I came again. Words to live by. <laughs> too easy. Oh no, it's snowing again. This is a weather visual effect that we can disable, uh, added by our assortment of modifications. It is jarring. Letter for- I beg your pardon? Okay. I legit didn't know this was in here. I guess it's a letter for me. All right. It looks worthless. I look forward to learning more. Yeah, totally not a scam. <laughs> Please insert your credit card details. Hello, nobles. I have an offer for you, which would eclipse the fate of any hero. Meet me in empty tower of Clancer's laboratory in Talarian Forest. Won't trust more details of the paper. I will be there any time you will decide to come, but even it is against code of our organization. I plead, do not delay too long. Very excellent. <laughs> well, well, V, I am deeply tempted. I would like to know more. <laughs> Bring on a bigger challenge. All right. No match for me. <laughs> We can visit the Arbiter later. We got- we got murdering to do. Ah. Ah. How are the spells doing? Oh yeah, it's- that's- that's plenty good. Give me a feather fall. Renew the bless. Bless! How many spell points we got? A decent amount. That's right, Lethal. These caves are the traditional hideout of goblins and bandits. Whatever lives there now doesn't make the place smell too good. Hmm. Perhaps a worthy challenge awaits us. Perhaps a worthy challenge does await us. Let's light up the room. We got troglodytes in here. Drones, soldiers, queens. I don't know. They have some number of hit points. No queens in this initial area. <laughs> oh, excuse me. They came from behind. <laughs> and I'm gonna focus on clearing this area out before we do anything in the way of looting. It'll uh, take us some extra real-life backtracking time, but that's okay. We have some oozes we would need. I don't know. Magical attacks to harm them. It's a good thing that we have magical attacks, because our clubs are enchanted. Now, uh, there is monster infighting in this game. Groups will fight each other, which I like. Any game that has monster infighting... Helpful. Also, bro. Stop making that face. Again. Ahem. I fix. 
suspicious. I know there's at least one secret door uh, that we're going to be accessing. We don't have sufficient enough perception for it to be marked on our, our view, but I know it's there. Damn it, I did it again. Hello? Enemies? Are we being invaded? Huh? Invasion? Huh? Player infighting? Oh no. Some barrels to smash our heads into in a bit. It takes care of this section. This is where the secret door is? Yeah. Too good at video games. And I have I have played quite a bit of seven over the course of my life. I could not do these call outs with eight for sure. And six, uh six has a lot. Six is a lot to remember. That one was weak. It sure was. It sure was. A few more oozes in here. I think. Nope. I just remembered where they were. Oh yeah, this is Might Magic 7 through and through. Uh, maybe heading to the empty portion of Clancer's laboratory will uh, take us to... offer us the opportunity to get to the content of the other games. Uh, for now, we are stuck here in 7. You can choose which game you want to start in. I just know this game the best, and so... I wanted to start in this one. All right. Here is our Archomage deck. And uh, that's uh, clear of this dungeon. As strong as this hat, it's plus two, just like the other hats. We have three games worth of gear, which means we're gonna have three games worth of cruddy gear. It's gonna be, it's gonna be exciting. Remove curse? That's not terrible to keep around. Let's do that. Okay. That's an ore vein, I don't care. There's our Archomage deck. A deck of fancifully drawn cards used for a popular card game. Remains of a journal. Studies in the game of Archomage have turned to the following observations. How you choose to win the game should be based on the victory conditions. If the tower starts small, you stand a good chance of destroying your opponent's tower. If the towers or walls start large, you should concentrate on your own tower. If the towers or walls start large and you need a huge tower to win, a resource victory might be more easily attainable. Also note that red cards tend to focus on your wall, blue cards focus on your tower, green cards focus on your offense. Keep this in mind when choosing whether to emphasize glories, magic, magic or zoos. I have noticed a prevailing trend in the thinking of most Archimage players that could provide an edge against them. If they start to play blue cards, you can counter the... That's right. Archimage, uh... A minigame with cards that has zero card building. Hmm. Instead, it's, uh, hope you drew it, sucker. And I hope they didn't draw it. It looks worthless. Let's leave it. All right, I have heard enough of her voice identifying for now. We'll find a use for this. There we go. I need someone more positive here. We'll find a use for this. Oh, the music is looping. Happy days are here again. I just had to change the MP3s to waves. Ride the wave, man. And if any loot gets left behind, there's enough loot in the fucking three games combined. I think I'll be okay. We'll find a use for this. Somehow I think I'm going to manage. And because these areas do restock. Endless loot. Just infinite loot forever. We'll find a use for this. Very weak. Huh. Thunder Mason here. Huh. This maze is one of the thousands turned out by the heavenly forges before the silence. A thunder mason here? Oh, whatever. Huh. We'll leave the club. Uh, someone needs uh, that club moving forward as an adventurer. Excuse me. Let me just... Oh. Hmm. Deal. Money. This is worthless. 
This is worthless. Hmm. Hmm. There's no traps on these chests, but I have it. I want to get into the habit of selecting more my disarmor. We'll find a use for this. Fireball scroll. Not we'll needed. Use for this. Intellect plus one horn helmet. I mean, bubble economics is one thing, but let me. I'm just not gonna bother. Mmm. Mm. Hey, the place is filled. Oh, it's a barbed club. We have anything that just deals one d two damage? We do. My God. Upgrades. A club for another adventure. There we go. There's 24 minutes of enchantment. Good luck getting to it in time. All right, let's go drinking. Green, purple, yellow, red, orange, red. At this point in my life, I just tend to smash the first character's barrel head into the barrels. I'll do that except for the uh, the spell casting barrels. Just first character privilege. Mm. Mm. Ah. <laughs> it's my gift to them, to the world, really. Let's go back through here. Got that stuff. I will turn right. In 400 meters. Make a right turn. Thank God still has nine hours on it. I probably could have put less gas on getting this stuff cleared. But it happened. We'll find a use for this. It looks worthless. Combination pull axe and spear, the halberd can inflict terrible wounds but recovers slowly from swings. It's one of average quality and workmanship. Depending on the uh, the role playing game you're playing, uh, halberds can be absolute ass beaters. Uh, a song of ice and fire comes to mind, or just like normal trained like guards for like towns or fortifications with a halberd just wreck face. It's like oh god. <laughs> Let's leave it. I say normal trade. This is powerful. That kind of training in Aramets takes, well, more than normal. It looks worthless. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. We will not. I don't know whether it will remain the same. I mean, hell, we could even change it uh, between the varying games. You like the Might and Magic 6 interface? Would you like the Might and Magic 8 interface? Would you like it to be dependent on your continent? I'm choosing this up. Alright. We left a couple clubs behind. Uh, for scavenger hunts, the rest is ours. Let's leave the rest. And, you know, the rest being... The ore. They can have that, I guess. That can be their damn problem. I don't give a fuck about that. Oh no, it's no- Oh god! Why? It's in my eyes! Ah! I never asked for this. We're going to leave the weather effects on for now. I don't find them too annoying yet. Go say hi to the Arbiter. How's our inventory doing on reagents? Good. How are you doing, my lords? I am Judge Grey. I have the unusual job of arbitrating disputes between the warring nations. The position has it is rewards, but you'll never hear the people you're helping thank you. I always know I'm doing the right thing when both sides are angry with me at once. If there is one piece of advice I could give you, it would be to fix your castle. I don't know how you're going to find the golden workers to do it, as only wealthy nobles and kings can afford such large-scale projects. 
I suppose it's the old chicken and egg question. You must appear noble to gain wealth and respect, but you must have wealth and respect in order to appear noble. In any event, if you expect to be lords of Harmondale for more than a few months, you need to find a way to prove you're not just lucky peasants. You must prove that you're fit to rule. Lucky peasants? We smoked that scavenger hunt. Within 24 hours. We arrived on the island, we got everything done, but, you know, the judge's house was closed, and so we came back the next day. And I lost... Oh, no. Oh, no, I wasn't expecting that to just... Oh. That's funny. <laughs> So, normally, the Arbiter would recognize the quests you've already done that had quest items attached to it, and not give you those fucking items. Uh, but it's a way for you to grab quest items that you have accidentally lost, like Divine Intervention, or the Oscillation Overthruster, or insert other quest item here. I wasn't expecting to get all this crap back. Well, let me go stash that somewhere. Uh, I got it. I have an idea. Ahem. Yes, I explicitly noted the Book of Divine Intervention and the Oscillation Overthrust. <laughs> but it's good that you threw in or that, too, j just to make sure. Yeah, that happens all the time. It, it's chat. <laughs> anyway, it's more than just the two clubs in here now. Let me... The adventurers need to have a loot, and some pipes that you can't play, and a wealthy hat, and a seashell, and this guy's signet ring somehow. Good fucking luck finding that again. Uh, and Parsons Quill, that's unfortunate that that ended up with me. And a floor tile? Who knows how that got here. Alright. Great. We're keeping that, though. That's our letter. And for this letter, fuck it. Not my problem. You you adventurers have fun with that. There's there's prizes to be had. It's a mystery, mystery a mysterious scavenger hunt. No worries. These things happen. No big deal. I'm pretty sure I already lit that signal fire, but I think all three of them have to be lit simultaneously. I don't remember. Who knows how... Okay. Cool. We've already signaled it. Delightful. Eventually, some of these trees around here do bear fruit, but, you know, look at the fucking weather, right? There is uh, the chest that I'm looking for over here. We're going to have to slip on down, and then I'll just go ahead and cast jump to speed this up. Uh -oh. Right, I was in the habit of these crates not being trapped now. So, so much for my habit of checking them. Uh, I'm also enjoying what's happening with my, uh, my Lich's spell point bar. I'm glad that, uh, remains, uh, true to how Liches perform. Uh, let me go grab this. Deidre Planet Bustered Miriam? Deidre had to have been, like, provoked. Like, Miriam didn't throw out a Planet Buster first? Okay, the weather is mildly distracting. I'm like, which side was this on?
Okay, Weather, you need to... <laughs> Hold up. Weather. You need to turn the hell off for a moment. Times like this, you want to fly, Spell. Oh, okay. Just didn't go up far enough. You may proceed. Idris shot first. Oh. Well, I guess it'll come back when it decides to. Sure. In Might Magic 6 and 7, you could have higher links. Uh, Might Magic 8 didn't have that, but naturally for the fusion of these three games, uh, you'd be playing two that would have higher links. Uh, the revamp branch uh, has a setting that you can edit that can adjust how many followers you can have along. The default setting for that is four, so we have four friends. We have Gilmore the Duper. We have Shauna the Scholar. We have Boris the Gate Master. And we have Mindy the Instructor. So we're getting bonuses to Merchant, bonuses to Experience, Total Item ID, and a Town Portal once a day. So that was a four, but you could, you know, of course, edit that, uh, that file that stipulates how many you can have to have even more. More people. Just think of the numbers. It looks worthless. Hmm. Hey, the place is filled. We'll find a use for this. I guess, yes, I hear you over there. Hmm. I was expecting to hear these being locked, which means I was expecting to hear her saying, I disarmed this. I can't imagine they removed that dialogue. It looks worthless. Hmm. Hmm. Well, it's like I need to renew my wizard die. Aha! <laughs> Guess there is a little bit more fighting I have to do around the fort, but we'll have time to clear that out. What time of day is it? Oh yeah. We're about to be enshrouded in darkness, everyone. So, just like every other day for me. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> Followers take 102 gold. Wait, what? Oh no! <laughs> I'm losing money! Uh, sensibly, but it does depend on who your hirelings are. Uh, quite a number of hirelings in this game don't take much. Oh, there's our snow. Now, if you're rolling with, like, five burglars, then yeah, you're not gonna get a damn penny. <laughs> or, as, you know, in the case of, like, four burglars. As the default setting for the revamp branch is four and you would get 20%. They say they take nothing, but I know better. Because I've played video games before. Like this one. You can see the, uh, the challenge torch out there. We can actually see what the hell that was, huh? That's the contest of luck. Hmm. Also, we have control of the fort. We... We will not use these powers. We do not need to. I didn't even open the damn thing and they spawned to come eat me. Can't hold on much longer. The goblins have received assistance from some large flying creature and they began falling from the sky soon after we took the fort. I don't think we're going to survive much longer. I'm going to miss my wife and family. Well, they better pull out the fucking cliff racers if they want to deal with me. Let me fucking tell you what. The funny fucking cliff racer comes out of <laughs> What the fuck? Easy. The spell is ready. That one was weak. Do I need to put it to this? Hmm. Hold on. Time out, goblins. Yes. Cool. Okay. Now when I use my fight command and not just my shoot command. Which means 
I can actually take that off the shoot command, because that's not a spell you want to shoot. With frowns deeply. The spell is ready. Well, don't have it be ready. The spell is ready. Okay. Fuck it. And here I thought we were going to have something nice. Bring on a bigger challenge. No challenge at all. Well, as you wouldn't be able to see over 100% unless you edited that file. That is not something we will be experiencing over the course of gameplay. Like, who takes the highest by default? Like, a Spellmaster with 25%? Or is it just 20% that's the cap for any follower? All right, no, it's just not something that we're going to be experiencing. But if you want to edit it to try and experience it for yourself, I would just presume that it would cap at 100%. Give me your fucking spells. I want to... I guess I could just bind it to this button. That doesn't, that doesn't really work with the flow. We'll figure something out. Anyway, that's all the goblins resolved. Cleaning up the homestead. We did it. We'll leave that obsidian. That makes catalysts. Not much into those. Not that they can't be powerful. But the ones and fives, nah. I don't think it's worth the bookkeeping. Not like they sell for much, either. Catalyst potions sell for a whopping one gold. On the individual regions themselves, you would need to get a bit beyond obsidian and mushroom. Final signal fire. Oh! My bad. There's a few more goblins down there. My home's supposed to be clean and happy. One moment. Ahem. Obelisk back here with a couple of crates slash chests. Just one. Okay. Very weak. Hey, the place is. We'll find a use for this. Mmm. All right, we've got a bunch of crud that will result in marginal amounts of gold gained. Huzzah! Forty food up there. Twelve thousand eight hundred gold on hand. Nifty. That was what eight thousand ish gold I've earned. But clearing this stuff out, that's before I even sell all the junk I have. And that's with my followers taking a decent chunk. About half. The gate master takes 20%, the instructor takes 7%, the scholar takes 5%, the duper takes 2%. Oh. Alright. We can rest in our castle, but until that gets repaired, I'm pretty sure that still costs me two food. And just because I have 40 days of food doesn't mean I want to spend 40 days of food, right? The rich gotta get richer, you know? Come in, come in! We'll have a... Also say, hey, we cleaned these out so we can complete the quest. Thank heavens you've cleaned them out. Now we need to find a way to clean up the castle, rebuild the damaged sections. The only people I can think of who would have the inclination and the ability to do this are the dwarves in Stone City, located in the Barrow Downs of the south. The entrance to Stone City lies in the center of the Barrow Downs on one of the largest hills. 
All right. Archomage? Archomage? Cards. Come in, come in. Play a hand of Archomage. Okay. Here is your brief primer. This is a minigame. It has cards in it, but you don't do deck building. We got six cards in a hand. We play a card, we discard a card. Sometimes you're allowed to play again, so you can keep playing. That's that. We have resources over here, three flavors. We have bricks, gems, and recruits, as they're called in Might Magic 8, not beasts. We have quarries, uh, magic, and zoos, or barracks, or whatever the hell, like, Might Magic 8's gonna call them which act as resource generators. We have two of each, our foe has two of each. Towers, one way to win the game. Get your tower height up to the tippy top. Another way to win the game. Get the opponent's tower to zero. Third way to win the game. Get your resource counter to a specific value defined by the tavern you're playing in. That's that. Play some cards. I need four more tower. That's not four more tower. That's three more tower. Just gotta discard tremors. Yes, you, yes. Yes, you get that magic. All right, we got our win. Did not notice the status bar telling me how much gold we won. The followers take a cut of that. The counts as finding gold on the ground. Good work, Vargas. One and oh, baby. Come in, come in. Have a nap. Enjoy your stay. Oh, I forgot to... No matter. There's a... Not that big of a deal. Okay. Need some training? Hello? You're just here. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Gertrude. I. It makes sense that the merge mod would sprinkle around some hireable folks. Just in case you didn't create a full party of five, or... Like, warped here, didn't have a full party of five for whatever reason, wanted to dismiss someone. Sure, well, you keep hanging out here. I forget whether it's 10 or 15 that this place trains up to. We're definitely going to be going up. We got a kill uh, while... Holly was unconscious uh, through the fireball, so his experience point value is going to be he is the first one to break free <laughs> and have a slightly different score. Ah! The pain. Ah. Hi, how are you? Guess I could grab some ID monster. Can I help you with anything? I put repair item on you already. Um, don't. Not gonna be using ID item or ID huh. monster right now. Talk to the hand. But what I will be doing is uh, vending things. Is there any of this stuff I want to keep? Might as well keep the boots. Uh, anyone not have a cloak? You don't. Sure, put that on. You still have zero armor class. Good. Mm. And none of this other stuff. Oh, this is worthless. Sure, put it on. Mr. This is worthless. There you go, bud. Mm. And then... Yeah. This endurance plus three. That's yeah. not significant enough for me to care about putting on. Let's sell this Can stuff. I help you with anything? Huh. 
<laughs> Fickle Grimoth. Give me a moment as Fickle Grimoth, please. Need some training? Sure. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. Guess this place does go up to 15. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. And it's now April the 4th. Don't think we'll be thinking about those snow effects for a bit. Skill point wise. I'm not enthused about the idea of constantly cycling my items through my inventory to have one person repair them. But that's the reality that I live in and it's gonna exist. I hate this reality. Okay. Oh. Right. Hold on. Eat a horseshoe. Eat two. There we go. Why not show off some perception while we're at it? Fuck it, I'm feeling generous. Have three horseshoes. They don't all just have to go to Jarek. Hmm. Rift squints. It's a month and a half. That's not getting changed. Wheel? Truck. Give me a couple of extra spell points, please. And you. We'll take some extra spell points. Regeneration? Or is it just an undead thing? Yeah, why not? Sure. Cool. I was noticing those hit points were going up. I was also keeping an eye on the spell points too. Lichness and all. <laughs> Five characters. What a time to be alive. Can I help you with anything? Uh, lamps are... do not function the same in this. Lamps just give you something at random. Lamps don't have a scheduled calendar timer, uh, per my understanding. The regeneration spell is the revamp version, the... the branch of... this game. That's what the spell says. How well it functions, I couldn't say. That's a description text of it. There's the Might Magic 8 logo. Can I help you with anything? Alright. I'm not used to the number four being my seller. Ah, fuck it, sell that too. Okay. Thanks. Come again. I say that in the sense of, like, revamp with the Merge Branch because I don't know whether it has changed. <laughs> Need a new weapon? I don't know how it functions. I'm defining for you that the video game is modified. 
but I'm still exploring and discovering. And it's not like a formula is printed out for me on how it functions in the video game itself. Thanks. Coming. See anything you want? Okay. Thanks a lot. Come in, come in. Need a new weapon? Yeah, I don't think I... Dagger could be useful. Depends on... I'll go ahead and pick up the dagger skill. Depends on the sort of, like, relic or artifact that I find that I might want to equip for whatever reason. Thanks. Come again. See anything you want? Don't think I'm going to bother with any of those. What in hell, you penny-pinching miser? I presume the ancient weapons will still have some firepower. How much I make use out of them. Anyway, go ahead and pick up repair item expert so that we can break our shit that gets broken. So that we can break our shit that gets broken. I stand by my sentence. Dead? Oh dear, those are certainly his cards, though. I don't want the cards, you can have them. That game has cost me enough now. Oh, poor Elrond. I have a little money you can keep for your help, and thank you for finding out what happened to Elrond. You got it, bud. Here is a demonstration of uh, the learning skill actually applying to quest XP now. As this character had level 1 learning. And uh, she is now off the, uh, the same wagon that the other three are remain on. And I'll go ahead and grab those, even though I'm using a club and wearing leather armor for the moment. No longer need to be wearing it. Yeah. Should be able to train up another level, though, yeah. I was very close to level 12. Now we can grab level 12. See anything you want? Thanks a lot. A little bit more gold, please. Gold, please. Can I help you with anything? Right. Huh. Take that back. Hi. How are you? Buy some more bottles. There's no room! There is no room. Shall we mix another? There's now room. Need some training? Okay, we got everything out of you. Cool. Huh. Interesting. Why do you cost more? Is this a uh, goblin hate? Is this because your personality is trash? <laughs> huh. Need some training? Sound like we did your promotion quest. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. That's the ticket. It is now the 11th of May, April. Okay, let's uh, head down Body Magic. Mm -mm. Sure, one day your, your fist will be as great as this club, but we're going to have to work on that. But that doesn't have to be right now. And then you clear the way for air magic master in time. All right, cool. I don't know. Hello, Salvatore the guard. 
I don't know. Yeah, these kids are all still the same. Uh, if you weren't in for this bit, uh, with this merge mod and the revamp branch, uh, when these peasants are generated, you can't leave the area and come back and, like, regenerate them. You can't save and load the game and regenerate them. They will be who they say they are until the area resets, I imagine. So if you care deeply about trying to get a certain type of person, you'd want to save the game before you ever enter that area. Ever. And then enter that area for the first time to see if you can find them. Any spells I can think of off the top of my head that I'm like, oh god, I need that? Welcome to the Water Guild. I already have Awaken. I could buy an Ice Bolt. I don't feel strong about, uh, Poison Spray. I don't think... I don't think so, Ice Bolt. And the Earth Guild down here. Deadly Swarm, of course. Welcome to the Earth Guild. Pass. But we could just learn Earth Magic, yeah. Welcome to the Earth Guild. That's not a spell that we have access to right now, Stefnos. Welcome to the Fire Guild. A, because they're not selling it here, and B, because I couldn't cast it because it's a Master Tier spell. <laughs> you know how it is, Jim. You try to give people orders. I don't do a damn thing. New Dungeon Man's patch out tomorrow. Exciting. Especially with all of the changes that have been made, the edits. Great poultry and birds await you, my lord. Await. Await has to be what it is. Okay. I think enough time has passed that I'm gonna head uh, down south. I've had plenty of time to spawn. Over there. The Play Dungeon Man's account that just posted in chat. That's Jim. That's the head mind behind Dungeon Man's. Been broadcasting the development of Dungeon Man's. The experience of Dungeon Man's. I've been doing a lot of hardy work getting out the new patch. Hope you're doing well, Jim. And if not, well, consider doing well. <laughs> Why aren't they here? I flagged all three signal fires. I rubbed and nuzzled them. They just go home? All well, work here is done. I mean, I guess I'll take the money in there, but I was expecting a lot of goblins out here. The fire is definitely lit, and I absolutely made sure to repeatedly rub nuzzle my face outside the one by the White Cliff Caves, even though it showed as being off. Do I have to leave? The I might have to leave the zone. Maybe that's what it is. It's not just a matter of passing time. I gotta leave the zone. I didn't think that was true. Oh, I'll go rub my face against this one again. I definitely hit the one by the Talarian Forest. This one's just not showing as on, despite the fact that I flagged it as such. Yep. Clicking intensified. Okay, very good. I think I'm gonna walk to the Bear Downs. I mean, it's not like I can take any other route. Just thinking about getting some hirelings to speed up my day travel time, but truthfully, yeah, it is what it is. Do I want to keep the Gate Master with me for this portion? That's a decent question. Gate Master is not going to provide much value. How long am I going to be there? Am I going to clear out the actual barrows themselves? Hmm. That's a good question. Maybe before I do that, I will... 
I have the gold to train up on a couple of things. Sure. Well, there's Sir Charles Quixote with us. That is a uh, quest NPC. Alright, that's the Master of Perception. Master! Perception, hell yeah. And I came here to learn. It would just be Bo that I'd be learning here, right? Hmm. Not like I can pick up Expert Disarm Trap right now. I guess I'd pick up Alchemy while I was here? Eh. Sure. Again, can't pick that up right now. Alchemy Trainer is here. 500 gold. Welcome to the Fire Guild. Master Guild of Fire. There's Meteor Shower right there. We are not Welcome able to cast to that Air spell. Field. Much like how we're not able to cast Invisibility. Or Fly if they were selling it. Welcome to the Water Guild. Water Guild, though, we can uh, buy an Acid Burst. Sure, I'll buy an Acid Burst. I was actually looking for Water Walk Another there. Another spell learned. Water Walk would have been helpful. I guess I could load and then teleport back to the area to see if Water Walk would generate. I, I don't know which one that is. I guess I'm just gonna have to eat the damage then. To go visit that tower. That's what we're gonna do while we're out here. <laughs> Master Spear. Expert Bow is here. Great. Master Trainer for Bow is in Nyon. I guess I could play, uh... Welcome, travelers. I guess I could play some Arco Mage while I'm here. Your turn, Flail Fist. Dungeon. Uh, I don't feel like losing those bricks. We have the Might and Magic 8 cards in here as well, such as Flood Water. Nah, I don't feel like losing. That said, that, that could have been our route to a tower victory. Potentially. Tower's less than enemy tower. Gain two tower. I don't think we got this one, though. There, we're at one quarry, anyway. Yeah. Just... All right, Flow Fist. We're gonna give you another shot at it, bud. Our first loss. If wall is greater than enemy wall, do three damage, else do two damage. Uh huh. Sure, I'll deal three damage. No, wait, right. Don't worry about it. it seemed inconsequential. Okay. 
losing 12 to the tower hurt. Okay, all players lose six recruits. Whatever, I'm just gonna discard that. Switch your wall to the enemy wall? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Mm-hmm. I'd like to play that Lava Jewel. Good, another brick shortage. Great, wonderful. Power. All right, redemption. Two and one. I think that's the skill training I wanted done here. Yes. All right, let's go walk. Ostensibly, I could uh, go to Arathia, rest a day, touch the Day of the God Shrine, and then Town Portal back here so that I can make this clearing easier. But I guess I'm just gonna deal with this. Our combat will certainly not be as effective. Our hit point totals will not be as high. I also do believe the, uh, the trees biting your face off do deal a decent amount of damage. S at the end of that. There you go. There's donate, but you don't get all of the buffs like you do in, say, like, the earlier Might Magic games. Once the transition to six, you can get some stuff, like a wizard eye. wah ha ha ha, -ha. Doesn't quite hit the same, you know? God, Polly, your hit points are abysmal. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's dreadful. Alright, let's take some damage. Ow. Ow. That is too much Ow. damage. Shit. Holy shit! I'm not used to that tanking so fast. What the fuck? Okay. Guess I really need a water walk then, huh? This uh, guild absolutely needed to generate water walk for me, and it didn't, so... I'm not going over there to that laboratory. Understood. I thought we were gonna discover the truth about the letter, but we're just not. Woof. Are three, four, and play playable by modern standards? Sure. I don't think they've aged terribly. I think one and two are real rough. Oh, holy shit, okay. Uh, maybe that's like a sort of balancing thing that was added? Prevent folks from like, make water more of a serious threat? by having water damage just vastly accrue like that? Whew. Uh... <laughs> yeah, not... Not gonna be crossing there. Cool. Well, I'm glad I spent time casting those spells. We'll, uh, we'll figure out the, the letter stuff later. Because I didn't get water walk from the, uh, the water guild. It might be offered here on a fluke. Looking for something special? The Mage's Guild. It is not. Green is looking mighty distracting. So was the bizarre text that you put in the chat. And I didn't bother calling it out until you said what you wrote. The council is in session. <laughs> Hashtag accountability. Yes, I'm going to sleep and head to Arathia tomorrow. Welcome, travelers. 
Have a pleasant evening. Oh. Let me stretch my back here. Give me a moat. Oh, there we go. Is there actually any skill training I want in Arathia? Like, the skill trainers I'm thinking of that I want are gonna be in Bricada and Deja. Now nah, I'm going back to Harmondale. Ended up, this just ended up being a, a side journey to Grab a couple skill trainers, see if I could get water walk. Didn't get water walk, and the water is far more vicious. Do I want to trade out any of my kids? Our uh, scholar, instructor, duper. I have no idea what that is. Cracker. Hey, how are you? I know shortcuts and back roads throughout Enroth will be your guide for 200 gold to serve plus a 2% share of the gold we find. All map crossings two days faster. We can go to Barrow Downs in three days. And don't do the weird text again. Something, something. Here I go saying that I'm not thinking about score, but yet again I think about the uh, time, the day travel time with folks. Whatever. The reason why is I was thinking about replacing the Gate Master, though of course I would want him to warp back to Castle Harmondale. And yeah, it still would cost food for me to rest in here. We still have a bunch of trash. No, there's no time load in these games. You have a timed portion of the main quest. But it's not timed in the sense that if you don't get anything done, you just fail. The game just moves on with the story. They were down here, weren't they? Yeah. Let's grab that expert perception. Yeah, it's score stuff. And sure, you can think of it as role-playing as well. Oh, they spawned now! All right! All right! Oh no, that's the evil spirit. I guess they didn't spawn now. So... With this stuff, when you go to a town hall, and they tell you that they have a monster that's haunting them, uh, that monster is spawned somewhere on the map. Now, the month of February has already left us behind, so I can't go say, hey, I completed the bounty, but the monster was still there. Let me go check one time about... Okay, they they are here. All right, I did have to leave the zone. This is going to be a little bit harder, as it is going to be without the Day of the God Shrine. But at least this buff time won't be wasted. else I want to cast in here? No. There's not. Haste? I don't think we'll need it. I don't feel like dealing with the weakness. Bless. Heroism. And preservation on yourself, bud. Okay, let's get in there. That one was weak.
in the rain. So could that spawn dragons and titans? Perhaps so. I don't know whether the... Like, the monster pool for spawning for bounties has been changed, too. In that sense. That was too weak. Certainly it's been changed in the sense of evil spirits don't exist in Mind Magic 7. One of these is a special goblin. He's like Grognard or something. He's got a special sword. But, uh, you know. I think he's maybe labeled as Goblin Lord? The hell, he might already be dead. It's hard telling. No. That was no way. No Day of the God Shrine, just uh, five people in a normally four person game with a beat down. Well, maybe he'd be by this crate. I don't know. Which uh, does not have anything new in it. That was too easy. And uh, I love the. Oh, there's Grognard. Yeah. The joke I made about casting haste, but I'm using clubs. The only person who would benefit is Jarek, who's speaking of. There, that fireball's for you, bud. As a reminder, if I had dwarves, they would be focus fired. By the goblins. Where do you think you're going, bud? You have very much gotten away. There we go. I'm not able to loot that body out there, but it, it remains. <laughs> I need telekinesis to loot that body. Alright, the special cutlass, Grognard's cutlass, deals double damage versus elves. A finely crafted and specially enchanted goblin weapon, though originally crafted to slay elves, this weapon does a perfectly good job on members of the other races. I can't fit anymore. Shall we mix another? I can't fit anymore. Shall we mix another? 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 There's a beat there. Yeah, to think of it like a throwing axe. Couple of apples for the road. I don't think there is a hireling around here that I feel like picking up and dismissing the gate master. The gate master would also eventually end up saving me time. But I'm giving consideration to how long I want to stay in the Barrow Downs, whether I actually want to clear out the Barrows, which will be an adventure if I do. I'm probably going to empty out some space in my inventory. Tailor, armor, gambler, hunter, jesters, a couple of jesters out here. I hadn't looked at these folks who are out here. Hello. Hello there, a mighty fine morning of you asked me, I'm Svetlana. I cannot join you, your party is full. I can't even... Oh, fine, don't even, like, fine. Don't, don't. I'm not gonna, like, dismiss someone just to have a conversation with you about joining me. Yep. Let's see. He did not grab Perception Expert while I was down there. I got distracted by the goblins. 
And I did definitely have the seven put in there for Perception Master, but I forgot to grab Expert before I went to the Delarian Forest. Uh, Perception Master can help show us the, uh... All the uh, secret spots that... I'm, I'm pretty sure Master uh, would be good enough for that. Because it has been some time. And while I do definitely remember some of the secrets, I don't remember all the secrets in there. Or maybe I do remember all the secrets, and I'm not giving myself the credit. Brrr. Still trying to decide how I feel about these weather effects. I don't... I don't hate them. But I don't feel strongly about them in a positive way, either. Pretty sure those are all things we won't be needing anymore. Like that and that. We'll keep the Archimage deck. The belt, of course, our special letter just for us. Same low price. Yep. Hold on. We gotta... We gotta inventory this better. Whoop. Whoop. Sure. Okay. The reason why I want to clear out this space is because we're gonna be getting a lot of treasure in the Baradons. I might dismiss the Gate Master in Stone City. If there's someone suitable for hiring in there before I clear out the Barrows. That makes sense. Now, the primary reason is because I don't want him taking 20% of my gold while I'm there. Because we're going to be picking up these loot piles, I actually think I'm going to grab the banker I here. no idea. He is over there, right? Gregory? Gregory? That was Gregory. Now it's Todd. These people changed. They're different now. Oh. Huh. I guess they are. That's a... Yeah. These people are definitely different now. I was about to hire Gregory, the banker. And we won't be doing any banking anymore. <laughs> Understood. I was going to get some extra money there in the Barrows. We have a couple of explorers. That's neat. How are you this afternoon? My experience in traveling the world can speed your journeys by a day, whether you travel by land or sea. All travel times reduce by one day. Minimum of one day. All right, Krista or Stan? Hello. I'm going to go with Krista. No extra money for us, but, you know, we'll see kind of hirelings are there in Stone City. Boris, you can warp to wherever the hell you need to go to. Thanks for your help, bud. Greetings. Not Louise, the Spellmaster. Greetings. Krista, welcome aboard. So, she takes 1% of gold instead of 20%. But, of course, you know, the effect that she's providing is just a convenience thing. But so is the effect provided by Town Portal. Although it can also provide a mechanical benefit, like, say, Bring of the Day at God, God Shrine bonus. I don't know. I don't think I'm firing anyone else to grab the second explorer. I don't know. Fun, though, it would be to now... Oh, yes, all of my travel times are reduced by two days. Aha. We'll just take the minus one across the board for everything. I presume they stack like the other followers do in this revamp branch. Oh yeah, I was thinking about warping back to Talarian Forest for... What day of the week is it? Friday. For Perception Master. Obviously now I can't warp back. Well... There's four. You would have to edit the, uh, the relevant text file if you wanted to have the cat be higher. I'm leaving it at the revamps default of four. There we go. Distracted. Yeah. We'll just eat the E there. Om, yum, 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 yum. Friday. 
Traveling today? Marathia. But Saturday. Traveling today? Valerian Forest. One day. The coach leaves right away. <laughs> Evil has nothing to do with it, though. Apparently I'm a sellout just by even playing this, according to one commenter in the chat yesterday. There's a couple of food trees around here, isn't there? I think I grabbed one apple. Already. Yeah, there we go. Uh... Search engine optimization. The man. It wasn't clear. <laughs> By playing this merge mod, which uh, apparently is regularly and widely played. I did it for the numbers, I supposedly, purportedly. I am left to fill in the blanks. Insufficient data was provided. Need a ride? Asia for one day? I just keep getting distracted then and not going to... Maybe I just keep getting distracted. I just keep getting distracted. Distraction works. Sure. What the hell? It's a day. There's harpies out there. They're perilous. But there's loot out there, which... would hurt us to try and get. There's some skill trainers out there. Fuck them. They should take me back. Yeah. All right. Wait until then. Need a ride. Avley. Well. Just gonna hang out here. Need a ride. Yeah, there we go. We're off. I'm noticing that the wait, the waiting, by the way, is eating food too, which. Traveling today. Is not something in base. I'm fine with that design. I already grabbed the fruit off this tree. Rameth narrows his eyes. I did. The graphic has just... whatever. Well, after all that incredible time saving that was done by dismissing the ga gate master and then changing... That's Fickle Grimith for you. That's Streamer Brain as well. Just get sidetracked by things. There are definitely times I enjoy playing games without recording or broadcasting, as I can use the full weight of my brain power. Good fun. Imagine being able to devote your focus and full attention on the one thing. Instead of multitasking. What a concept. All right, four days of travel to the Barrow Downs. Have an apple. Have an apple. Fuck it, you have an apple, too. Okay. So these kids just give some flavor, you're part of the whole trading, vending shit. Goblins had several apples already. Uh, the Barrow Downs are in this dilapidated, collapsed state due to... In the war, which is covered in Heroes of Might and Magic 3, the warlocks from Nyon tunneled to this continent, which resulted in the land collapsing beneath the tunnels, which has just resulted in this looking so fucking dreadful. So much undead has been unearthed as a result of that. Uh, this zone respawns every six months. The loot comes back, everything comes back. Hmm. Come in, drink. All right, your turn, Emmys, or a leader there. Let's play.
50 wall, baby. Plenty of uh, zoos, plenty of dungeons. Fairly limited on the other stuff. Need to take proper watch and care of it. I will play this for. I will not play that for one. That brick is far more valuable to me. Discard this. I don't want to lose those gems. Take plus one magic. Whopping six damage with a spizzer. Hmm. Knock that quarry back down to one. Okay. Alright, we got. Throw that imp away. Three damage to enemy tower. This isn't helping me get more magic. Magic. So be it. Sure, I'll play this now. Not digging the hand. Get out of here. Okay, understood. Very good. <laughs> Plus one tower to all players. You get three gems. Yay. All right, would I like this wall? How about this wall? This wall? It's like I'm playing Lords of the Realm 2. A mot in Bailey. A Norman keep, a stone castle, a royal castle, a wooden palisades here, boss. I guess I'll go with the mountain bailer. Goodbye, quarry. Get the hell out of here, Tremor's guard. Didn't even have ten gems to lose. All right. Double my magic score. That's good. Don't worry, we have an equalizer. Heretic. Thanks for coming back down to my quarry hell after I got banished here. Very thoughtful of you. Much obliged. Gotta take care of these, uh, these bricks I have until I get another quarry. Hmm. Lucifer recruits two damage in enemy tower. Sure. Eventually, eventually my recruits are gonna catch up, right? He says in parentheses, right? <laughs> One brick, Bob. That's worth playing. I do need to keep a close eye on them breaks. <laughs> this brickless bastard, damn. All right. Okay. Okay, thanks, jerk. Like, if I'm not gonna have any bricks, fuck you, then you're not gonna have any bricks either. <laughs> I just play that for plus one tower. Or plus one tower. Did not have the bricks to get plus one quarry. Hard times, man. I would have kept that card. We're already here. Well. Could be better. Uh-huh. Yep. It's the kind of hand I want to see. Guess we're just going to deal eight damage. Sure, let's throw that into the abyss.
I will spend that to get my recruit generation up. That will be how I threaten to win the game, he says he keeps playing the, uh, the green cards. Lose ten Brex, huh? Hmm. Tempting. Plus one all players' quarries? I do need to play that. Get out of that one spot. The more you have of something, the less each additional point of it matters. That's not great. We got a we got a damage card in here, Bob. Not quite a damage card. We might very well not be winning by recruits, uh, and our foe now has the resources to really cover any tower increase that's going to happen. That's right, the real game. Goodbye! First try. Good job, Emmy Zuri. Holly's up next on playing Archomage. Now, I do not want to fight these enemies in melee combat, in general. So we're gonna have to put the clubs away. We do have the power of five. It's pretty exciting. That's right, outscaled. Just too good. I skip her? I did. That's right, Ballas. These, uh, undead don't have... I don't think they can really ever have loot of substance on them. The shades. I can't remember whether they, like, sometimes have gemstones or rings on them at all. So I'm just gonna treat it like they fucking don't. Are you turn-based? Just so they're bobbing and weaving? Doesn't allow them to juke all these rain no shots. At all. Very weak. I have a wand over there. Very wand of ice. That's not too bad. Over here's the haunted house. That place is god awful. Just a nightmare. Or maybe it's... Well, I forget the precise layout. We have time. A tree is acting as a big shield. Challenge. Did I go through the barrows yet? Just got here, bud. Just got here. Yeah, the, uh, the vampire mansion. Full of whites, gas, all sorts of other grotesqueries. The tramps in that place are a special hell. That one was weak. Uh, it's rated up pretty high. I think you need a disarm skill of 22 or 24 uh, to beat the uh, the traps in that area, which would mean that you would need, a, say, 8 tripled. We definitely do not have the disarm the trap skill required to weak. successfully disarm those traps in there. I have 7 flat. <laughs> We would need a lot of burglar assistance. Hell, the Barrow Downs themselves are also going to be an adventure. I'm going to have to head into Stone City and see if I can find a locksmith in there. Let's leave it. It looks worthless. 
Journal entry, 11th of December, 1059. May the sun smite the darkness and reveal the truth. We have made our way to the Downs. All has changed. Ghost and Gog apostrophe S overrun the area. Brother Peter was taken by something in the night. The Barrows seem to have released their evil into the surrounding area. Brother Christian and I are attempting to make it to a mansion I know of in the far east of this region. He and I are the only ones left. May the sun guide our path. Yeah. May the sun guide your path, bud. Keep guiding. I'll tell you that mansion does exist. Right there. It's not safe. A few gargoyles in this area as well. We'll see them more in the central location. Now that we know how much damage water deals to us in this. That was an atrocious amount. Those foolish gogs. Uh, gogs and their ilk explode when they die. So fighting them in melee can be uncomfortable. This really shines through in Might and Magic 8 when you're in that tomb that you need to do as part of the main quest. How it's labyrinthian and stacked on top of each other, and there's just gogs crammed in the narrow crevices. It's a real pain in the ass. Barrow Navigation. Though the barrows were built to deter thieves, a way was needed to navigate them during burials and ceremonies. Near each of the gates you'll find a plaque. These plaques are cryptic, but they will keep you from losing your way as long as you use them. No thief yet has realized their significance, so once they enter the barrows, they never leave. Well, I'm glad you told us, Amethyst Gemstone. <laughs> I'm sorry, your name is Amethyst Gemstone? No, 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 it's a, it's a fine name. It's a, it's a good, it's a good ancestral name. You, yep, you, 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 good, good, strong, strong name. Take care, good bits. Fire resistance will help. Ghosts fear the touch of the ghost as you fear the loss of your life. It inflicts terrible spiritual wounds and drains your youth before your eyes. And then uh, we've read that text before about the Medusas. <laughs> Our bless is going already. Bless never lasts for very long. There's the gargoyles. In 7, unlike in 6, they aren't as much of a pain in the ass to destroy with their resistances. We'll let them come down to us. That's right, music. That we got to infinitely loop, which is good. these damn trees. I don't know. Oh, hi. Good thing Auto Target picked that one out, huh? You don't want to come fight me in melee gargoyles. I'm pretty scared. I mean, you might try to break my gear, but let me tell you what, I got clubs, bud. That was too easy. Yeah, that gargoyle knows what's up. He's like, oh shit, they got clubs. Fuck it, I'm out. Meteorites are worth grabbing. Hello? Stop that trend from happening. Hello, hello, welcome in. Come on, come get a club. You get a club too. Everyone gets a club. Not you, you don't get a club. Holly, no! I'm gonna do this. We need to cast heroism. That damn bless spell. No, no, it's fine. Alright, no! No, you wanna get your ass back here. 
Oh, yeah? Tell me. <sighs> Does it hurt? Mm. Do be hurting. Understood. Plus 10 endurance and might permanently. That really helps our elven brethren. Uh, whose endurance scores were 9. It's a big jump in value for them. Diminishing returns start happening uh, after 21. As in the score, not the age. Maybe diminishing returns start happening for you after 21 as well. That was too easy. Oh yeah, plenty of those all around in the various Might and Magic games. Our, our melee is incredibly potent. Uh, we are f more frightening in uh, melee combat than in ranged. You're, you're looking at four clubs and the staff of the elements here, but these clubs are... are vicious. That recovery time of 30... is just brutal. That's why those clubs are on. There's one of our golem pieces. Worthless. And uh, this leads to Stone City. Well, we have another elevated area before Stone City. There's Stone City over there. There's our gogs, including, you know, straight up gog as opposed to goggling. I'm pretty sure they're immune to fire damage as well. You might understand why. So me throwing down a fireball won't do a whole lot. Though I do have other elements. We also just have arrows. Arrows are an element unto themselves, really. Stick your face up. Some water resistance. That's right. Oh, you think you're scary? Fool, I have a club. I had really thought that would have been fixed with these modifications. Somewhere in there, that would have been resolved. We do actually need to hit the fucking gargoyle, though. I see our bless has expired. I thought you put my lich to sleep for a moment, and I was... I was baffled. No, he's just been weakened. There we go. I better cure weakness. There we go, our lich is no longer weak. The day has been saved, thanks to the power pub girls. Mm. We'll find a use for this. Fine belt of vigor? I think I'm gonna put that on... Holly. There we go. 44 hit points. So the revamp branch uh, put in the hit point and spell point differences for races, which was a feature of the older Might and Magic games, 3 through 5. Elves uh, gain uh, fewer hit points, and they gain more spell points. Dark elves to a lesser extent. Their factor's a bit different. So, uh, Polly doesn't have as many hit points as I would anticipate he would have normally. It's one of the barrows over here, right? Yeah, the, the awesome chest of value is over here, and it teleports you into a Gog... Gogapalooza down there. Fun for the whole family. Thank you for rising to my level. Oh. Let me properly lift my head up. There's someone else beneath the bridge. Oh. 
most games just have exploration suck nowadays? We play different video games. <laughs> there are thousands of video games in creation. What are what are your standards? <laughs> Because I don't have the same experience as you do. Uh. Come back down here, please. That was easy. I think these reagents are... Yeah, these files There's of no god move. blood. Shall we mix They're another? all right. No Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Not oh, bad. Certainly better than these widow's wheat berries. I don't want to fight these in melee. The, uh, the explosion damage. I'm not into. That one was weak. They have a lot of blood inside them. You might say, Gurmit, that's obvious. But the blood is falling out of them and into containers <laughs> for consumption. Which, I mean, sure. No match for me. Indeed, sir. No match for you. It just keeps coming. Never had that problem before. <laughs> don't, don't care about that ore or obsidian. You will care about. So even if you clear the zone of all the enemies, don't worry. In six months from the time you visited it, more enemies will be here waiting to play with you. I'm used to being able to hold down right mouse button and... Okay, yeah. Just not able to mouse over that Barrow entrance like that. That's fine. I think I need to renew regeneration. Yeah. Let's renew that. Also, we've got a little bit of time left on our fire bows. You you, you want to go? You want to you want to have a fight? You sure? You you positive? You super sure? Crap. Poor crowd's what I thought. You caved. Okay! Oh no, he's been weakened again. Ah. Get over here. Where's that damage at work? All right. Not locked. I accept. Very weak is rubbish. I am picking up the cell, but I am heading to Stone City before I go and in diving into the barrows. So I'll be able to clear out my inventory. There. That's a big one. Let's go in. With the power of regeneration, 
the explosions aren't as impactful, but you can see we took some damage there. It was meaningful. Yes! He's not... There we go. Oh, it actually ended up doing the thing that I wanted to do after all. Hmm. Fancy that. Yeah, alright, cool. Got him for his combat spell. Great. But you quit running from me. <laughs> Ow. How does mod start you out? You choose which continent you start on. Six, seven, or eight. And the classes available to you depend based on the continent you start on. Later on, you get the ability to unlock. Uh, you unlock the ability to traverse between the continents. I think I could even get that unlocked, but, uh, I found a letter that would tell me where I would go. But, uh, my ability to survive that travel is complicated by not having water walk. Simple, easy spell that just wasn't available in stories. <sighs> so I figured I'd just go back later. I'll just stand still. Whenever you kids feel like you're done with your attack animations. Ow. That's annoying. Let's move around that. No. No. Definitively showed off how much damage was being taken. Is that the damage? Like, I was going to do the crossing without water walk. And the game very firmly said, you are not doing this crossing without water walk. So I said, okay, very good, sir. I'm not doing this crossing without water walk. Uh, you can choose whether you want to start with one character up to five. each have their own bonus pool of points. You have the full ass assortment of races to select from. And then the classes, uh, which as noted, uh, depend on the, uh, the game that you're in. Listen, I'm just gonna need you to hold the L. Like, <laughs> just hold the L. Don't try to jazz hands away from that L. It's yours. Keep that L. <laughs> you live with that L. <laughs> well, good. If I do need red potions while I'm in the barrows, which... They throw down pretty, like, a lot of other, like, potion-related resources so that you can mix the various things, so... Eh. Shall we mix another? 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 It's got a little bit of age to it. Do the other continents have age changes party mechanics? I could dismiss these folks right now. Uh, and I saw a a goblin standing in Armandale's training center that it looked like I could hire. Uh, it doesn't look like the taverns in this game have the ability for you to, like, 
pull people out that are sort of like waiting around your roster. So I don't have a definitive answer to your question. I'm not going to dismiss these characters though. Watch it! Is but a scratch. I could just leave these kids. Again, they're all gonna respawn in several months, but first, this first time around, they can all just eat it. These lootless bastards. Sapphire there. Some gold there. Let's go make our crossing. Sure, I've played uh, all of the Might and Magic games uh, through eight. Nine I looked at and said, nah, I'm good. One and two have aged incredibly poorly. Uh, three through five hold up very well, and depending on the experience you want, I'd say they could be superior for you. Hmm. Six is the bridge between the old Might and Magics and the new engine. It's loaded with dungeons. Seven is my favorite. I've played it the most. Eight is, uh, it exists. Eight exists. Eight definitively exists, and I cannot dispute the fact that it exists. I actually want to do any vending in Stone City without cycling a day. I'm going to need to get there. I guess I could just rest for a day in Stone City. What do I care about time? I don't have any thoughts on ten. I said I've played one through eight. Nine I looked at and said, eh. Ten, blank slate. But uh, whatever that blank slate was, it wasn't penciled in with, I want to play this video game. I hope that answers your question. That's the teleporter chest. It's, uh, it's full of some nice prizes. But it's a trap. That's not something you can disarm, either. I'm pretty sure that, well, I mean, that would naturally go off even if you telekinesis the chest, because it's not a trap you can disarm. No, I don't want to travel to Harmondale, thank you. Huh. Uh, I have not played one or two. The last time I played one was... Maybe 2013? Two! I don't think I've played since the early aughts. I, I don't believe those games hold up. Very definitively. I don't have any interest in replaying them. I don't think I would have fun playing them again. Tis but a scratch. Uh oh. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Huh. Master's dagger. Rare indeed. I'm not used to seeing the various like three games worth of loot in one game. We're just sometimes seeing items, and I'm like, what? Oh, oh. Oh ho, indeed. Sun opals shine with a mild inner light. They are extremely rare and coveted by elemental magicians. We'll find a use for this. We'll find a use for this. Hey, this has got a lot of juice in it. It does regenerate hit points over time. All right. We'll find a use for this. We'll find a use. And a protection for this. from magic scroll. Huh. Put that on. We'll keep the protection from magic scroll. The gauntlets. Eh. We we'll must this. descent. We must descent. It's only liquor. Or liqueur. I appreciate all that big twitch know to expect the money. Big twitch and corporate growth are very firmly aligned on money. Put that on. All right. Cool. These we'll make use out of, or we'll sell them. Might just end up selling them. We'll find some other reagents in the Barrow Downs. I don't think I'm going to need to mix up all of that into potions to solve my various ailments that I'm going to get in there. 
That's why I got a uh, alchemy expert here for compound potions. I guess I can make potions of haste, huh? Hmm. We have clubs. Club is just my answer to that. We have clubs. We have clubs at home. All right, check these, right? Yep. Okay. We'd have a couple of hours to vend there, but truthfully, I wouldn't want to vend there until I did the troglodyte quest there anyway. I wonder if I would dismiss the duper after I did that. I'd actually want to test that out. See how much did you... Did you hit him? No? No? My word. The bridge must have been interfering there somehow. It is a mystery. How you doing, bud? Tis but a... Well, um, as it turns out, both of those thoughts are true. Heroes of Might and Magic 5 is a continuation of the series, and the world of Arathia does end after Heroes of Might and Magic 4. Which, I mean, if they just wanted the world ended, you can do that pretty easily in Might and Magic 6. If you don't cast that sphere of Noltropy or whatever the hell the, the spell that Archibald teaches you. When you, uh... The, the entire world blows up. So it's a strong non-ending for the game. Stone City is one of the great bastions of the Dwarven race in the world. Frank, it looks very secure. That's good. Now we can have that autosave there. Oh, I cut off the do you think it's safe line. Just back off! From Molly. Oh, opportunity missed. So... These trap chests are certainly things we could look at in here. I'm interested in looking around for a recruitable NPC. Probably replace the guide with a locksmith. I don't know. But we'll see who's around. A factor that doesn't really... I'm not gonna make the joke, not gonna make the joke, not gonna make the joke. I don't know. But I thought about it. <laughs> Another scholar? Explorer, huh? Okay. Red barrel? Dunk your face in. A few years back, while mining underneath Stone City, we came upon quite a shock. It seems that the warlocks from Nyon had burrowed under the sea to make a sneak attack upon the shores of Arathia. Their careless tunneling has sunk in the earth around here until now the areas around the old dwarven barrows and, of course, Stone City rest far above the terrain. We discovered a force of troglodytes in our mining areas with a tunnel leading back to Nyon. If you could help us by ridding the tunnels of the troglodytes, we'd get back to mining. Can you help us? Frankly, it's remarkable that after all of these years, he says a few, but he measures it in dwarven time. That they haven't found a way to fix these troglodytes yet. You'd think the incredible power here in Stone City. Whatever. It's our game. Next for repair item, we already grabbed that. Shops here, that's our Master Guild? No, that's our Paramount Guild of Earth. No, the Paramount Guild of Earth is in the pit. I don't know. Throne room, we should probably visit that before he closes for the day. So, Lords of Harmadale, eh? I'm King Hothfar the Ninth, Lord of Stone City. What do you want? So, the new Lords of Harmadale I have before me. Not impressed. Doubt other kings think much of you either. Hmm. I'll get yourselves killed soon. Hey, there's more than meets the eye here. Yes, maybe you can do something for me and I for you. Medusas have taken my mines in Eastern Bracada, turned a few of my people to stone. Dangerous monsters. Don't want to lose more lives on a rescue. Okay to lose yours, though. Take this elixir and pour it on the statues. Wake them up. Then I will fix up your castle. Give you respect. Go now. Beware the griffins in Bracada. Yes. How about the fucking oozes on the first floor of the mines? You go in there expecting Medusas. 
and who the, who you are warned about from, from dialogue cannot be hurt by magic. And then you find oozes who gotta be hurt by magic. Elemental magic at that. I've never seen one. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one. Please. Please help me. <laughs> so you think you're adventurous, do you? There's not enough meat on you to produce the slap of a dark dwarven child. Bodybuilding is the only way to go. He's stronger and tougher than before. An expert of bodybuilding is tougher than a normal hero. I have no idea. I have no idea. Follower Ba! Master Axe. Barrel dunk your face and Grandmaster Spear here, of course. Cooper. Expert Earth Magic. Expert Merchant, we've already got. I don't know. Woven Commander. Alright. Give me a Weezard eye. Uh -huh. Thank you. These places have containers in them we can loot, no but I'm not gonna touch them for the moment. I have no idea. Another factor. I have no Primarily because I wouldn't be able to disarm them. I have no idea. Watermaster? Oh, there's your water walk right there. A tracker. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. Farmer. Purple barrel. Enjoy. Yellow, orange, blue, yellow, white. Okay. Orange barrel. You. Blue barrel, you. Smash that first person's face and everything else. Yes, other people could benefit from the plus two attributes more. It's just not consequential enough. I don't know. I don't know. It's something I cared about when I was younger. Red and green? Fine now. There's our training facility. Great time. Great place to train here. Especially when you get your reputation up. I don't know. Alright, so I'm not seeing anyone who I'm being like, hell yeah, I want to hire them, which is... Hmm. Come in. Drink. Unfortunate. I would have to load the autosaved before I came in Stone City. To come in Stone City again to regenerate them. Uh, with this, like, merge, revamp, fusion, I cannot regenerate these NPCs by loading and saving the game. Or, like, leaving the area and coming back. Hard times. Your turn, Polly. Let's get the play on. Alright. Cool. Let's get this card out of here. Right. Let's get this card out of here. That one too. Sure. Off the tower. If you're unfamiliar with this, this is Arco Mage. It's a mini game. There's cards involved, but you don't build a deck. You just play cards. You see whether you can play enough cards to win. Either by getting your tower to the top, their tower to the bottom, or some amount of resources depending on where you're playing. How far you have to get your tower up also depends on where you're playing. They got cards? You got cards. Cards. That's one hell of a Mondo wall. My dungeon is not less than his dungeon. Played anywhere. No point. Discard it. Two dungeons? Sure. Alright. Aha! I will get an extra quarry now. You did not copy that. So, the Warlord's 13 damage is gonna do fucking all when the wall there is 78. 
to say nothing of the orc there, you know? Not a big difference there. Oh, all players lose eight bricks. What a turn. Yes, uh, Archimage got rolled out to be a standalone client as well that you could play outside of the game on your computer, single player too. I think I'd have to run a virtual machine to get that to work. Not that there is a whole lot engrossing about this. Just You could just play uh, Magic the Gathering, Chandelar. Uh, last thing Sid Meier worked on before he left Microprose for Firaxis Games. The fuck am I supposed to do with these cards? Fuck it, get your tower down there. I'll eat the magic loss for that. Maybe we'll find a parody guard somewhere in here. Of course, if you want deck building, there's a lot of deck builders out there. A lot, a lot of deck builders. We must descend. We must descend, Overlord Dark Wolf. Thank you. I will accept this money. We leave Grog's Grog. Good Grog. Hell, I'll just even call it Great Grog. There we go. I'll use a superlative there, damn it. Great Grog. Alright, we got some named kids and another scholar, which. I don't know which one that is. You have the, uh, the treasury over here. You can see our path. It's here that would lead to that. Uh, being back there, though, uh, is naughty. Or I try not to be naughty, chat room. It's, uh, resisting all of our collective impulses, I know. What the hell do you mean, Grimoth? What, what, what does that mean, not be naughty? I don't... What, what do with that? Still getting adjusted and accustomed to this interface. Anything else I want to cast? Shield does nothing down there. Throw it on anyway. Give me a, uh... Heroism. Give me a bless. And then give me a preservation on yourself, please, Polly. Our uh, frontliners have very, very strong health totals. Polly is uh, very fragile. Archer and Sorcerer are not so fragile. But I'm not expecting much in the way of problems down here. They are troglodytes. And... Just because I don't have the Day of the Gods Shrine active doesn't mean I can't kick their ass at this point. That one was weak. This would go different if I had if I didn't have clubs. We have clubs. Because as it turns out, I know how to fuck to play Might and Magic 7. And they didn't fix this. So, you know, here we are, lobbing away. Who needs haste? Minimum recovery time, baby. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I have that spell already there. There we go. No 
challenge at all. Bring on a bigger challenge. Anyone else? Hey, bud. How you doing? So, we've got someone who is poisoned. We do, in fact, have that. Sure. Are clubs good weapons early on or all game? Um, it's not a, it's not the damage they deal. It's the recovery time. Clubs are jank. They should not have a minimum recovery time of 30 in melee combat. Here we are. They have a minimum recovery time of 30 in melee combat. Which means, yeah, sure, I could use a more powerful weapon. Like that, for example. But I wouldn't be attacking as fast. I definitely wouldn't be able to wear this fucking plate armor in the process without getting Grandmaster in it to eliminate the recovery penalty. Here's our tunnels to Nyon. I don't feel like making a beeline for Nyon today. the obelisk. Do not touch the obelisk. I don't want your damn code. I refuse. I reject the code. Alright, let's get hit by this shit. No room. It's okay. We have five characters. Hmm. We have all, but we have some amount of room. The reason why we're face tanking this is because I don't have the disarm trap skill required to disarm this shit, and I didn't see a locksmith or anyone up there who I'd actually hire to help us. So. There's no room. Is your preservation still active? Great, for seven minutes. Cool. We don't have telekinesis, so face tanking has to be what it is. Not clear yet. was not expecting a conversation about the uh, uh, deck building nomenclature. <laughs> Bring on I don't dislike it. I'm just tickled by it. <laughs> what is a deck builder? A miserable pile of cards. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I'll have to be more careful. That was the correct response. If he's mm. alright. There's no room. Alright. That takes care of the troglodytes. Nah, no, it's it's cool. I don't have a problem with it. There's no derailing. Chan can hold multiple thoughts at one time. And uh, it's uh, it's it's related to this game because we're talking about Archimage. Uh oh. Mm. Not used to seeing that gemstone design. It threw me off. I'm like, what the hell am I looking at? I can't fit anymore. Shall we mix another? It's not like the gameplay that's happening on screen is incredibly riveting. <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, those troglodytes never stood a chance. Not against four clubs. 
and a fifth person casting sparks. They were doomed. Excuse. Yeah. Get out of my way. Yeah. Primary reason why I dislike Stone yeah. City is because, given its cramped quarters. Hey you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey you. Yeah. End up having to yell at the dwarves every now and then to get the fuck out of the way. They're gone! Routed back into the connecting tunnels the Nyon. Excellent. We can get back to mining immediately. Thank you so much for your help. Take this as a reward for your services. Yay! Now have friendly wrap here. Woo! Now, something I wanted to test out. It's going to have to wait until I do some vending the next in-game day. Let me look at things that I might give a damn about keeping. Blood dagger. I'm good. Dagger made out of blood. Entirely erected and constructed from blood. Haha, <laughs> the streamer said erected, lol. There, I took care of that for you. You're welcome. Just the clerk. Sure. Ready. Alright. Second app. Hmm. Come in. Drink. Yeah. Let's have a drink. Sleep tight. We slept tight. So. Best armor money can buy. This disheveled chainmail, uh, we're getting a uh, full price for that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. It's exactly what it's worth. Well, is that gonna happen? Looking Talk for something special? Uh, great. Yeah, good. Huh, rich and cheap. Take that back. Which means that you. Best armor money can buy are actually giving some value, despite the rep hit. Take that back, yeah. or I'll crush you. That is dropping us down a rep category, but the net bonus there is uh, making up for it. Okay. That's the research I wanted to conduct. Very good. I knew, broadly, that a duper provides more for you in merchant value than what you'd lose by losing rep, but... Wanted to check how that would work out here in this merge revamp. Uh, here in Stone City. Best time and money can buy. For sure, I'll buy and sell things at cost. That sounds good to me. I like I like making full money, yeah. Ah. Ah. Goodbye. Come back looking for something special. Honk honk. These rare staves may appear unwieldy, but they are the product of sorcery. In combat, they flex with animal intelligence to work in blows to their target's defenses. It still looks unwieldy. Just wiggling your fingers at me and saying, Oh, it's magic, Grimoth. I'm like, hmm. Oh, magic. What kind of Grimoth? Look at the magic. And I'm like, hmm. Magic, though. I mean, yes. It's magic. That's that taken care of. Thank you for your patronage. Best time and money can buy. Back to you. Goodbye. Come back soon. <laughs> How did I know? Tell me what you need. What a multitasker I am. Incredible. Oh, that's a weapon. Right. Should have sold that. Ah, uh, files of gog blood. How we... There's no room! How we feel. What potions I'm gonna make with these? 
gonna go ahead and take a take a break here. Drink. Go let the dogs outside. Might walk outside with them a little bit too. I'm gonna have a think about uh, what potions I might craft before I head into the barrows, which would possibly necessitate me having access to this many red potions. On top of all of the reagents I already have. Yeah, it seems like a good time to take a break. Been going for a while without a break. We can have a break now. Anything of, uh, like, wowzers? Like, buy and sell at price? Oh, yeah, I can uh, buy that ring at plus three speed. You have an enchant item scroll. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Nothing but the finest ingredients. Take a break, he says. Okay. Eh, we can save this on our research again. As for chat, shrug. You'll figure it out. Oh, that's the level 50 Dark Elf promotion quest person? I mean, uses the same face and sprite, but no. Like, she would still be there if I went to Might and Magic 8. I haven't left Might and Magic 7 yet. Now I'm going.
All right, I am almost back. Almost. Not quite, but almost. Take care of a couple other things, and then we will be ready to go. Along with a couple other things, take, uh, you know, <laughs> time. Had to get a good stretch in. Walk outside with the dogs. One of them wanted to laze around the sun for a bit, and I didn't feel like rushing them. It's a pretty day out there. Welcome in. You know, I'm I'm glad you glad you enjoy the tags. Thought that was worth reinforcing. I've had other things too, supplementing it, like don't push your luck. <laughs> Some other junk like that. You know, just to, just to try and reinforce that uh I'm not a friendly person. Well, rather I should say I am a friendly person, but I'm not your friend. But that hasn't stopped people before from wanting to, to try and push it. Like it's an exercise video. You got to work it. You got to push it. Nah, nah, not that extreme. They changed the stream chat font? Not since we got the show on the road. But it is different than what it was yesterday. No, it's not. I mean, okay. I didn't change it today. I changed it at the start of... Uh, the pre-stream of yesterday's broadcast. It is possible you are... <laughs> you are consuming recreational drugs. And I'm not here to say that you, you're not allowed to do that, okay? So? Alright, I need to unmute the game audio. There we go. How I am achieving buying and selling at cost is just with a merchant expert who has a duper. I guess he does have seven skill. In preparation for getting master, which is on Evanmore Island. I'm not even casting glamour, primarily because I keep forgetting about it, because I'm playing Might Magic 7 and I'm not thinking about glamour. That provides a, a bonus to trade. Which is plus three, by the looks of things. Eh. I was talking about maybe removing the duper. Ah, fuck it. It's fine. I don't feel like remembering that. Or putting points in the Dark Elf ability. So I'm gonna make some potions. So I'm probably gonna keep the files of Gog blood around. Uh, we're gonna make some convenience things. I don't want to have to keep fucking recasting. Uh, bless. And so I'm willing to put Bless on all four characters. Haste, inconsequential. I've certainly thrown down plenty of haste potions, red, orange, red. That's cure wounds and cure, cure disease. Uh, what do they get? Red and yellow. Red and orange. So red and yellow make orange, and then you throw down another red. There we go. I knew what I meant. But it's good to articulate that. But uh, since we're wielding clubs, I don't feel compelled to make haste potions. Uh, Bless, though, sounds pretty comfy and convenient. So we're going to do that. It's going to be Cure Wounds and it's going to be Awaken. So, a bit of a primer about power. When you combine potions, the power of the two to result in the power of the potion you create is averaged between the two. But what you would do ostensibly, then, is throw down a catalyst to create your final power once you're done blending potions together. 
or just start with high quality ingredients across the board. Shall we mix another? That's Bless. Grant's Bless is a spell for 30 minutes per point of potion strength. We'll put that to the side for the moment. Now we're going to make some more of those. Shall we mix another? Yes, we shall. Now how do we make green, everyone? You know how. You wrote it down in your copy books, didn't you? Shall we mix there you another? go. Good work. Shall we you mix did it, another? viewers. Shall we mix another? I knew I was right to have faith in you. Even when no one else did. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Alright, that's five potions of bless. I think I'm good on not... It's not like I have catalysts anyway. I've, I've chucked them all, except for this Philosopher's Stone. Just to have and hold and pet. It's going to be a decent amount of time, though, for me to comb through the Barrow Downs if I never end up having to rest. It's going to be four in-game hours. That's not going to be enough time to clear out the entirety, but I can always just make another one. Yeah. We have that power. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Again. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? That's right, we have... We have... Yeah. For a moment there, I'm like, oh yeah, I only need to make eight. For like, because I have a party of four. No, I have a party of five. Shall we mix another? Shall we... Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Two more. Shall we mix? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix? Shall we mix another? Last one. Shall we mix it? Shall we mix another? But 19. Is 19 good enough another? for you? Alright. Cool. So that's 10 blessed potions. Shield. I have a spell for that. Preservation. I think I'm fine only having like one preservation cast and it just being on the cleric. Because him dying would suck. Everyone else, like the Knight and Monk, just aren't at risk of dying. The Dark Elf and the Spoke, excuse me, the Archer and the Sorcerer, I'm... Maybe I do make three potions of preservation, if I don't want to feel like constantly recasting it. I think so. Let's see here. We got cruddy reagents. Shall we mix another? Rolling around here. Shall we mix another? Really preservation there. That's one. Shall we mix another? That's two. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? That's three. Okay. It's a little bit of time. I don't need preservation for the front two characters. It's coming to YouTube. Uh, if I don't just walk away from this mod, if I actually, like, give it some more time playing through, yeah. Though I will be first publishing the Sid Meier's Alpha Alien Crossfire stuff. I've got to transfer it over, but I want to add some timestamps for things. And do a little intro video for that playlist. So if I keep playing this, then yeah, I'd see this being published on YouTube. All right, that made room for these vials of god blood. Heroism potions, how do we feel about those? I don't have a problem constantly recasting heroism. Um, anything that comes up like needing to... We have a spell for remove fear, right? We picked that one up? I suppose my mind magic is cruddy. Stone skin. Stone skin? Do I care? Yellow is the one I'm the shortest on. I don't think I want to make stone skin potions. 
Because that would be a cure weakness plus a cure disease. Like, uses too many yellows. I don't want to do something that'd just be using uh, the reds and blues, really. Which would take me back to heroism. Gotta say no. For now. But that does mean I will keep these vials for the time being. We'll see what situations arise. Instead of selling them. Alright. We're getting to just about cram them all in here. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Really, if Shall I start chucking them into the potions. Another? There's no room. Shall we mix right, another? Good. The difference between Might and Magic 7 and Might and Magic 8? Uh. Well. Are you talking about just like the mechanical game differences? Like between the two games, like separate and individually? What? Not just like story stuff? Well, the, the classes and the skills would function different. Uh, the spells are different. The story when we get away from that is different. In Might Magic 8, yes, you do create a party of one and then find up to four other friends. Uh, whereas Might and Magic 7 is four players, like a party of four. You're talking about in the merge mod, uh, you create your own party of one to five, regardless of which continent you start on. Okay, since I'm keeping that, I don't think I'm going to Nothing but the finest ingredients. buy any of these. I guess I'm a little short on yellows, but I'm not willing to buy those yellows. Yeah, we're good. Tell me what you need. Just looked at how much cash I have. That's not too bad. Cheapskate. <laughs> Buffoon. Hey, you tell him. Best time and money couldn't buy. I got the shield skill while I'm here. Look at how cheap that is. Delicious. Right, you're an armor spiff. Any of these armor pieces that I'm um, like, sure I'll pick them up? An Axian Helmet of Doom? Eh, just not really something I feel like compelled to spend the money on. It's neat, but it's also whatever. This, I just get that with a shield spell. That's okay. Just get that to uh, prop up Polly a little bit better. That would be why I'd be buying that stuff. Sure. Let's invest in it. Goodbye. Don't worry. Oh no! With the shield bonus and the chain, his recovery time is actually 35 now. Ah, oh, he doesn't have minimum recovery time. Oh no. Lamentable. Is that, uh. You would need expert shield to get rid of that pedal there. Eh? money can buy. I think it'll be fine. Goodbye. Come back soon. Looking for something special? Thank you for your patronage. Could be. If that happens, I can just create a potion to remove curse. And that those potions are also sprinkled around the barrows anyway. Let's see, that would be... I'll just go ahead and whip one right up right now. Just see how I fucking remember it. That would be, uh... Cure Poison and Awaken, I'm pretty sure. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? So? Shall we mix another? Having one more cruddy one? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix yep, another? Move curse, right there. Uh, normally, I wouldn't like to mix those things up, because I might never, like, use it, and it just sits there in my inventory. But nice to make sure that I do know how to cast it. That's right. The cheapest club. Okay, so we're done here in Stone City. We 
I didn't find any characters I really wanted to bring along and recruit. I mean, the, the factors that I did see do technically give some gold value, but if it was a banker, I'd say yes. But a factor, that's just not worth the, uh, the bookkeeping time, you know? Not worth it. I'm gonna need you to cast preservation on yourself again, bud. We're about to engage in, uh, some physical crimes against you. Duck! <laughs> Little late on that. Duck! <laughs> Little late on that one again. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. It looks worthless. Of course, regeneration had expired on the characters. Well, because I went to sleep at the tavern. Here we go. Here's a toast to his health. No, wait, well, he has a regeneration ring on, doesn't he? Yeah! He'll, uh, he'll regenerate, just give it time. Yeah. Allows me to look around at these kids anyway. See if there really wasn't anyone that I was like, fuck yeah, I'll bring them along, another factor. These uh, containers really aren't worth searching either for how heavily they're trapped. I don't know. I'll take the greetings and salutations. Yeah. An honor, great lord, how may I serve you? Go! I did have several, mostly a seven, but I did do a full one of six and eight last year. Another tracker. I don't know. Smith. Chatting with a farmer. E I E I O. He's getting better. He's working on it. Just give him time. Almost there. Uh, arise! Arise? Right? It's part of all this fusion of everything. As the game is modded. <laughs> Rise? You can you can regen now. It's okay. His portrait is still showing as unconscious. But he has positive hit points. Can I help you? What the hell? Now I'm mystified. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ring's passive healing isn't bringing him out of the unconscious state. The amount of gold they require hasn't been adjusted. Um. Well, that's... strange. Shall we mix another? Fine. Have a fucking potion. <laughs> have a fucking potion. Fine. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> he was just milking it, like... I want to drink, but I don't want to say that I want to drink. But I really do want to drink, and so I'm going to make him give me a drink. You got me. You fucking got me. I hope you're happy. Move! We just got out of the tavern. <laughs> He got to sleep for, like, we went to bed before nine? A long time. Come on, man. Work with me here. I look forward to a future of... What I really wanted to see in here was a locksmith. We did not see a locksmith in here. To uh, raise my disarm trap skill in the hopes that, uh, 13 would be good enough. I think I'm just gonna wait on checking the rest of this shit. He says as he sits here stubbornly, healing, determined to check the rest of this shit. Again, that warning 
comes a little too late. Why do we all need to stand together when you search these? I don't feel like we all need to stand together when you search these. We seem really dumb. Death! It looks worth Let's leave it. In the name of loot and prizes. Let me through! Let me through. Let me through! Okay. I'm done with this shit. Let me through! Or sleep at the tavern again? That everyone gonna have another power nap? Another scholar. A slight I XP know. bonus, but eh. No, I unless I felt like replacing someone with a factor, and I just think that's too marginal. Welcome. How can we help? Get this party buzz rolling. Be careful out there. Just back off! Just back off! Just back off! Go! I don't think I ever searched this one. Eh. One more for the road? Fuck it. Road can wait. He says as he begins to start moving. Not like there's much of a road out here anyway. All right. Let's head for the Barrows. In the rain. <laughs> and with the inventory space of five characters. Never mind that some of that shit's taken up. Uh, we can fit quite a bit in. How about the Haunted Mansion? Uh, how about not the Haunted Mansion right now? Not feeling it. That entrance? Or that entrance? Let's go to the one on the right. I'm pretty sure there's a one up there. And I'm pretty sure I like that one more. Or it could just be nothing. Except for that, uh, that trapped chest over there. Now, why don't I check the one at the left? Fickle Grimoth at work here in the rain. Uh, this is all Might and Magic 7. We haven't gotten the means to cross over into one of the other games yet. We've gotten a letter which I believe would lead in that direction. We'll find but uh, I chose to start in 7, and here we've been. This one doesn't have the path up like the one on the right does. The one on the right is definitely the one that I want. There's a shade after me. I think F2 is double speed? It is. All right. Look at that. Saving me some real lifetime. Rain stop. Woo. Pile of gold over here I never grab. But this is definitely where I came in from Harmondale, so I played at that tavern. Here we go. Oh. 128 gold to head down there? Sure. I was wondering, like, where do they go? The, the shade was done with that fight. Okay. Torchlight. Fire arm. There's a fire R is done. Do I want regeneration? Yeah, I think so. Renew the regens. Got 
everyone gets a bless. I'm doing this so that the spell effect lasts longer. Otherwise, I have to recast bless a whole bunch. That would annoy me. <laughs> yes, Alexa voice control right here in this video game. And the three preservations. All the three vulnerable folks. And I can just cast heroism manually. Alright. I think we're ready to roll. Some gogs here in the opening. We're gonna have some spooky haunted music. Mm. These bats are fiendish to fight in a uh, in real time combat because their attack animation goes super quick. Watch it, duck. It looks worthless. Also, we should probably fix that disease, yeah? That's a master tier spell, so we're definitely going to be throwing out a cure disease potion. Shall we mix another? Shall we, shall we mix another? There you go. Another reason not to fight those bats up close. Now, if we use our handy dandy key, we unlock the path. But I'm in no rush. I could just wander around. Doesn't matter to me. Can't, think it's safe? can't get lost if you don't have a destination in mind. No challenge at all. I'm bad. No challenge at all. Bigger challenge. Alright. Should be more skeletons down here. Not that many more, though. No challenge at all. The fun opening room. Well, I say opening room, Barrow 5. There's uh. three separate entrances, and you can choose differing paths, so. Why don't we just say a, a real warm up for what awaits us in the rest of the bar burrows. Barrows. I know words. I'm a cardboard box pager. I know words. That was too easy. That one was. All right. No challenge at all. That's this barrow cleared out. <sighs> There's a switch that leads to a, a separate level. No, nah, I think I'm confusing this with a separate barrow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. See if a jump can fix this. Uh oh. I'm soft locked. <laughs> All right. Well, who knew? Oh no. Auto save. From the top. I'm Spell. Oh, now we've been cursed. Of course, this reality is going so much worse. <laughs> Bring on a bigger time. That was too easy. <sighs> Fine. Get to keep that in mind as a point for the future. Don't recall ever getting soft lock there before. We're gonna blame that on. 
I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Son of a fucking bitch, what have I done? Excuse me, time out. Excuse me, let me just let me just get back to where I was, thank you. No spoilers. <laughs> That's not a comment to you and Chad, that was a comment to the Barrows themselves. Shh. Because spoilers are A-OK, -okay, as I put in the tags. I don't mean the game is allowed to spoil. Nope. That one was weak. Thankfully, there are auto saves between the barrows, so uh, all hope was not lost. Looks like the club isn't there anymore. Whatever I picked up, and instead there's just a pile of gold there. But you know what? Fine. I accept. Here is a. Shall we mix another? Toast your spell point pool. Go this way. Hello! There's that super uh, bad attack speed. Bring on a bigger challenge. No challenge at all! I'd be taking this more carefully if I didn't have clubs equipped. But I do. So, fuck them. It also helps that we have an assortment of magics and potions at our disposal. That's just good prep, though, because I know what the hell's in here. Looking forward to the inventory management after I get out of these barrows. It's gonna be exciting. No match for me. That's are really something you should consider fighting in turn-based mode, so they can't overwhelm you with all the attacks they get. Do as I say, and not as I do, viewers. Fairy wand of ice. Neat. Ah, if only there had been a banker. Couple of potions. Complex uh. and layered. Mm. Uh. Uh. Alright, that's this barrow taken care of. I don't think there was a... I'm, uh... I'm suspicious now. Let's see here. Do a little bit of inventorying. Shall we mix another? Listen to the sweet music in here. Mm. Technically better than what you're wearing, bud. Have it. It's yours, my friend. Lamp oil? Bombs? Rope? Mm. Bombs? Rope? If you have enough rupees. Don't think I care about that wand of ice. Nah, it's fine. There we go. Remove curse potion. That's not bad to have. Another remove curse potion. We'll put those to the side. A couple of cure diseases. We'll go ahead and put those to the side as well. We've just seen how that can come up over the course of play. A bunch of Cure Wounds potions, which, sure. So hopefully you're not trying to brute force your way through this game with insufficient healing. Well, not this game, but this section. This segment. Shall we mix it up? Let's have a toadstool. Get back up there. Alright, that leads us back mm. here. I did leave that cloth hat behind. 
But now I want to go back there and then turn right. Hello. It looks scary. A couple of gas and ghouls. I don't have a way to resolve paralysis. That would be bad. I think only the revenants can do that. But I don't remember off the top of my head. It's like it paralyzed. I will go into turn base mode. Son of a bitch, it happened again. Scary. I wasn't even looking at it and that happened. All the makings for adventure. Uh, help. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we'll be back there in a minute. That one was weak. To renew the heroism. That lowered. I thought that also opened, but I guess it doesn't. Otherwise, it would be strobing at me. I do have a very high perception. Let's clean this up while we're at it, too. Spirit me away. Nothing of value up here. It's not what I remembered. Not the first time my memory failed. That just leads back to this starting room. Yep. When you get the barrow key, it's supposed to help guide you. See, I made a mention of it earlier this broadcast, but this dungeon is meant to... Not meant to, but it most closely leans into, like, the Might and Magic 6 dungeon crawls, which best lead into the old-school Might and Magic games, and how their dungeons are designed. This labyrinth of multiple barrows strung together. Some of them with, like, tricks and puzzles and secrets. Not too intense in the way of puzzles, though. We fell asleep. There's our barrow key, though. Pick her back up. Go back to barrow 10. Which was this barrow. Bring on a bigger challenge. No match for me! Hey, seven more pounds of gog blood right here. <sighs> that wasn't suspicious at all. How are we doing here in our buffs? Heroism's about to run out, sure. The bless. Move! I like it when you duck, lady. That's good. That leads us up here. Walk into the sparks. I fucking dare you. Easy. <laughs> Good. <sighs> Rusty breastplate. Or gog blood. Alright. I think that was all that's meant to be around here. Yeah. Okay. That's this barrow cleaned up. And we have another key. Where'd you like to go? We want to go to three, boss.
Okay. Renew that heroism. Now we're back at three. And now that we've uh, unlocked all of those panels, we're gonna have a rip roar and jolly good time. Not with the revenant, though. Definitely not with the revenant. Not have a jolly good time with the revenant. <laughs> I take it back. Oh, wow, that must be the advanced pathfinding at work. I wasn't expecting to get attacked from that angle. Well, we're good. Okay, let's not get struck again, yeah? Shall we? Mix another? Alright. Arrow 3 cleaned out. Hmm. Yep. Just wanted to show this off as well. And we have we have unlocked the passages. With these keys, we can now see precisely where the fuck we're going. Do you think it's safe? No. Uh. I don't think it's safe. Uh. What the rats use money for, you know? I don't know. What I do know is that I don't want a single fucking thing to do with those whites. Nope. Hard pass. I'm good. Thanks, bud. Hard no. Strong, strong no. Strongly worded no. Get those daggers away from me. Thank you. Be gone. Get back. Troll mm. gauntlets. Again, those uh, rats can end up having rings on them, so like that. They're worth uh worth rubbing. Give give your local rat a good rub today. <laughs> Ow! What's my favorite uh, mind magic? Seven. It's not as uh, content pack as six is, but I enjoy the mechanics of it more than I enjoy yeah. the mechanics of six. And six can feel a little tiresome at times. Yeah. Just with how many fucking monsters there are in six. But sometimes you just want to throw down and beat the hell out of a lot of monsters. And in that case, six perfectly has you covered. Seven does have its weaknesses, where I do find six superior. Uh, but seven, joy. Um, after seven, it would either be six or I really do like three. And I'm pretty sure I'd say I'd like three more than I like the fusion of four and five together. But it has been some times that I played those. I have seen them played far more recently than uh, doing them myself. Is that in here? No. I mean, there's just loot back here, though. Yeah, tons of loot. This is where the banker would have come in handy, but no, Stone City could only have factors. Out any of the bugs from last night? Uh, how do you mean? Like, say, like the looping music? Yeah, I fixed that. I changed all the MP3s to waves. Uh, seven. Grants you Castle Harmondale? The game doesn't do a whole lot with it, but it ends up being the, the story engine behind, like, why you should go do things. Like, Hey, you got this land now, but it's really shitty. Get the dwarves to fix it up. Now that the dwarves have fixed it up, uh, Arathia and Pierpont care about you. And when I, like, broker you in, oh no, the Arbiter died. You should pick a new Arbiter. Because you're right here, and Arathia and Pierpont can't make up their minds. Well, now that you've picked a new Arbiter, uh, you're now on the path of light or dark. Sure, we'll head to 14. Hello! I'm pressing enter now. We don't have any active spells on us except for Vargas. You know, I feel a little cramped right here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go the fuck back. Breathing room, guys. Breathing room. 
What was up with the hirelings? Uh, there was nothing up with the hirelings except for I didn't know how to access their menu. Then I found out how to access their menu. It was not immediately apparent. The tour guide went to go drink in the bar. So she left me. Mm. When I told her to fuck off. Mm. Instead of just hanging around anyway. Which I had not expected. Because that's not normal behavior. But maybe it is normal behavior. <laughs> just not for this video game. We're not playing Might Magic 7. We're playing an amalgam. Alright, that's Bless is re-added. The preservation's gone too, huh? I only ended up making one each for them. Okay. I think then, based on what I saw... I want another preservation. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... Instead of casting the spell, I'm gonna make three more preservations. What was that? Now that I have so many, like, recipes in my head. Yeah, blue and orange. Just wanted to make sure. Let's see here. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix, shall we mix, shall we mix another? Shall we mix and shall we mix another? Shall we, shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Alright. Toast to you. A toast to you. A toast to you. Oh yeah, that was a one bless potion, huh? I did leave that behind. That's fine. I would always throw that at someone else when the time is right and the stars align. The inventory is, you know, it's looking crowded. Looks worse. As it does whenever you come clear out the barrows. Particularly when one person's inventory is just full of this shit. I'm pretty sure the Files of Gogblood are a sixth thing, though, and not a seventh thing. So it's not something I'm used to accounting for. Hmm. It is what it is. Hey, the place is filled! There's no room! There is no room, I agree. Okay. Here we go hauling more damn junk. Alright. Anyway... Should probably renew the regeneration. How about the fire auras? Let's go ahead and renew that too, if I'm gonna renew the regenerations. If need be, we can always use our incredible sums of food and have a sleep here in the barrows. We have plenty of food to do so. All right, let's go. Hi. How you, uh, how y'all doing? I don't appreciate those enemies being so close the sparks are going through them. Oh. That one was weak. Looking great down there, bud. Looking great. I don't know. That revenant the hell away from me. Be gone! Thank you. Huh. Fascinating. The bodies are stuck. They <laughs> they're dead. Huh. Riveting behavior.
There we go. Hadn't seen that before. That was good. Cure disease. The lich is no longer diseased because, you know, lich isn't diseased, am I right? All these potions of cure wounds, which if I was able to empty out these vials, we could turn to something else. Hello. How you doing? Whoa. Uh, fighting, backpedaling, retreat. Place for that, uh, those sparks there? Chuck another cure disease potion down. As I noted, the barrows do provide uh, quite a number of potions for the various ailments you encounter in here. <sighs> you do need to be able to survive some of this shit. Or, you know, know exactly where you're going. I'm choosing not to care. It's my privilege. Shall we mix another? All right. How we doing here? Looks solid. Here we go. We could get hurt. We could get hurt. Time for some zombies. Damn it. Did not mean to do that. So many more potion vials. I think this is uh, the zombie heavy one. Actually, the more I think about it, I don't think there are zombies on any of the others. As in the other paths of the other barrows. Words, right? I also think the lanterns in this one? Or I might be getting this confused with a different barrow. No, man. They do blur together in my brain, you know? Mm. Oh, the normal longbow. Mm. Hmm. Is it Barrow 2 that had the uh, lantern? I guess so. This Barrow doesn't have much of anything in it. Alright. It was Barrow 3. Barrow 1, though, is, will lead to the meditation spot for monk promotion. You think it's safe? <laughs> Not immediately, though. More potions of cure disease. <sighs> More of them. Nope. Do not want. Hard pass. Strong no. Definitely good. Way good. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Get that shit away from me. I've never seen one. You've never seen one? Well, now's your chance. Alright. Can I angle this? Of course I have to target an enemy instead of a space. Okay, good. That actually didn't hurt me. What a time to be alive. Okay, that hit those two. The barrel white's bad news. Get him, clubs. I don't know. Get out of here. Well, now you've done it. Now I'm another year older. You bastard. <laughs> Now the Lich is 21. 
Ah. Oh. The mind of a 19-year-old. Again, Lich at 19. This is not a door that I remembered. And I'm glad that uh, I got the Master Perception for that. Just a bunch of... Chotchkeys, a bunch of trinkets. <sighs> Alright, we have so much fucking crud in our inventory. Just about got everyone's inventory full of junk. Particularly the potions. We came from 15 down here into 1. Let's go to 5. Then I think it's 11 that you go to to get to... You think it's safe? Excuse me, enemies, for a moment. Yeah, that leads to two. I just turned my fucking back to all the bats to have a look at the damn board. That was easy. No match for me! This was the heavy zombie one I was thinking of. Or was it? Not that many more places where the Lantern of Light is. Lantern of Light is a uh, side quest item. That is desired. We're, uh, we're here, of course, to fulfill the desires of our constituents. Is you or is you ain't my constituency? My father really enjoyed that movie. Stupid bat. Doesn't know how to fly low enough to get through that. Inferior. <sighs> See, yeah, my torchlight is on, but wizard eye. <laughs> I made for wizards. What is that up there? <sighs> oh, leather armor. Almost completely out of room now. Oh yeah. Okie dokie. Do I have enough yellows? Mm. Yeah, okay. And in retrospect, consider I really forgot how many more extra reds I was going to get. Plus the extra gog blood on top of that. It's not used to that coming in seven. Yeah, okay. That's right, music. Shall we mix? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? That renews his bless. Everyone else's appears to be sturdy enough, actually, except for yours. So, here you go. We'll clear out some inventory space. Shall we mix it? Shall we mix it? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Go 
ahead and cast that too. The, the potion bottles end up being the thing that's the most valuable here. Not just these cure wounds. So I actually don't want to drink the cure wounds because then I'd lose the potion bottle. God forbid I have to go to Might and Magic 6's Easter Egg Zone and cheat up a bunch of uh, potion bottles for myself. To do alchemy. Ah. Out here committing crimes. So many. Just... Hmm. We're probably going to leave some of these here for the next batch of adventures. Never mind, this area does respawn, too. I'm all about enabling other Shall adventures. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Okay. Have I been to 13? I haven't. It looks scary. I wanted to go to 2 next, but... While I was there, I was like, have I been to 13? No. But I hadn't been. Yeah, God forbid us just be allowed to waste the contents so that we could reclaim the potion bottles. I'd do it, too. Like, I don't need all these cruddy, like... Cure Wounds potions made by cruddy people. It looks worthless. Can't even hold that. It's time. It's time for inventory management. Long have I awaited this moment here in this video game, but this is this is it. We did it. With countless amounts of effort, we have managed to reach this moment in time where we could all manage a fucking inventory. Are you ready? When one person chooses to hoard every damn piece of loot he can find to make every coin he can muster to pay for all the training fees he's going to have later on, join this local broadcaster, this necromancer, as he struggles to fit everything into his pockets. Five characters still isn't enough for everything he wants to grab. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. No I have no more room. Move! It looks worthless. All right. It's time to do some evaluations here. If you are under 100 gold pieces, get the hell out of my inventory. And you aren't a potion bottle. I guess. Or something that takes up practically no space. Weapons really fall into that category a lot. I have no more room. You don't. I agree. But we're gonna take... It looks worthless. That hey, the scroll. place is filled. We're gonna take that cloak. We're gonna take acid burst. My pack There's no is room. Sorry. And no. maybe we'll take massive hammer. Okay. Empty our pockets. Reach for this guy. That. Get out of here. That's 100 on the nose. Fine. You can stay. Go away. That staff? Sure, go in there. Dagger? No. Belt? No. Boots? Pass. Firebolt scroll? To hell with you. Mace? Not a chance. These other boots? Fuck them. Featherfall? Please. I'm indoors. Mind blast? Go away. All right, we've reclaimed a little bit of real estate. Hey, the place is filled. I agree. Sorry, no room. Just a little bit. While I'm at it, 
If it's 100 on the nose. Yeah, if it's less than 200 and it's a bulkier item, it can also get out of here. I said it can also get out of here. What part of you can also get out of here did you not understand? What did I fail to communicate here? What a bulkier item. We can wear that. There's no room! Here, just drop that. Whoop. 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 Pre-looted dungeon. All the loot in one convenient location. <laughs> just add water. That's that brass ring is fine. These scrolls, sure, whatever. Okay. Axe, go away. Okay. Put all those loose items and knickknacks in there. How about you, Axe? Battle hatchet. Get out of here. There's no room. All right. There's no room. Okay. There's no room. <sighs> We're almost done with the barrows. Hmm. Did I? <laughs> Sorry, that, that, that door was smaller than I remembered to be. I got distracted by inventory. You know how it is. Here we go. This was the bear I was thinking of. Let's go ahead and fix that disease. And proceed. We'll go through the normal section first before I take this alternate path. Let the rants and zombies fight each other. No challenge at all. Hold on. Excuse me, zombies. Oh. I'm being pincered. That one was weak. More rings? I like rings. They take up practically no inventory space. They sell for an amount that is very much worth their inventory space they take up. And gemstones. That's the way to go. Of course, I take cold hard currency as well. Excuse you, rat. Let's leave it. Eh. We'll say no. All right. Now these jerks, when they designed this barrow, that was too easy. And I'm talking about the game devs here. Hid the lantern a light away. You actually gotta move one of those secret panels in order to get to that damn thing. <laughs> And it's a head to the right. Loot the zombie body. All this gold we're gonna have to sling around on, uh... I'm buying spell books. It's gonna be exciting. Okay. Am I ready to die in here? Ah, uh, the answer may surprise you. So we have run out of regeneration again? Damn it. Okay. 
preservation. And preservation on the lich as well. I think the lantern's in the, the center one. Here, let's, uh, hand out a potion. Move. Lantern of light. This lantern shines with the fate holy light, though no flame appears to be lit inside. Yeah, um, that's not the art for regeneration that I'm accustomed to. It's a rather gruesome looking spell at, uh, I caught that earlier this broadcast. It actually made me recoil from the screen. I was like, oh, that's not the regen I'm used to. That's the artwork for eight. Gross. Did not realize we would be having some body horror. All right. Here's so many of these damn things. Have a drink. It looks worthless. Oh, Horned Helmet of Magic. That's actually worth a while, cur courtesy of the enchantment. All right. Here, have a potion. Oh, move. Let's leave it. And then we did. All right. I think it's just the, uh, the hidden monk area now that we're going to have to find behind one of the barrows. Then we'll be good to go. Now, I have treated exploring here like I treat a Daggerfall dungeon, where I just run around haphazardly. It has been a little bit of time since I've been in the Barrows. So, exact pathing. That's why we have the keys, though. We unlocked everything. Go back in there. There's no need for me to look it up, or for me to be told where and how to get to it. We have time. He says he keeps backtracking. Here we go. It was five that I needed to go to. No. Grimeth. No. God help me. Help. <laughs> Don't help. Thirteen? Pretty sure we've already been to thirteen. Yeah. We're definitely already at fourteen, right? Yeah. Okay. This wasn't the point where I thought it was then. These things happen. Yep. 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 Nine is back here, where we started ever so long ago. That's seven. Head back to nine. Like, I'm not, I'm obviously not concerned about it. It's not like it's going anywhere. I do want to go back to one. Then from one, let's look at six. There we go. Hmm, perhaps a worthy challenge awaits And us. six has the onk. Get away from me, Barrow White. Thank you. Very courteous of you. The distance on that activation. That's going to have to be something that I get used to as well in this. Plenty of treasure in here. And note that you could still access these panels, even if they were not strobing red. The red strobe is courtesy of my perception skill. You would just need to have accidentally clicked on it or already know in advance that it's there. So that you would then click on it. Plenty more potions for removing curses and other effects. A brass charm. I actually went into your inventory, huh? It sure did. 
along with that. Because you are really full. Okay. Yep. 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 Before I go in there, I've cleared 13. Yes. I've definitely cleared one. I've cleared 11. Yes. All right. If there's any of these bears that have managed to escape my retribution, then congratulations to the bears. They've escaped my, my justice. Several remove curses. More remove curses than we're going to need for the rest of the game, I imagine. Plenty of cure diseases to make. I was looking at a couple of blesses, but since we just have this bit to go in, I will, uh, I'll cast the spell. Yeah. I think I'm going to flame Aura one more time. So this area in here is pretty cramped. Will not really be able to backpedal away. Very well. I think if those two in the front actually need to have preservation active on them, then I'm in a real pickle. But damn it, I cast it anyway. One more drink for the road, one more drink for the Shall road. Shall we mix another? Let's go. Perhaps this place. Oof. Not open that door yet. But you could see how you would beeline here through a combination of like having turn base mode active and knowing the right path from the start. Either because you played it regularly and remember or you know, looked it up. To get to here, and then just trying to run, push your way down these stairs to get to the meditation point. Because that's all you'd need to do. Once you have a good meditate, that's it. You get your monk promotion. Lead armor of defense. Sure. I mean, that's definitively no better than that. Just shaking my head at defense values and coverage. Whatever. Hello, my pupils. I see you have found the proper tomb. Our follow me, Hume, contacts you mentally. Congratulations, young ones. My final lesson given to you as monks is this. Enlightenment is gained by the journey, not the destination. In this case, the destination was critical to prove that you are capable of the journey. I should now promote all monks to initiates and everyone else to honorary initiates. Congratulations! Before I click that, let me take a look at the class path as written down by the revamp. So, monk, yeah. It doesn't have any wild divergences. That is a seven class. So, initiate and then master a ninja. Alright. I have no problem with taking that. I'm fine with the training costs being more expensive. Give me that. Give me that. Yay! So, oh, Flailfist here doesn't even list his uh, his class title up here at the top. Interesting. Count Initiate. He's here to kick some ass. Even more ass. Here at our beautiful meditation pool. And that's the Barrow Downs. Without uh, resting these characters at all, but they never got yeah. weak. Uh, I think the characters have been in here for 19 in-game hours? Something to that effect? Perhaps a bit less. It's definitely been less than a full day, though. Otherwise, my characters will be showing up as weak right now. 
So it's been a very busy day. Ah. I didn't need to empty my pockets as much as I did because we're going to have some inventory space. Especially with her. Going back to Stone City to sell all this junk. That was easy. That was too easy. Fight there with the Revenant at the end. Ah. Unarmed skill plus one? I, I, I'm using a club right now any damn way. All right. We have brought peace to the undead. Now, if I choose to do the quest later on, I'd end up back here delivering stuff to... I think this? Barrow ups? Alas. All right. We did it. Somehow. Against the odds. Everything was against us. Everything. Easy to get turned around in here, though, based on the doors that you're sent in and out of. Now, we will not make it to Stone City in time to have a snooze at the tavern, but we can make it to this tavern in time to have a snooze at the tavern. They close at 2. They reopen at 5. Get a full-fledged five hours of sleep. Four and a half, really. Hmm. Come in. Drink. I will. Sleep tight. Ta-da. Everyone's back to full. All right. We're going to head back to Stone City. I'm going to empty my damn pockets. We're going to have six figures gold. Removing the Gate Master was the right choice for our pocketbook. Because there's going to be a lot of looting without the value of him warping. Now, I haven't done the haunted house here. Uh, I'll probably do that too. That's right. Big mana bar. Big energy. Would have more spell points uh, were it not a goblin. And also the... The personality of five making a difference. Not that I intend to use the monk for spell casting anyway. Alright. So... What of these items am I like, yeah, I want to keep that. Sorry about that. Hit my damn microphone boom. Eh. I guess I could keep the night gauntlets. Yeah, you're not wearing gauntlets. Ah. <sighs> Blood dagger snuck in, in those long robes of a barrow white. No, I don't. I don't think we. Uh, I don't think we keep any of this shit. Besides that, these rings aren't that impactful. The elven bow is no. Mm. Speed amulet is. I mean, sure. I guess I can put it on. Here, at plus four speed. All right. It is payday. Looking for something special? Thank you for your patronage. Best time and money can buy. Goodbye. All right. There's no room. Let me just empty out one inventory here of the the cellar. Best time and money can buy. And I am getting at cost. Expert merchant combined with the duper is a uh, and having done the troglodyte quest is combining to get me the benefit of grandmaster merchant essentially. 
without having Grandmaster Merchant. I wanted to keep that protection from magic and that awaken. Yeah. Okay. I'm done here then. Goodbye. Come back. Looking for something special? Thank you for your patronage. I guess that's not easily six figures. Tell me what you need. But it is six figures. And I had the banker. Had there been a banker here instead of a factor. Two factors. Thank you. Two factors make a banker. <laughs> okay. That's that shit cleared out. Now, for all these damn potions. How much of these do I actually want to fucking keep? There's the possibility of some great potion mixing 2023 happening over the course of our gameplay. So I can shove all this shit into a, a chest at Castle Harmondale in preparation for that, and I think I will. All these, uh, all these reds can be useful then. Potion of Surpassed Metal Gear, is such a thing even possible? Okay. That's Cure Diseases, one Cure Poison. Several Remove Curses. That stuff would be more impactful on low magic runs. But we've got magic. We have... We have the magic. Just so much. <laughs> I'm gonna chuck that god blood. ready for uh, actual more genuine potion vials because when you look at it we burned through a lot of those I don't have much left on that front and I can reclaim some of them by you know mixing in some of these to make uh, other potions complex and layered How do they not include an auto sort option this month? Easy. They didn't put in the effort to make one. You can always leave it uh, to these armchair viewers to uh, <laughs> demand and request even more features. How about you make one for them? Tell me what you need. Damn it. There, that was totally worth the carrying space. What that? You know, we don't actually... I didn't even bother checking that, huh? No, I was right. I was right. Good. I love being right. Thank you. Give me... Shall we mix another? A yellow potion Nothing here. Like the finest ingredients. Ah, uh, these still aren't worth my acquisitioning. Alright, good. Yeah. This also might give me an excuse to use some of the cure diseases or remove curses before I leave the Barrow Downs. 
there was a guide here, right? I have right? no idea. Did I feel like replacing with him? I mean, I already got a guide. I can walk to Bricotta. Not a big deal. <laughs> they could have done more, damn it. Oh, what if an auto a sort of option exists that I'm just unaware of it? I don't... I don't find it material. I don't think it's a big deal. But just making conversation, right? Yeah, hey, conversation. I'm about to get my ass handed to me. Time to buff again. <sighs> this haunted house is cramped and packed. And you do this for the night promotion quest. The containers in here are incredibly powerful and well-trapped. I mentioned this earlier in this broadcast, but I believe they go up to 24. I either need a disarm skill of 22 or 24 to properly disarm them. But it's not enough to have Disarm Trap Master. You need a little bit more. Uh, we have Disarm Trap Basic, so, you know. <laughs> Alternatively, you can clear this stuff out with telekinesis, but given how the cramped quarters are, it's difficult to get space away from the uh, the containers to open them up with telekinesis without getting hit by a trap. Also, unless you are intentionally trying to challenge yourself, consider traveling with someone who can cast self-magic and someone who can cast elemental magic. Self-magic, very helpful. And unless you're trying intentionally to challenge yourself. And I don't mean an upgraded monk who can cast basic spells <laughs> in self-magic. Regeneration on the sorcerer. Let's do that now. Alright. What's my attack spell gonna be? It's gonna be sparks, isn't it? Yep, gonna be sparks. No immolation. Let's go. Once a stately mansion, this old house has long been abandoned by the original owners. The current residents don't seem to keep the place up very well. Come on, let's go in! Get closer, I guess. I have Fuck. Alright, I'm down the archer. Which is fine, I suppose, because we couldn't disarm Tramp successfully in here. That is what I was trying to duck in my, uh, when I encountered Revenants in the Barrow Downs. I do not have a way to remove Paralysis. Removing Paralysis is a spell I don't have access to. As you can see here. And, uh, it is a ocean complexity that is beyond expert. That's a white potion going fine. I'm gaming. So she's just, she's just gonna be there. Just hanging out. Gonna be hauling her around. So uh, we're just down to a normal party composition of four for the rest of us.
Yeah, she's still earning experience. Cool. Just carry out of curiosity for that. Oh. I forget which one of these bedrooms has a button on it. All right. Since I couldn't have these things disarmed anyway. I'll have to be more careful. Well, I mean, she can't duck out of the way of this shit, though. Huh. Oh, well, we'll just heal her up. I have 9,700, uh... Huh, that's a neat-looking ruby. Huh. Very weak. 9,700 potions of cure wounds. We'll manage. Here's a toast. For the fights auto combat, that's not how this game works. Might and Magic is not an auto battler. Oops. Sorry about that. There's the ghost ring. Increase the effect of all spirit spells. Right, it's spirit. Hmm. It's the... The hall under the hill that has the air thing. Yeah, we want that. The primary draw for being in here. A whopping plus four now. Really? Oh. Oh. I like it. But we are also here for a night promotion. Yep. Hockeying spells. Uh, that's for the, you know, those hockeys do exist in the base game. You have an auto-cast spell. You have opening your spell book to cast something. And you have an attack command, which might use your bow or your sword, depending on the location of enemies. Uh, the mods have simply added a couple of extra keybinds, and then a combat uh, quick cast as well. For something you would like the wizard to do, instead of swinging a weapon. But... Use a bow at range. Perfect. Shove another potion down her throat. These things are just going to be hoarded anyway. Just drink them. All right, open up. Is but a scratch. Sorry about that. Very weak. Very weak. Oh, points plus five. All right. Put that on. Sure. There is a painting, one of three required for that quest, that side quest in Titalia. The other two are in Castle Griffinheart. There's the lever. We'll hold off on throwing that switch. <laughs> nope. Damn it. As soon as I saw that, I was like, mm. "No challenge at all." Well, Polly's been aged up another year now. No, something happened to him, but he's good. Maybe he lost some spell points. Maybe he wasn't aged up a year to begin with. I was pretty sure he was by the Harpy Queen last night. It doesn't matter. Maybe he shrugged off the effect with the power of his incredible luck. Thanks up. So. Nope, no more Revenant. Nope, I'm good. Don't need a Revenant, please. Hard pass on the Revenant. If another one of us does get paralyzed, I would just leave and go to Stone City to get that fixed and then come back. I could have used the protection of magic scroll before coming in here. This is worthless. Put it on if it's so fucking worthless. Tis but a scratch. Well. This is uh this is definitely why we have preservation. 
Hers just expired. Pound more potions. Pound them. Break the glass. Smash it. There we go. That chest, that cannon was not even worth opening. And we have three more chests, I think, in the back portion of the, uh, of this haunted mansion. Bring on a bigger challenge. Bring on a bigger challenge. Right. I'd say we've halfway cleared this place out. Spooky eyes, another two cabinets. Shit. Right. Get back up. You're fine. Perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Totally fine. Good, I don't have to worry about stashing all these damn things. Base tanking all this damage is the way to go. Well, I wait for regeneration to kick in. And some of these folks. I've stopped pounding potions. Let's go clear out the library upstairs. Complete with menacing Barrow White. Ah! Uh oh. Oh no! Surrounded! Actually, the Barrow White didn't figure out how the hell to get up here. Don't do that. Yes, be dumb. Be dumb. Be so dumb. Be incredibly dumb. Everyone likes dummies. It's true. I've repaired it. Good. All the damn traps have disarmed with my face. Well, I definitely opened that, and that's good. Typically don't come at them from this angle, but here we are now. Oh shit, that's the expert pathfinder to work. Ah! Actually figure out a way to get to me. Incredible. blessed. Ah! I don't like that sound. Where ID Monster would come in handy, I guess. It was, um, a little stuff. Alright. No, it wasn't this side I wanted to search. It was this side, huh? I just cleared out these two with my face. Yeah. And it was just the two on the other side. Joy. One minute and three seconds left on that preservation. Hmm. Uh oh. Ah. Hmm. All right, minus thirty. Yep, he'd be fucking dead. <laughs> 
new. Let's fix that again. And uh, we took care of our inventory problem. Phew. A cure paralysis scroll? Was that one of those things that got grabbed in there? It is? Good catch. Totally filtered right through that. He's back! Good call, good call, good call. Good eyesight, good eyesight. I was too busy looking at the the unconscious Polly. All right, we've got five characters again. Huzzah! No, our wizard eye didn't expire. Is our fire aura still active too? So I regenerate some hit points while I wait for that to come back. Hmm. Yeah, that. Revenant? No. There we go. No, I have come from this angle before. I'm just dumb. Well, thanks for pathfinding all the way up here. It's another revenant. Need you to keep walking to those sparks, please, sir. And we have a number of whites on the staircase. Eventually. Oh yeah, that pathfinding is much better. They actually made it all the way up the stairs. That is different behavior. I like it. I simultaneously dislike it. <laughs> oh! Hey, hey, don't get to slide down the stairs to come eat me. You are nothing compared to everything else. Oh, another cruddy. Okay, I stand corrected. You got me. That's not a cruddy dagger. <laughs> it is a cruddy dagger, but the enchantment on that one is really nice. That'll, that'll sell for some nice amount of value. You got me, Gabe. area cleared out. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah, Loisimos, we did it. Da, 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 da. We went into the haunted house, yeah, and we did it. One minute left on that? Hmm. But a scratch. Duck! Let's leave it. Now we can hear her tell us to duck Let's all over it. again. Let's leave it. Good times, good times. Sure, it's not like the extra armor class is gonna matter anyway. He's still gonna be at zero. Yep. Courtesy of that staff that's a minus 40 to his armor class. What's this belt do? Dodge skill plus two? Eh. I mean, sure. But eh. Plus nine speed, though. 
Well, that would have more of an impact, wouldn't it? It would. You take this. You take that. All right. That just leaves these three just back here, and, uh, four. Excuse me, there are four. And I think I'm gonna walk away from them. That's quitter talk. Hold on, that is quitter talk. Wait, you wait a damn minute. Walk away from them. Let some other adventuring party get them? What the hell is wrong with me? Boy, you just like throw something into the boxes, right? Edutainment vibe? I have never considered that at all as it pertains to this video game. Okay? <laughs> Let's, uh, get back to face tanking. And a one. Hoping uh -oh. mm. ah. for a telekinesis scroll. Ah. Ah. Mm. There's no room! Sure, I'll take that along, too. Lich is having a nap. Have a potion down it. Oh no, the torchlight. Bring that back. I could also just, you know, use my 43 food to rest in here. As well, to fully recover all my stuff back. But damn it, these potions of cure wounds needed to be used. Shall we mix another? Flailfist actually has taken a huge amount of damage, and it's gonna take more than uh more than a couple more than a couple cure wounds potions to fix that. This is life without a, uh, without a heavy disarm trap solution. <laughs> Combined with an insistence on clearing this out instead of going to Bricotta to get an archer promotion so I could train up the extra expert, so I still wouldn't be able to open these boxes. So it goes. All right. Reservations about gone on him again. Is there a telekinesis scrolls? Well, you'd have to find them in stores. Money is not a problem. You just actually need to be able to see them. I can't go to the, the magic item shop and, like, put in, like, a custom order. I like it when she dodges using her incredible perception. That's good. Another spell learned. <sighs> oh, there's ho oh, ho! Oh. There's no room. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Destroy undead, huh? No, hold still, Jarek. What are you? What are you doing with that? Hey, hey, what are you doing with that? Hey. Derek Telekinesis NPC? No. I am the the telekinesis master. I have trained to allow you to cast telekinesis twice per day. I will take 10% of all gold you find. <laughs> Duck, it looks worthless. A 
day, the place is filled. Earth Magic Master is not even that hard to get. Because the... It's not like a sorcerer promotion, or... It's a real pain in the ass. Druid promotion takes a little bit of extra legwork. Hey, the place is filled! But we're almost done in here. And these traps are harder than... They're pretty hard. Preservation's about to sneak away on you again. Good. Thanks, Preservation. You were an MVP. I got to clear out my inventory of a bunch of Cure Wounds potions, so I didn't end up hoarding them after all. Mm. Today was a great day. Mm. There's no room. Nothing I can do. Oh, I actually can't fix that one. That's There's rated no too room. high. There's no room. You need to be Goodness. better at, the, no at repairing to fix that. Yeah. We can just get that repaired back in Stone City at cost. That's uh, me being not just removing the armor before I open the traps, because traps can break armor. Have some, ex have some better boots. There we go. Yeah. Like, this, this haunted house is just, like, a beast. The traps in here are rated really high, and the damage they deal is rated really high. the way it is. But it's all done. Gonna head back to Stone City one last time. Gotta sell this stuff. Because I'm gonna get the best rates there in Stone City. Might as well. I'll consider training up a few levels while I'm there. And then we'll get moving to the Bricada Desert. That way I can uh, head into the Red Dwarf Mines. That way I can accomplish the main quest bit and also the Archer promotion bit. Hmm. I'm not going to have invisibility unless I go fishing for a scroll of invisibility. I would actually need to kill the Medusi Woos down there. Or flee in terror. Pretty good at that. Maybe I don't do the Archer Promotion bottom portion for now. Sinking intensifies. Huh? Chuck this, this stuff time our money couldn't buy. Come back looking for something special. Okay. Hey, the place is filled. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Blow it out your ass. Place is filled. Gonna need you to try harder. Thank you for your Probably. patronage. Best time and money couldn't buy. Goodbye. We can sell that cloak back here, or we can put it on. No, sell the cloak back here. Tell me what you need. So we've gotta get our night promotion through this, because we cleared out the haunted house. That'll be nifty. We got that ghost ring. New buff. Poly spirit magic, which is nifty. We got we got some coins. No major expenditures, and we cleared out a bunch of inventory Thanks. space as well from all those potions I was otherwise just gonna stuff in a chest somewhere in preparation for some potion hell. Now 
I don't have to do potion hell. Wonderful. We're saved from potion hell. Woo! Best time our money can buy. Grab this for me, please. Hmm. Yeah. A minor price to pay. I've never seen one. I think I'll keep the team of four followers as they currently are. An argument for not having the duper anymore. We'll keep them. Let's go. And chest I still haven't opened. I'll leave that for the next adventuring party so they have something to do. West that I need to go, right? I think it's west that I'm thinking about. Let's go west. Basic club have a low recovery penalty. All clubs. Uh, this was not fixed. And I anticipated it being fixed. I'm wielding these because our recovery time is... the minimum that it can be. Except for Polly, whose shield combined with chain is uh, putting that attack bonus at 34. That recovery time at 34. I... I just equipped one on a lark, assuming that it had been fixed, so that these clubs did not attack super quick, and I was surprised to see the clubs are attacking super quick. So, everyone's got a club for now, except for Jarek, who's got a staff of elements. I already took the fruit off this tree, right? I'm used to this stuff being ripped off the trees once I grab it. Yeah. The graphics not updating properly whenever I revisit a zone. Oh well. I think West takes me to the Burkata Desert. Maybe it takes me to Deja. You know, I don't remember. It'd be very convenient though for this to be the Burkata Desert. That's why I'm pretty sure it's gonna take me to the Burkata Desert. should be convenient for me. Good. You are convenient for me. I like it. Immediately start off in peril. Right. With the griffins to the south. Listen to this very haunting track. Those uh, griffins are following me. Could... Well, they're going to run face first in these golems and get their asses handed to them. I have no idea. Pathfinder. It's, uh, all crossings of... land crossings of two days, Five. right? Yeah, all map crossings three days faster, excuse me. Ahem. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll play Pathfinder. I'm good with Pathfinder. <laughs> Explorer, you've been great for us. Truly. You know what? Let's put the duping away. Thanks for your help, Gilmore. It's been a pleasure. Welcome into the party. I said welcome into the party, Natalie. We're ready now for turbo travel. Hey, Tim. Greetings. Greetings! Are you here to study the arts of sorcery? Uh, no, I... I, uh... I ran each of them individually through Audacity and exported them as WAV files. I did it right before I started playing the game, so I didn't have, like, a batch converter on hand. And if Audacity can do that, the knowledge of it escaped me, so... It was just a little bit of assembly line work. Just turned them from MP3s into waves. I did it. You see all those golems walking around Burkata? Every single one of them was made by the school. Not bad for students, eh? They don't have much to say, but their tough guardians can tell when a follower of darkness is near. You should see them go into action when one of those necromancers or warlocks wanders to our land. Zowie! Spell divine intervention, the highest of the school. Light magic has been missing for centuries, and there's a curse, we believe, for our lack of devotion and faith to the light. We struggle, and some go forth to find the spell. From time to time, but none have been successful. Each time they find it, fate cruelly snatches it from our hands. Our grand masters have been bereft of this final great spell for as long as anyone alive can remember. Okay, well, thanks, Tim. 
that sounds like a real big problem, and uh, hope you all fix that. All right, I remember why. Yeah, okay, we're good. Never mind. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Don't worry. We're on the fine. Not a necromancer. The golems sense this stuff, so the golems like look at the lich and say, oh, "Perfectly fine." See, making a judgment on whether this lich is into necromancy this is worthless. based upon the undead status is just rude. And the golems aren't here to do that. And I highly appreciate it. Also, there was the third horseshoe I was looking for. I think there's a fly scroll in here, along with the proper golem head. I know it's out. Move! Oh, it's wonderful! Neat. And there is a golem head. Looks worthless. Let's leave it. It looks worthless. Spell magic, huh? Ugh. A light magic spell. Not looking forward to that getting cast on me. That is assuming I go the path of the dark side, which I may very well not. Also, there was no fly scroll here. No, there was no fly scroll there. Huh. I was like, no, I didn't zone out. There just wasn't a fly there. Maybe it's by the, uh, the jank head? It might be by the jank head in the center. Uh, it's gold piece value of an item. I don't know the specific number. Right. Pretty sure this one isn't trapped. Also, you're going to put on that ring, please. Yeah. Gotta prop up this cleric. Since I made him so fragile. His chest is trapped. No! Bella Sale to Schmindrick from Acme Golems. We have made the golem parts per your request. Unfortunately, our delivery service has misplaced these parts for you. We are not responsible for any errors by the delivery service. We do, however, know where your parts were delivered. You go about recovering them at your leisure. One part was delivered to the Barrow Downs. One part was delivered to Tatalia. One part was delivered to Avli. Two parts were delivered to Deja. Two heads were delivered to Bricada, as we did not know which model you preferred. This model head... Uh, would have it so that when your golem was assembled and you return to your castle, uh, the golem stands there as a guardian protector, but it would actually be hostile to you with this head. Now, does the golem actually get any fucking use in guarding and protecting your castle with the, the normal variant? No, unless you wait to clear out your castle until after you build the golem. In which case, the golem is there and ready to smash some rats and goblins, bro. Also, I have had monster encounters pop up on me uh, while I've rested before from the castle. And the golem has assisted on that, too. Yeah, totally worthless. Scroll of front fly. Yep. Yeah, who would want to cast that shitty spell? I knew. I, I don't know. A rustler, a noble, a spellmaster, a ditch digger. Dead I am the one. <clears throat> Let's get the biggest spell point pull. It's actually Polly. So I think I'd rather still put this on Jarek anyway. Okay. Spread her wings. Throw down a fly. Whoop. Why walk when you can fly? This is Zim's house. Now that quest 
that he offers appears if you're on the light path, I'm pretty sure. What is a noble good for? Care money can buy. Fish care money can buy. Good luck. Good luck. Excuse me, what is your Fish face? Fish care money can buy. Totally on the up and up, yeah. Totally just. Yep, Temple of Light, bud. That's Good us. Luck. Here at the Temple of Light. Mm-hmm. Firmly convinced. Grandmaster Verabagic is here. Along with our Grandmaster Merchant. The Master Merchants on Evanmore Island. Our Grandmaster Merchant. Gotta pay 8,000 gold. Shop owners are agree a lot. With that, you can buy and sell at cost, no matter where the hell you are in the world. We just poked our heads in there here, yeah, at Sim's house. I don't remember the layout of, uh, every- of who's all in every single house. I think a dagger trainer is in here? Yeah. And a bow trainer. Is this the tavern? Come in, have a drink. That's Master Identify item. Which is nifty, but I really like the Scholar. So that A, I'm not investing points in Identify item, and B, all of my people can Identify item. So I don't have to shuffle the gear to one person, or make it so that I have the one person Come selected. Come on in, have a drink! Everyone's played thus far, Hand of Arco Mage. Except for you, Jarek. Let's play. And time for a break with Archomage. Get down there, peasant. Plus one magic, you say. Let's get out. Let's get out of my hand. Eight wall. I was looking for a larger gap than plus one magic. But since I drew a plus one magic item, I'll go ahead and play parody. Hmm. Yes, we have the magics now. All of the magics. Simultaneously. Okay, okay. So you're not getting the lowest wall, understood. What the fuck am I supposed to do with these cards? Just play that. Got yeah, minus six bricks, that's really gonna hurt him. Get the fucking rid of that card. That's right, get the fucking rid of it. Huh? Not quite. Not that much tower short. Either side. Hip. Ta da That's uh five of our victories, yes? And one loss. Good job, team. The contest of speed. Welcome to the Guild of the Light.
Welcome to the water. Master Guild of Water here. You are selling a town portal. I would like to have that in my pocket, just so I don't have to come back here. I want to pay money to carry that around. Thank you. Enchant item is nifty, but not essential for me to carry around. Town portal. That's worth me carrying around. I don't know. <laughs> don't don't you question me. A teleporter activates later on. Takes you to Celeste. The heavens. Greetings, are you here to study arts of sorcery? The spell of divine intervention, the highest of the school of light magic, has been missing for centuries, and a curse we believe for our lack of devotion and faith in the light. Our astrologers have determined that the missing divine intervention text lies somewhere deep underground, under Deja. They fear that the current incarnation of the text has fallen into the breeding pit of the necromancer's version of our proving grounds. Oh, what must we have done to offend the gods so we will never retrieve the text from that forsaken place? You kidding me? I've seen what the hell the walls of mist contain. Just throw everything out the walls of mist at the breeding pit. Fucking quitters. Every single one of you. The failure to apply yourselves. Speaking of. I don't know. Hello, Griffins. I don't really care about any of you. Regarding an obelisk, I also don't care about that. If I feel like doing that thing, I can do that later. Grab all the obelisks. There's Grandmaster Plate. Grand the Maker. I think some villagers are going to get killed, though, because of this. This is a good night path promotion. They do have a quest relevant on the dark path. Because there's a person in Deja who wants... Mm, no. They just want all the Griffins killed on in the Arathia zone, right? They don't want them killed in this zone as well, I don't think. That's the only relevance they would have. There's expert learning. Learning allows you to gain more experience from your travels and encounters. And uh, with this revamp branch... Uh, learning does apply to quest experience. So we could have gotten this sooner. For more experience. I think we'll be fine. We're gonna earn a lot of experience over the course of three fucking video games. Master Staff. We don't even have... Any skill points it's in. Enchantments for a reasonable price. This would have been the place that you'd want to save and load in front of, like any other high-end magic store to try and guarantee certain items of worth. Which is something you might want to buy. Phantom Cloak of Regeneration. Blessed Ring of the Stars. Sovereign Belt of Mana. Immolation Scroll. Just a gemstone ring hanging out. More gray gauntlets of might. What about what about our special bag here? Luck plus sixteen. It's it's definitely good. Am I willing to pay for it? I'll eventually find it, uh, you know. We had some of these effects. The unarm skill, that's nifty, but you know, I got a club. <laughs> the dodge skill, eh. I got a belt that's providing a fraction of that. The luck, who cares, right? This cloak, I mean, I've got the regeneration spell. It's our belt of mana, I've already got regenerating spell points. Gauntlets. We'll find them. Let's move for it. Not good enough for you, eh? Take that back. I mean, you can you can clear the game at level one. And there might be an argument to clearing through 
uh, the revamp merge stuff at low level so that you don't encounter so much of the level boosting stuff. Though, of course, you can turn off the bolster monster's effect or lower its impact. I think this is the alchemist up here. Some money. It's just laying down there on the ground. Free money. Special brew is just for you. Special brew is just for you. White potions. And potion bottles. I do want these, and I'm willing to pay that extra price for them. You know, of three gold. Damn, I just laying out here in the open? Sure, fuck it. How's our fly spell doing? We got three hours. Jarek is... Was the spellcaster, and he's not having a problem with spell points. Great. I already poked my head in here, right? Welcome to the water. Yeah, it's master kill of water. Duh. Then I kind of crossed over here, saw the griffs. There's some uh, lamps out here. There's no uh, value into. Hoarding these and holding on to these for the correct month and the correct time of the uh, the year and the day and the month. It's closed. Oh shit, it just hit 6 p.m.? It did. Well, we'd already been in there anyway. It's a good thing that I went to the places that I wanted to go. School sorcery remains open, right? Does. The sharp electric smell of magic fills the air outside the school. The result of hundreds of years of magical experiments in juvenile pranks happening in the same building. It's MIT, but for, uh... The sorcery... The arcane inclined. There we go. You think it's safe? So, you can, like, get a several month no subscription through Eric Swirl? To their bookshelves? I'm good, though. That was great, your service. The wizard bows quickly and spreads his pollen, smiling. I'd like to promote my sorcerer to a wizard, please. I am indeed the one to speak to if you wish to become wizards. Every student of mine must complete a project before I name them wizards. This year's project is to build a golem. There are spare parts scattered about the lands from here to Avli. You'll need all four limbs, plus the torso and the head. Pay special attention to where you get the head. One of my students made a mistake while making a head last summer and gave the defective head away as a joke. When you have all the parts, come talk to me. I'll promote you to wizards. Then I'll animate, and then I'll animate your golem. Well, on your way. And have fun. Yes. Fun. Hi. Hi, my name is Eric Swole. On the information desk here at the School of Sorcery. Bookshop. Would you like a membership to the School of Sorcery Scroll Shop? Membership allows you free access to the scrolls available in our library. It costs 5,000 gold for a six-month membership of the shop stocks once per week. I think that's six scrolls every week? I think. Hmm. Okay. We'll take it. Put it in the bag. Sure, put it in the bag. I like it when money's just laying there. Here's the dock. Scout? What scouts do? I, I don't know which one that is. Hey, how are you? Six point bonus to perception skill for all characters, right? Not a uh, not a travel speed person, but perception. Expert in life magic here, and master of meditation. We don't have expert meditation though. That's a no go. But right here by the dock. No refunds. That's right. You initialed the contract. You open the box. I didn't, I didn't open the box. You open the box. No! You opened it. It's a mini well of hell. Not that worthwhile. I already got our expert bodybuilding. That's a uh, good ranger tier promotion. Expert dodging and expert unarmed that we've already grabbed? Yeah. 
Expert Alchemy, and a Water Guild membership. Celeste is a magical city built by the wizards of Bracada centuries ago and anchored half in the mountains and half in mist high above Bracada. You must use one of their teleporters to get there. You can find it near the center of Bracada. You must. You must, you must, you must. Alright. This is a pretty strong use of the fly scroll. And also the power of fly. Why walk when you can fly? It's like I'm playing Super Mario World. There's the red dwarf vines. There was a couple of chests down here with uh, at least one other lamp. There might only have been the one chest down there. And some griffins. I could go beat them up if I were so inclined. Or I could just not care. I think I'm just gonna not care. Alright, I am here for this, I though. No idea. I'm just gonna scoot past them? I gotta fight them. Welcome in. Let's fight him. We got long ranges. We can enchant these bows with fire magic. And we can just gun them down while they approach. Throw in a casting of Bless, so that our odds of hitting are higher. Heroism does not help in ranged combat. Let's go. I'm sure that gratitude will be felt through the ether, the sands of time and all that. Note that you can travel vertically for free, even in turn-based. So we have our three flavors of griffin here. We have griffin, hunting griffin, and royal griffin. I think the hunting and royal griffins uh, have a chance of breaking gear. As for hit point totals, we have 121 on the hunting griffin and 180 on the royal griffin. 67 on the run of the mill griffin. And after everything we've been through, We have the uh, ranged firepower to easily resolve them as they approach. See that chest back there. So, the first level of the Red Dwarf Mines, we're definitely doing. The second level, I would like to do, but I didn't save load to make a scroll of invisibility up here in the magic shop. And I am... We do have a scroll of protection from magic. I'm... I'm willing to give it a spin. Sure. I'm dumb. Why not? Oh, it's a good reason to do something. I'm dumb. <laughs> okay.
Look at how nefarious and vile that deadly swarm appears to be. Are we sure that's just an earth magic spell? Okay. You sure, whatever. How do I know, right? Okay. Yeah. No, that doesn't go to you. Mmm. That crude mace to hell with it. Okay. Do I also feel like shoving fire aura on our melee weapons? Yeah, that makes sense. Do that one in here. I've shown off just clearing this out before without engaging in any of the ooze fights. But we might as well throw down with them while we're you in here. You think it's safe? Sensibly, these oozes actually ch chased the Medusas off of this floor. They are immune to physical damage? That's okay, because we have elemental damage. All right. Hey, bud. Ah! They're, oh, they're coming, fo- Me? What happened? Who are you? Welcome aboard. Let's leave it. That incredible voice acting was brought to you by me. This is worthless. <laughs> it was worthless. <laughs> Agreed. This is worthless. I just reckon there are enough potions of cure paralysis down, or up here, I should say. Resolve that bloodstone ooze. No challenge at all. Where am I? These are the red dwarf mines, the Bricotta Desert. Yeah, good tunes, good tunes. This track ends up getting a lot of play in Might and Magic 7. Overly so. It's not a bad track. You just hear it a whole lot when you go into these dungeon dives. Yeah, Fly's about gone. It's fine. It was a it was a ride. It was very convenient. I got it. Congratulations. Good job. This is where the elevator is. Drath in here. Everybody run! The stone stakes are upon... Uh, uh, what? Welcome aboard. Hmm. At least on the lower level. Thank you. Not 
not that there's an enemy we'll down this, this path. Ah! We'll find a use for this. Yep. It's vendor trash. That's what it is. Okay. Three more doors to go. Sorry about that. It's my face bump my microphone. I'm just holding down the jump key to bounce around it. Doesn't really help me navigate around here any quicker. Some video games bunny hopping it does help you navigate around the terrain, particularly if you get caught on the vertices. Red Keldon. Number of ooze flavors back here. No. Pretty sure that's something that broke there. Yeah, something broke in my inventory. Good as new. Not even equipped, just in my fucking inventory. Fucking ooze is breaking shit. Like my face. Nothing I can do. Right, I can't repair that. If only I would used a potion of hard night arm! Ah! Arrows are not traversing well through these uh, frames. That one was weak. We got a we got a lot of a lot of folks here in the in the squad. I will miss that armor. Hey, bud. <sighs> so. I don't have an explanation for how the incredible Lich is able to make go! all these facial animations. We're just gonna go ahead and pencil it up to magic. High fantasy setting, just able to contort bone at will. Go! Go! It is a mystery. <laughs> Incredibly malleable skeletal structure. I guess it was only six. You know, it's been so long. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, I got all seven. Good. It worked too. And then there's our message scroll. Going fine. We managed to find a perfect place for the lift engine near continue OS. Supply steam energy. The proper maintenance of that engine should work forever. The metals we've discovered in the lower level are much better quality than the junk upstairs, though we haven't seen a lot of gems or precious metals. Hopefully the dig tomorrow turns up something better. August 12, 1167, we broke through what appeared to be a natural cave and we discovered a horrible creature with the body of a snake with a female human torso. The mere gaze of these creatures was enough to turn our miners to stone! The rest of us fled, and Drath and Keldon, our engineers, stayed back to try and sabotage the lift. I'm not sure where the creature... We'll just brandish the lantern of light at them. Uh, well, we won't be going in a horse carriage. We'll be walking back to Stone City, because you can't take a carriage ride to Stone City. No carriages go through the Barrow Downs. So we get to avoid that situation. Don't have to imagine that one. I might rest. Thinking about it. Before I head down the lift. I'm definitely going to save the event of TPK. I can accept four members of the party dying, but a uh, total wipe would just be too inconvenient for me. Kind of have to renew my spells anyway. Yeah. Do I want to mix up potions with my... What I got laying around here. 
Hmm. How many blues and yellows do I have? Really short on those yellows. I could make so many potions of haste. <laughs> I'm armed for haste. say no. Is that something that was broken? No, it's an eyeball. It's different. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure the eyeball doesn't function anymore either. Reservation. Definitely on you, Polly. And I don't want you to die. We'll also cast it on the other characters down here. You know, the front two are in a situation where they're going down. We really have problems. Throw down a detect life, sure. Unless. And a heroism. And finally, protection from magic. Here's the lower level. I am going to take a break. Do say oh break time. Coming back. Well we uh we try the lower level. Listen, if I'm gonna leave the music up, I actually have to leave that music unmuted. Let's try that again, shall we? Be right back.
I am almost back. While I was gone, though, I thought to myself while I was walking around outside with my dogs, isn't there a potion of, of water walk? Isn't that a thing that exists in this fucking game? And I think the answer is yes, but I can't actually remember the recipe to make it off the top of my head. That could have been the other way that we used to. Or another way that we used to cross over to visit with the mysterious V. Of course, an air master or a water master also could have solved the problem. But, like one of those, like, fridge moments where sometime after the fact you're like, Oh, yeah, that's a thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing, right? Yeah. Pretty sure it's a thing. Well, let's actually get that question answered now. Browser. Is there a potion of water walk? Yeah, potion of water breathing. I'll be damned. Cure weakness plus cure poison? Huh. Didn't remember that one. Remembered all the other ones. Yep, remembered every single one of those. <laughs> Like the water breathing. I can't remember the last time I utilized that. Because uh the drowning damage is so inconsequential. Normally. What's my favorite book? As in just of books in general, like Fiction, non-fiction, just book? The answer to the question is that I am a fickle person, and my favorite, as is the case with many other things, depends on my mood. So I don't have a defined answer for you. I have books I like, but a favorite? Much as the case with a like a favorite game or a favorite food? I don't I don't have one. Now, oh, damn it, I have to step away again real quick. Fuck. It's Sunday, damn it. This should not be happening today.
Wow, I can't believe the gun to your head statement didn't work on the streamer. That's amazing. Uh, how, 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 how could your attempt to force a, an answer that you would be satisfied by? How did, how did that not work in your favor? Damn. I'm the fucking leaveable. Anyway. Yeah, that interruption's been taken care of. We should be good to proceed. I don't know for however much longer this broadcast is going. <laughs> Ahem. Apologies about that lengthier interruption. You'd think on a Sunday there'd be some respect about my time. But somehow, life goes on even while you're playing video games. Let's go get murdered by uh, some Medusas. I cast protection from magic, yeah? Our one scroll of that? I don't know how many hits that uh that's gonna uh, operate with. Guess we'll find out. We have several cure paralysis potions. We have some amount of power. Let's get to it. No invisibility. We're uh we're walking through here. Some semblance of legit. Sure. Mm. Mm. There they are. Couple of them anyway. Let's take care of this group. It looks worthless. Look, your paralysis scroll. Nifty. I think it's the Queen Medusa that's over here to the left that can stone you. I have no idea. Nope. Everyone's good. That's the protection from magic scroll. Coming into effect there. Oh! This is worthless. We got ourselves a, uh, a corpse loot bug glitch. Huzzah! We can get a reanimate scroll for our troubles. Turn to flesh potion. Uh, the normal Medusas only do paralysis. It's the uh, it's the top tier Medusa that actually stones you. Worthless. That's trash. <laughs> He's a lich, okay? He was a lich at 19. He did very well for himself. Ilion <laughs> did incredibly well for himself. Go, go. Never mind. He has incredible facial control. Masterful of a skeletal structure. You, you wouldn't understand. I think with that performance, I'm tempted to just clear out this lower level. I uh, performed better than I expected there. I think that's the clubs at work. Oh, really good moisturizer? There's the Empress Medusa. Not Queen. My apologies. Okay, there goes the Empress. I have no idea. This effect could also be achieved through some haste potions. Or at least a similar to this effect. We're accomplishing fine, just fine. Alright. Here is our special medallion. Which renders you immune to stoning. The user of this mirror is completely immune to stoning effects. Would have been nice to have this earlier. Mm. Also have a delightfully decorated moon temple cloak. Which is... I mean, our cloaks are all the same value. There's no room. But it's pretty. Can't put a price on, uh... Actually, you can't put a price on that. As for who gets this, it's absolutely our cleric. Don't want the cleric getting stoned. Mm. It's not legal. Stone to Flesh Potion. We definitely did make use out of that protection from Magic Scroll. There have been, I don't know, four or five times the sound effect for Paralysis hit, but uh, we didn't get paralyzed. Protection from Magic is still running as well. I would think we have 
I would expect a base of seven, given the fact that it's on scroll, so we would have two or three more hits of that left. Before the protection from magic would fade away. And actually have to chug some potions. Deal with the cure for paralysis. And this is not an area you ever have to go down, unless you want the archer promotion quest. Uh, all the dwarves are up north. Or, not up north. Above. I have no idea. Alright, I forgot a couple of oozes were down here, too. We still have some, uh, some fire enchantment. Remember that toxic cloud shooting ooze? On a bigger challenge. That's right, the sapphire ones do it as well. Small shield. Stuck in the middle of that ooze. Hmm. Hey, the place is filled! Sure. We have room for that trash. Will not be messing with the ore vein. I don't care about that ore. Not worth the time to haul. Or the inventory space, he says as he hauls all this vendor trash. Yeah, not worth the inventory space. Hello. Good, our blessed heroism are still active for just enough, long enough to finish this fight. You can hear the, uh, the lift working off in the distance. Or is it actually... It doesn't matter. Still good. It's music for the hit points. We're still good. That's a problem. Chug! Alright, they're winter spells. I can tell because we're having a much harder time hitting. Bless me. Heroism there. You know, we'll find out should it ever happen. Alright, took care of that. Ended up splitting my damage between the both of them, which is a move that you can do. We did it for the money. Alright. I underestimated what this party would be capable of. And I am pleased to report. But I was, uh... Hey, the place is filled! I'm just pleasantly surprised. There we go. Let's leave it. Ah, it's fine. You haul it. We're taking it to the vendor and we're liking it. We have to head back to Stone City any fucking way. Yeah, that's something that I'm still having trouble. All the time I've spent playing Might Magic 7 has been with four party members instead of five. And so the fifth party member, it's still not properly, like, registering with me. Mm. With my mental assessments of situations. You might as well wear this for now I'm until sorry, we... I can't help. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get it fixed. We're just about done with this lower level anyway. I think there's a couple more by the elevator belt. I think. Let's leave it. Yeah. We're not out here yet. We're not done mm. here yet. Blood drop crossbow. I like crossbow of good quality. These weapons feature a groove table, basic sights, and a smooth releasing nut. Oh, smooth releasing nut. I need a crossbow for that. I wish I knew. There's a queen. I've never seen one. Why did I use sparks there? Have it. Oh no! Stoned! Quick! Now, that's not something protection from magic would normally protect against, unless you had the Grandmaster flavor, I'm pretty sure. Hell that damn. There you are. God, man, that was good. Alright. Taken care of. Well, it happened. <laughs> Oh, shit. 
Didn't notice that. We have a scroll of that as well. Ah, they both take up two inventory spaces. What the hell ever. All right. The game does throw a lot of po like resources at you to resolve this. Let's get out of here. Now we have one hour to make it back to the elevator or get trapped down here forever. Trilodites don't understand the monarchy either. Or, you know, maybe they do perfectly understand the monarchy, and what's happening here is that the patriarchy is imposing these terms upon them. Think about that. Taps forehead. <laughs> all right. Well, we got all seven dwarves. We got that done. That'll get our archer promoted so we can actually get expert disarm trap. Wow. I can face tank fewer of these traps. It'll be amazing. What time of day is it? Okay. I won't have to wait too long before uh, the throne room opens up in Stone City, which is we're heading back to the Barrow Downs. It'll take one day to cross the Barrow Downs. Good work, team. God, and the rain went away. It knew. It fucking knew. I never looted that body. Aha. See all the carnage I've left around. Are we still in April? No, we just crossed over into May. Beep hop along. Head back at the Stone City. Turning this in should start the the quest timers between Arathia and Pierpont, their whole struggle that'll take place for several in-game months, which will culminate in the Arbiter's death and the forcing of us to choose a new Arbiter. Again, we've already taken the apples off these trees. The sprites aren't properly rendering that they should be gone. Not an issue in the base game, but uh, this merge... Plus revamp branch is having that rendered some way this way. Well, the spoiler tag means that spoilers are a okay for this broadcast. I've gone through all these games uh, last year, really, and I've broadcast of Might and Magic Seven so many times that uh, this is not a spoiler-free adventure. All right, back again. Don't have much time for. <laughs> Contestants, stick your case and move on. My court is busy. Welcome back, Lord to Harmondale. Now I will help you. My engineer will work for you, fix up your castle. Yeah, my thanks. You are welcome here forever. Hmm. One more thing. Your work has interested the other courts. They will send ambassadors to you now. Check your throne room. Watch your back, my friends. Just, it's so swift. Like that work there, really. You portal back to Castle Harmondale. It's already repaired. The ambassadors are already waiting for you. It's like, what? Damn. Incredible. Dwarven magic is amazing at repairing these things, and yet, and yet, cannot fix the Barrow Downs. All right. Is there any of this stuff I want to keep? Let's have a gander. Helmet, I guess. Yeah, sure, whatever. You, you get that helmet. Enjoy, it's yours. Spell points plus four, whatever. Put it on. I can't repair it. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah, I think we're good. I wanna keep around one. Do not care about the reanimate scroll. We keep around one potion of paralysis, cure paralysis, and one potion of uh, stone to flesh. The rest of that we're going to put in Castle Harmondale when we get back there. Yeah, we got some stuff to turn in. 
wait two hours for the vendors to open, sell the stuff over here. Oh. I've repaired it. I guess that has cruddy leather armor. This is technically better. Hey, the place is filled. Sure. All right. Rest. Wait one hour. Wait one hour. Wait five minutes. Looking for something special? Yes, your money. Is it something special? Hey, the place is filled. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa, that's right. We don't have the, uh... I'm like, wait, wait, wait. We're not buying and selling at cost anymore. I don't have the... I don't have the duper with me, but it's pretty close. Thank you for your patronage. This time our money can buy. Well, that means, hold on. Blammer. This that time our money can buy. I'll crush you. Got a little bit closer. What I don't understand is, he's getting Dark Elf abilities even though he's not a Dark Elf, and I know he's not a Dark Elf because of his stat bonuses and penalties and character creation. He's just that good. Which I'm fine with. I'm fine with not understanding. I did want to bring that up. Goodbye! Come back soon! Just back off! Get out of my way! <laughs> Tell me what you need! <laughs> Yeah, we'll sell the reanimate. All right. Good job, team. We did it. Somehow. Against all the odds. Some doubted that this could occur. Thank you. Nothing but the finest ingredients. Yeah, we weren't gone long enough for that to restock. Okay. Let's do that for absolutely no reason. Yeah, we will just leave that stuff. We'll just take the money and run. Alright, we're heading back to Harmondale. That way we can uh, see who the hell has decided to visit us. Do, 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 Heather, follow me, please. Whoop. That is our special, flavorful... Oh, what's the button for it? History. So... I'm going to spare us all the reading of history. You get good information here about the... how this region came to be. You can pause the stream and read that at your leisure. Or the video on demand. I've read through it out loud before. We have the Great Contest, which is uh, the entry that pops in to denote our initial arrival. And then us getting recognition. Dwarf King Hothar the Ninth has officially recognized the rightful lords of Harmondale. Which means now Arathia and Avli, or Pierpont as I end up calling them, uh, means they now officially care. Because up until this point, this region was so, like, immaterial that they weren't laying their official claims to it. That was definitely part of their differences, but we weren't getting wrapped up in it all because we were so irrelevant. Because the Dwarf King has recognized us, they're like, shit, they're they're relevant? Oh, man. What do you mean we have to care? Bros, I don't want to care. Ew, get away from me, caring. Something I could have done was train up before I left. Could have also repaired this armor before I left. Because my price is to train in Stone City are cheaper, well, 
Not necessarily. They would be compared to, say, Celeste or the Pit. I can train up to level 15 here. That's good enough. We'll have to pass some time anyway as part of the quest line. Just wear that broken armor piece for now. We'll get it fixed momentarily. What day of the week is it? Tuesday. That's Talarian Forest Day. Anything I want to buy from the shop, spell-wise? Don't think so right now. Do you need medical attention? Thank you, Lords of Harmondale. The Lantern's return will bolster our faith and allow us to continue our services. Please take the small reward as a token of our gratitude. Glad we could assist the folks here at Well Nin Cathedral. Take care. What's the bounty for this month? Out of curiosity. A Regnan Arbalester. Well, how the hell did he get here? Is he lost? He must be lost. Hi, how are you? I need these yellows enough. Buy them. Is that a yellow Hi, too? How are you? Yeah. Shall we, shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Can I help you? you have any anything? just potion vials laying around? You got a catalyst, which is a potion vial. Couple blues. Thank we have a cruddy potion laying around. Eh, close shall enough. Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Shall we mix another? Go mix them. See anything you want? Prepare this. Thank you. Had to pay 50, 60 more gold than I would have had to in uh, in Stone City. I'll write the clamor again. I just keep writing that off. I'm thinking about looking around for the Regnant Arbalester. But he could be anywhere, you know. My uh, My realm is vast. Cleaned it up, hauled all the trash out, rolled out the carpets. It was incredible of them. All right. Rooms are pretty now. Empty, but pretty. This is where I like to store my quest items that are not of immediate need. I can shove the golem parts onto the golem. Alright, I don't need that bill of sale. I know where the hell that shit is. Couple apples. Browse a scroll. The town portal book. I'll haul that. Couple genie lamps. Let's just go ahead and. Plus four personality. Hmm. A grand poleaxe. Neat. In base game, I would save those for the plus eight skill points month. Uh, but our merge revamp just spitballs the shit at you at random. I think it removes the negative consequences. I can't swear to that, though. We don't need the painting right now. Alright. Sure, I guess I'll haul that scroll around, too. We have our emergency wand of blades, I guess. Five emergency horseshoes to crunch on. The rest of this goes in the alchemy chest of alchemy. In case of emergency, which won't exist because I'm not going to need that many damn remove curses. Let's carry two of uh, with us. Yeah. Remove fear? I don't. I don't need that. We'll haul that around. Uh, we'll take this with us. We'll take this with us and this with us. I guess we'll take that too. Sure. Shall we mix another? The rest of the stuff, 
we're just holding on to for eventual alchemy hell. Since I'm not mixing up haste potions. Otherwise, I would really be using those oranges and reds. Okay. You rang my lords? My lords, Castle Harbindale stands ready. Well, that's good. I'm glad. Lady Ellen curtsies gracefully. I am Ellen Rockway. I speak for Arathion Matters Estate. I'll be staying here in your court for the duration of your reign. Your queen wishes to speak with you as soon as possible. Since the war, she has taken up residence at Griffinhart Castle in Stedwick. This is strictly business. Whenever new lords assume their office, she meets with them to make sure there are no misunderstandings. Queen Catherine is particularly interested in you and has told me she wishes to employ your services. Greetings, I am Elaine Hani, ambassador from Avli. I speak for my country and my word is Avli's bond. I will always be available for any business you wish to conduct. Though Avli is not currently in charge of Harmondale, my king Eldritch Parson of Avli lays claim to this territory as our rightful domain. The reasons are complicated, but boil down to the simple fact that Arathia is still our land of the Timber Wars many years ago. We will not give up until we have it back. My king wishes to speak with you. Please travel to Pierpont in the Telerian Forest to meet with him. We will make it worth your while. Sure, okay. Do I feel like tricking both of them? Do I feel like doing both for them? Do I feel like just doing one of them? I'm fine with doing the fort. I don't know about the Talarian Caves. Ah, fuck it, we'll do the Talarian Caves. Sure, whatever. What are we going first? Well, I mean, Saturday says the Talarian Forest. Traveling today? Yeah, I'm traveling today. The coach leaves right away. That's me. I'm traveling. Into the raid. Is there any of these kids I needed to visit? Nah. We'll, uh, we'll just use the opportunity to train up and get some skill ups. Once I do this quest related stuff, we'll have to kill some time until we can grab the trumpet. And then uh, we'll have to kill some time until, well, the Arbiter dies. So I can go to Deja then, collect some golem parts. It'll be fun for the whole family. Parentheses, might not actually be fun. Now, do you all have Water Walk here today? I will actually save in front of here to make sure Water Walk pops up. Welcome to the Water Guild. Water walk me. Oh, there we go. The moment you threaten it, they're like, ah, shit, okay. This time it's for keeps. Another spell learned. Another spell learned. Marvelous. Have some earth resistance. Cross the rope bridge. Didn't fall off. Marvelous. Now, there's some recruitable peasants who wander around here in the castle, and you could use this as an opportunity, I suppose. Since the, um, since this merge revamp doesn't allow you to save and load to regenerate the recruitable hirelings, to, like, okay, here's my batch in front of me. I don't like these people, then you just, because I haven't been here in the castle yet. What we got today? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Locksmith. I don't know which one that is. I think I'm fine with the team. The ability to have a scholar and an instructor and a pathfinder and an explorer, remarkable, really. You don't take fall damage while you're indoors. How you doing, bud? So, Harmondale has new lords. Again. Well, we better write their names down lest history blinks and misses them, eh? Ha 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 Yes. Well, you had a reason for visiting me, right? Uh, uh, ostensibly, you had a reason you wanted to see us, bud. Elf King? Welcome. I understand you've been appointed Lords of Harmondale by that idiot Markham. You know, I will restore Avli's rule over Harmondale. The only question is whether you are with me or against me. 
If you're with me, I will ensure that you re retain your post against me, and I will have you done. I will have done with you once my armies occupy your lands. So of course you're with me. You just need to prove it. Like a famous leader once said, trust but verify. Words to live by. What I want right now is the plans to Fort Riverstride. It's a huge fort that stands between your lands and Arathia proper. You can't miss the thing. Sneak in there and give me those plans. If you can do this, I will be in your debt. Not only that, there's a substantial gold reward as well. If the plans are to be any use to me at all, though, I need them delivered to me within a month. You got a boss. Health king. Treasury that way? Yeah. Uh, hold on. Time out. Yeah, I'm gonna swing up to Athley before I head on back to Arathia so I can get that archer promotion. I think I'm gonna do that before I go through the Talarian Caves as well. Alright. Cool. Let's go. Oh, shit. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Didn't mean it. Got, got carried away. Thanks. Thanks for the warning. My bad. Sometimes you just bebop along, you know? Halt. Visitors are not allowed in this section. If I go evil and I want the, uh, the ninth second promotion. Some folks here gotta die. We'll see, though. I haven't made up my mind. Fickle Grimmeth and all that. Alright. I also don't know what... You know... The one hand, like... Good would be nice to have when the interface can't blind me. Because there's less of it. On the other hand, I don't know if I want to do the Walls of Mist. I have no idea what that is. That's the Harpy Queen that aged us prematurely. My god, there she is. Just because the bounty's no longer available doesn't mean she isn't still out here, lurking to this day. Ready to feast upon our men. Harpies do have a priority targeting of men. As the game considers them to be. She, uh, prematurely ages your characters. We didn't even get any loot off of her. Tragic. They normally do have that, but because our merge revamp has, uh, spawned that Harpy Queen in the town hall, just renders it so you don't get anything from them. So even if you got a high-end monster, uh, you wouldn't get any loot from them anyway. Older Might and Magic games have more, like, like, target hate, where they prioritize you. But this game doesn't have much of that. It does have some of that. I think that's dropped further in. I don't know to what extent it's present in Might and Magic 8, since I have relatively little experience playing it. Just because I've beaten and cleared the game doesn't mean I really understand the mechanics of the game. Ah, eh, fuck it. I'm not gonna fight these trees. This one's on the way, though. Down the road, so... Fuck it. What day of the week is it? Wednesday. Ah, eh, whatever. It's only one day to walk to Avli. I'm spoiled now that it only takes me one day to do these five-day walks, courtesy of my followers. Ugh. Oh, this is... This is the good time. Let's get this archer promotion. All right. That's good. I mean... Good is... Not the correct word there. <laughs> Let's go get this archer promotion, like I said. All right. You have a reason for troubling me, I hope? Very good. You have passed the test. Now the creatures are sealed away and won't be able to prey on the dwarves any longer. You have proven your ability in both sorcery and steel. I'm proud to declare all archers amongst you, warrior mages, and everyone else honorary warrior mages. Congratulations. Now get out. I already wary of your company. Oh, 
glad they retained that in 8. I wonder if they feel that way about minotaurs and trolls and vampires. Possibly. All right. Let's grab this uh, warrior mage promotion. Honorary. Actual warrior mage. Honorary and honorary. I can turn off a bit here that the actual, like, class title is not showing up here in the top bar. I'll get over it, but it does throw me off a little. All right. Now we get this armed trap expert. Huzzah! So I have water walk, and I could walk out there to where these sprites are. I would be face tanking those chests, though. Because a skill of seven ain't gonna do it. With that in mind, I think I'm just gonna come back here later. Uh, there's a golem part up there. Yeah. I can just clear the rest of the chests out after I deal with the sprites. I just open the one that has the golem part? Uh, yeah, sure, I cleared out the haunted house face tanking the damage. These can't be worse. Three minutes later, I can't believe these are worse. How could this outcome happen? Here I am thinking I'm going to hunt down all these sprites and club them to death. And I'm trying to reinforce in my brain that I do have five party members instead of four here. And I'm not used to having that many. Give me a shield. I know there's a shield shrine back there. Mm. We cast the damn thing. I have no idea what that is. What kind of recruitables do we have over here? Burglars! Burglars say they're absolutely free. They charge you nothing. It's possible that you don't read the sarcasm in that. Uh, that they charge you 20%. But uh, just an FYI, they're not free. You're welcome. Lucid Apple's over here. Tempest is over here. It's Kane, excuse me. Tempest is over here. Grandmaster Alchemy, Meditation, and Body Magic. Just all hanging out here on this island. Did not throw down... We renew preservation on our dear... Cleric. Our flimsy cleric. I think it'll be the only person I do that to. Less than a preservation. A heroism. Yeah. It's a situation where having an, an air master actually, you know, just being able to cast fly through a scroll or having master air would be helpful since you move so much quicker while you're in the air compared to moving on the ground. Allows you to catch up with ranged combatants. All right, let's go. I love how I just, like, start swiveling instead of solving the fucking problem. Okay. But I need you to stand back up. Ow! Hmm. Okay. Let's think about this. Good as new. How many deaths am I willing to eat just to loot this chest and go? Excuse me, let me just weave through here. Wrong chest. It looks worth 
useless. Sure, take that. We don't want to take everything. We oh, another scroll of protection for magic. Now that's that's worth having. Let's leave it. It's this one. Yep. Move. It looks worthless. All right. Bad news. I think the person who cast Water Walk going down means that Water Walk's no longer no. active. Let's fix that, shall we? This is fine. Perfectly fine. We're not going to drown out here. Don't worry about it. Everything's a okay. How many hit points is he missing? Hmm. Nope. Oh, totally fine. See? All good. Huh. Oh. Very nice. Some of them are, uh... Well, peasants, I got some bad news for you all. Okay. Well, that happened. We don't really have the hit points for our uh, back characters to tank that like I would like. The cleric only having a 45 hit points is not... It's not really functional, you know? <laughs> I've repaired it. Go ahead and put that on. That said, we got what I wanted. Sprites get to live another day. Or however the fuck long. Need a ride? Nope. I'll walk. Only takes a day. And no one died. I don't have to pay uh, those temple prices for a revive. I appreciated the, how I buffed my attack, though. Like, I was actually going to put a beating down on those damn sprites. Water resistance would have been pretty helpful there, yeah. Oh. Thought I was just going to cruise right through that tree. It did not happen that way. So I'm going to grab Disarm Trap Expert. I'm then going to move over to Clanker's Laboratory and actually follow up on the letter for you. And then we're going to go into the Talarian Caves, assuming I'm not immediately flung into some alternate reality. And since I'm in a timed portion of Seven right now, I'd like to stay in this reality. That would be good. It would be helpful. Looking for something special? Maybe. Valuable ring of monsters? That's not as valuable as you claim it is, sir. Regal crown of doom. There. I'll sell those things. Thank you for your patronage. That way you don't get pissy at me. How are you doing? Wonderful. What do you mean you're charging two for these? How are you doing? Give me that. Ah! 29. Sure. Wrong building. Here we go. Here's our expert disarm trap. Huzzah! Operative skill of 14, which is still not going to be enough to, say, take me through the Tidewater Caverns without triggering traps. But if I do end up picking up a locksmith, that would do it. I guess I could be looking around, but eh, we'll see when we get there. All right. 
Thing of C when we get there. We're gonna skip out on the fire aura. I think I got these trees. He said, without having drank from the earth resistance well, back in Pierpont, it'll be fine. No problems here, boss. Oh, good. Hello. Is but a scratch. Uh, unless you dismissed the characters and uh, hired new characters, like the various folks who are in Might and Magic 8, of course, and they've also appeared to sprinkle some other recruitables. I saw one in the, uh, the training grounds for Armandale. But yeah, you would keep the same party across all three continents. The oldest tree over there. No match for me. Indeed. Oh man, I was doing fine traveling across the ground until I used that fly scroll in the Prakata Desert. That one was weak. And now I'm just a missing fly. It looks worthless. Everything was going great, and now I'm like hurt. <laughs> it's so slow. Want to go frictionless? Let's leave it. It looks worthless. There's no room. Yeah. Instantaneous addiction. These trees are also worth a lot, courtesy of the uh, the gemstones within them that you can sometimes find within them. Hey, bud. Ah, uh, travelers, how are you today? The trees are quite disturbed, angry. The heart of the wood has been stolen by walkers. The walkers will pay him blood until the heart is returned. You resolve this on the light path. Available quest allows you to. The heart of the wood is currently in the Tatalia Mercenaries Guild. There are a number of ass beaters in that building. When you hear the sound of them casting heroism before they charge you, or while they're charging you, that's when you know you're about to get rocked. It looks worthless. Look inside. I thought there was a staircase that led from this side across. There we go. It's a, well, it's not quite a staircase. It's a spiral. Ha <laughs> ha! Spiral ramp. Yeah, that mercenary guild is also difficult to stealth as well, courtesy of how small and crammed it is in there. Much like Lord Markham's Chambers. Uh, you can die for the urn. Uh, but I hope you've got a... I hope you've got a means to... whisk yourself out of there. Or, you know, are just really good at not bumping into anyone. Excuse me, Mr. Trey. This is far less painful than all those sprites. Far less painful. That one was weak. It sure was. I'm so glad I brought her along as the comic relief character voice that we needed to have in this run. Ha! Oh, loop up. Let me through. Let's leave it. We can't have all serious hey, voices. We'll find a use for this. We'll find a use for this. Telepathy. Oh, I can see what they're carrying. 
Finally. Bring on a bigger challenge. Our heroism and bless expired. No wonder we're having such trouble. One moment. I was like, hmm, these things are living longer than I anticipate. These trees are currently hostile to all walkers until the heart of the wood is returned. Well, we don't have that in our possession. Don't worry, they'll grow back in, like, mid-February of 1174. It'll be fine. It looks worthless. It looks worthless. Accuracy plus Let's five. We will leave that. I have standards now, damn it. Okay. Yeah, this is just straight up Clanker's laboratory. Where's the unoccupied Dorad? Oop. That's just a turret, and obviously that bridge takes me back to the other side. Huh. Meet me in Empty Tower of Clancer's Laboratory in Talarian Forest. Oh. Well, I walked into the Empty Tower. Maybe I need to go through the other archway. Okay, let's head back then. Apparently, my positioning wasn't good enough. Obviously, I wouldn't go into... I mean, I went in there. This is the empty tower over here on this side, but then again, that's Clancer's Laboratory, as the note says. Did you consider this a part of it? I don't know. This appears to be empty. It's, a, it's tower shape. Tower consistency. Oh, there we go. I just need to stand here a little bit longer. Hey, got my letter? I must speak with you. It's a matter of an utmost importance. Though even utmost can't convey just how important the matter is. Someone glances you over with a firm frown forming on her brow. How are you doing, by the way? Any sudden pains? Feeling strangely empty inside? Nothing? Well, it's a relief, I have to say. Though I was pretty sure I had the hang of it by now. Third time's the charm, I. You what? This will sound odd, but bear with me, heroes. The name's Vernon, and I am a time traveler. Something rather dire has occurred, and I need your help. Actually, the world needs your help. I am but a messenger, and the probable cause of all the trouble, that's really not what's important here. What is important is that there is this clandestine scholar, clandestine, clandestine, wink, clandestine scholar consortium. It has no name, for it should not be spoken of, and hence has no need for one. We are a group of mages who research the intricacies of time travel for the purpose of documenting the history of our world. <laughs> it's always the fault of wizards, isn't it? Oh, what else do we do? Yeah, let's research time travel. Yeah, fuck it. Just you ivory tower intellectuals. Pure, untainted, unbiased. Something humans entangled in their affairs and fettered by political agendas are obviously incapable of doing. As the saying goes, winners write history. And hence, we've mastered the art of time travel to witness the history and document it objectively. Straighten out the mangled facts, uncover the truth buried beneath convenient lies. It's been working out great. Our archives grow with each excursion, but this time, a little something went a little wrong. Go on. See, personally, I always found it disappointing how all the chronicles detail the lives of kings, queens, and other politicians. How they say, and queen whatever knighted her heroes. I don't want to read about that. I want to read about the heroes. I want to know about myers they've trudged through, about the miles they've traversed, about the riches they hauled, and the little folk they've saved. So I've taken it upon myself to write a chronicle that has all of it and more. I've chosen three groups of heroes whose deeds saved countless lives, and I've attuned my magic to visit them all at the very beginnings of their journeys. I meant to get to know them, understand where they come from, see the world through their eyes, through the scent of their sweat and blood. Yes, literally, don't be squeamish. It won't do you much good in your line of work. Anyway, some went wrong with the ritual, some malfunction or other, and, uh, well, I... 
I seem to have erased a group of heroes from existence, or alternatively, I've booted them to another existence, century, or era. Fingers crossed for the booting. Then, well, I've tried to fix it, and the same thing kinda sorta happened to the second hero group. Before you ask, yes, you're the third. No, you're not getting booted or existentially eradicated. Burda glances over to a book she's holding. Probably. As long as the same can be said for all of your organs, we should be good. Jarek's like, what organs? Your task. What I need you to do is really rather simple in concept. Basically, I know you're capable of saving the world, so I will need you to do it a few more times. Just three times total, don't worry. With the other two groups of heroes currently or permanently indisposed, you've got to pick up the slack or things will get really messed up. I mean, really. The history will rewrite itself, and given the scope, it changes the amount of lives affected. Who knows? The history might just say enough is enough and explode everything. A wild, yet educated guess. So you see the problem. Oh, you, you didn't know you were heroes? Uh, right, right, I tend to forget how stable time people operate and think. Of course. Well, yes, welcome to the hero dumb. You can try to escape your path, but in all honesty, it will be much easier to just get the world saving done. Personally, I think I actually love this idea. It may sound cold, but I can't help it. Heroes are my weakness. And three time world savers? I'm about to melt on the spot. Rawr. A silver lining, you may call it, yeah? Wow. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Is this in the base game? No. All right. Oh, this one is special. You get to be lords. Hear me? Lords. That sounds so distinguished. Don't you want to be lords? Ha! <laughs> but to get that swell title, you must first win a scavenger hunt in a little aisle. It's no biggie. There's hardly any competition. I mean, I mean it. Don't think to wait it out and let someone else win to be free from that little prison. It's not going to happen. Win it, and then you're home. Building a small patch of land sitting right between two warring kingdoms who each want a piece of said land. Hold on, hold on, really. Fun. But hey, you get to call yourself lords. Who cares about the rest? So uh, that's Verdant's input on this continent. Yes. Time travel guide. To travel through time and step onto the past meant to be traversed by other heroes, you will need to use dimension doors present in areas infused with magic. Fear not. They're safe. Somewhat. You'll find one of them in Murmur Woods, another in Dragon Sand, and if I recall correctly, one more awaits on the Evanmorn Island. Okay. That means we're not going traveling for a little bit. There could be more. Or not. Who knows? Either way, once you find your door, you can activate it by casting the town portal spell nearby. It's a good thing we got someone who can do that eventually. There's also the option of finding dimension door scrolls rolling around with other juggets of stores. I think most folks take them for dicey cooking recipes, so ask for those. No need to rush, by the way. The universe is slow in restructuring itself and acting on the changes made to the fabric of time. But do try to get it all done before you get old, eh? Soberdorf, what the fuck? You... <laughs> Alright, you perfectly explained yourself. You need me to do more with my voice after having read all of that? You must have mistaken me for 2016, Grimoth. <laughs> I don't have that kind of vocal power anymore. <clears throat> Alright, Harlan, what you got for me? This, by the way, is subtracting from time I'll be able to broadcast as it spins my throat. Eight... Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits and wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nano-angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. For you, hate... Hate! Alright, there you go. Actually put some oomph in it today. Alright. So, a Dimension Door is a Murmur Woods. That's an MM8. Dragon Sand, that's MM6. And one more awaits on the Evanmorn Island. That's this game. To get that, we'll have to clear the Cleric promotion. We'll need to scroll out of the Tidewater Cavern. That's a Tatalia. 
So I'll get to face tank some more traps over there. Uh, or maybe find a locksmith. Locksmith would be helpful. Once again, the human kingdom of Arathia and the elvish kingdom of Harmondale are fighting as a local judge. And that's just normal tax that you see. Protect yourselves and your people first. We didn't have this conversation. All right. Well, that's our that's our story hook of how the fuck it is, why it is that we're having to go through all three games, and you feel high of magic presence here. That probably means I could try town portaling here. And this could work as a way to get to one of the other games. But I don't have Town Portal right now. Or rather, I can't cast it right now. Let's go! How are the buffs doing? Eh. Let's go ahead and renew this show on the way over. We're heading for the uh, Talarian Caves next. We're just go ahead and gonna. I think I can grab Lore and Steel right now, so that's what we're gonna do. And I've decided that I'm not gonna deliver the uh, the fakes, the fake plans, or the fake Lauren. We're gonna deliver the real ones. I have taken a an odd way. This is the non-fly life right here. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm glad that has an are you stupid button. Are you sure you meant to click this? Because I would have needed it load. Was weak. It sure was. <laughs> Got that bad mamma jamma. <laughs> we'll clear these folks out on the way to the Tidewater Cave. Now, just imagine we were playing Might and Magic 6, so there was four times as many enemies out here. They sure can't, except for what they're doing with their jaws. The trees are infuriated because some walkers, humanoids, snatched the heart of the wood. And so they have become riled up, and until it is returned, they will remain this way. That was hostile to you. We didn't take it, but damn it, they're... They don't care. They're out for blood, as the oldest tree informs you of. Well, they can be out for blood all they damn want. In hell. Let's move this stuff around a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Hey, the place is filled. Sure is. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. We use that for new construction. Good, 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 good. Let's leave it. Yeah, it's trash. Okay. Tightwater Caves. I'm pretty sure I remember how to navigate through these. I totally won't get lost. Yeah, yeah, that'll have that. Yeah. And if I do get lost, I'll just tell you it's because I feel like soaking in the ambiance of the, of the dungeon. I got it all figured out. Fresh human or elvish footprints lead into this cave, and weaves and brush have been... Weaves? Yeah. That's what that word says. Weaves. <laughs> weaves and brush have been cleared from the entrance recently. We could get hurt. We sure could. I agree. It's very perilous in here.
Get out of my face. Thank you. We got a lot of loot from that. What kind of use for this? All right, so we went across there. Whoop! Ah! So much for crossing there, huh? From the top. Yep. Yep. I can use the jump spell if this doesn't work out. Yep. Yep. Wah. Yep. 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 Whoop. All right, we did it. Against all odds. Somehow. We platformed in this game. Ugh. Hello! Greetings! <sighs> kind of expected them to prioritize uh, Vargas, but maybe they don't register that he's a human. Also, a bridge. The faith. Just gotta believe. That was too easy. I think there's a message note that clues you into there just being a bridge here. Or, you know, if you have the jump spell. Yeah, that would just cover the distance. Let's do it again. That would just do it. Hmm. Are you sure it's this way? Gotta fiddle with that. Then I move forward. There is a secret path to the castle ear pond. Niven, or whatever its specific name is. War vein there, we're gonna pass on that. You're also helped down here because the wives, the wyverns, fight the troglodytes. But uh, if they're just our normal flavor of wives, eh. We heard about that. Right path? I think it's Lauren down there. Chest, goodbye. I'm still fascinated that uh, the club attack speeds are still so damn low in this. Looks worthless. We'll take it. That's Lauren's cage. All right, I remember the path after all. Huzzah! Thanks for rescuing me. Please take me back to Arathia as soon as you can. You got it, bud. Now, because I can't warp out, we're just going to have to walk out. We'll leave the rest of this loot for other adventurers. We gotta give them something to do. We can't just go clearing out everything, you know? And this is the... Portal to here. Hello! Which leads you to this, uh, secret passage to the castle. And these annoying pushers. Watch it! Goodbye. Hello. Nope, more friends. These elven warriors actually do pack a, a decent bunch. Back when I was a kid, one of the ways I would slowly filter through the, uh, the Wivs and Avli was I would kite them back with me. Of course, it's not like I was getting the experience for it. I was getting the money. Definitely getting the money. No challenge at all. I 
think there's two flavorful message notes that are in this zone or this dungeon. If memory serves from my other time sweeping through it all. That's one of them. Letter from Mr. Stanley. It looks worthless. He said I. Geokeeper Phaedral, we have built a new addition to the caves here in the Telerian Forest. I'm sure you'll like it. Gain access to the new section, you'll have to cross a bridge we've concealed with magic. Who would think to try and walk on air? Then activate a set of teleporters. One of the teleporters will take you to the prison section, the other two are traps. To make garrison duty of the prison even more secure, we've managed to capture some wives from Avli and a small tribe of troglodytes to guard the prison section of the caves. Be sure to keep them well fed if you want to visit that section. They can be quite hostile. Of course, we take no responsibility for your life or the lives of your men. Our job was to supervise prison construction and to minimize the chance of rescue or escape. Your safety is in your own hands. Niles Stantley. Worthless. But you're carrying it. Like that old saying goes, if it looks so worthless, why don't you carry it? That's that's how that goes, I'm pretty sure. Hi, bud. How you doing? Hello. I wanted to leave, but I guess if you want to die before I go. There you go. Now you're dead. Enjoy. We have to get out of here. <laughs> get out of my way. Let me through. Let me through. Let me th let let get get, 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 get out of my way! Let me through! Get out of my way! Let me through! Let me through! I think the coast is clear. Alright. Walk to Harmondale, then walk to Arathia. Let me through! On the road again. Do, 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 do. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Get back on the road. Whatever. Here's a reminder that if you do choose to rest, rest in the grass. It only consumes one food. If you don't rest in the grass, it costs more than one food. I think if you rest in the desert, it costs three food. I think. I have a tendency to not just use the rest command. Even though I'm just playing casually and relaxing, I'm like, I don't need to use that time on resting. Vernon appears behind you suddenly. Boo! Well, well, you've traveled through time. Uh, yep. Totally, yep, mm-hmm, totally, yep, yep, absolutely travel through time, yep, mm-hmm. Look around, can you believe this town, these people, they're all centuries older than you, or have yet to be born and built? How does it feel to think about it for the first time? Ha! Here, I've got something for you, it's a connector, Jim. You what? I'm glad you asked, this whole conundrum is making it rather difficult for me to sleep. I could pretend it's the worry over the poor goobers I've punted out of our realm, existence, time, or whatnot that's keeping me awake, but I've always been a big fan of truth-telling. Lies are so much hassle to keep track of, aren't they? Basically, I don't much care about the scrubs I sent away, but I do care an awful lot about the heroes snoozing within them, and I want those heroes back. And I want to put them in another time of trouble to witness their glory, maybe save a life or two while we're at it. Hence, I've been hard at work locating the two missing groups. But to make it happen in a reasonable amount of time, I will need your help. Beg your part? You could ask, what value does time hold to a time traveler? And hasn't the other hero's suffering has already begun, or in fact ended centuries ago, should they have found themselves in another period? And to that I'll tell you, stop overthinking things. <laughs> Trying to make sense of it all will just give you a headache. A rookie mistake of anyone dealing with paradox-prone situations. Look at it this way. We're living in dangerous times. As all times are, really, so it's not like we can hide elsewhere. 
for the drugs. And so it's not out of the realm of possibility that a dragon will eat me tomorrow or the day after and cut my work time short. It would be deeply troubling and unfortunate given that I'm also involved in other matters of great importance, but please, it could happen. I don't know what awaits me in this timeline, provided I stay here, since I've never been here and now before. I think, oh gods, now I'm doing it. Stop it, woman. Ferdinand slaps her left ear as if she wanted the paradox musings to fall out of the right one. Anyway, what I need you to do is help me build a telelocator. Doing that will increase the chance of my finishing the task before I become a dragon stag. What? There's two things to know here. One, I cannot return the lost heroes to their own respective timelines, as I've already attuned you to their paths. We'll have to move them somewhere else, or the universe could get really huffy, and we would not really not want that. If we plot them in some random, nicely troubled time and place, they will start their own new paths, and all will be good. Two, to commence said plopping, we must first locate the poor goobers. That can be accomplished by building a device we call the telelocator. That's where you come in. First things first, we need a rod. Not just any rod, but a special rod of an infused metal. There's a clan of Duragars dwelling near Alvar who dabble with this kind of ore. I'm sure they'll have a rod somewhere around their complex. What half-competent blacksmith wouldn't have one? I'd suggest to simply purchase it, but I've heard them Duragars are rather grumpy. And by grumpy, I mean they would rather lodge an axe in your head than barter. Okay. So we'll get that rod in Might and Magic 8. And I'm pretty sure that dungeon was full of uh, not just the deep dwarves, but also traps. Pretty sure on that. Let's uh let's keep walking. See, we cleared the road out. We don't have to think about goblins troubling our caravans and carriages. Life is good. I don't remember where all I played at Archomage. I was just an Avli. Ah, whatever. I have to go... Ah, uh, well. I got the golem part. Ah, whatever. That's future Grimma's problem. Where's the past Grimma's problem? <laughs> it's not my problem. I ought to solve shit. Nah, it's fine. I got a couple things. Mind flayers, beholders. Maybe they have Doragar. This mod doesn't give a shit. I don't know. So, there's a secret entrance in the Fort Riverstride beneath the fort. It's really secret. There it is, right there. It takes you to the ass end of the dungeon. Uh, you don't have to go that far in from there to find the plans. And you can easily cast invisibility and stealth through there fine, just fine. We're not doing that. We'll be going in through the front door. And beating ass along the way. But first, let's go ahead and pop into the castle. The throne room doesn't open, though, until tomorrow. So I'm gonna have to take a nap at the tavern. Damn. That's fine. Along the way, we get promoted. So you're back, and from the look on your face as I see you have finished the job. Well, I'm glad we used that as a... <laughs> Whatever. Well done. I hereby officially promote all knights amongst you to cavaliers, and everyone else to honorary cavaliers. Carry your title with pride. You can see how much of a hit point difference that made for Vargas. That's what I learned there. Just be confident, chat room. Easy. Don't overthink it. Come in, come in. Have a nap. Enjoy your stay. How you doing? Just back off! Alright, very good. Today is Monday. I think that's a Tatalia day. Traveling today? Again, the road to Italia is right here, so, you know. There we go. 
Am I gonna beat up, uh... Wait a minute. Why did I do that? Hold on. I got I got my timeline confused. <laughs> Ahem. Throne room. Excuse me. I am interested in going to Natalia. Throne room first. I know, right? My thoughts are getting jumbled. I've been broadcasting for too long tonight. We'll do Fort Riverstride. Do you need medical? And because I'll have time to kill, I think we got plenty of time with how quick I walk. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, maybe head to Natalia. The Tidewater Caverns. I'm a bit eh about. Because of the traps there, I'd have to face tank without uh, getting my uh, disarm trap skill higher, or finding a locksmith, which I haven't been looking. Take care. I don't know. But I was thinking about fighting Romthrax. But I guess I could just conclude with doing this main quest stuff. It's not even necessary to do this stuff, of course. You don't have to participate, right? Damn it, I need to go talk to her. Please, Grimoth. Streamer brain? <laughs> I don't know. The grand entrance to Castle Griffinheart stands before you. A pair of tame griffins can frequently be seen circling above the castle. That's them circling right there. Behold. As pictured, griffins. I guess they're above the castle, you know. Perspective. Come on, let's go in! It's the Iron Fist heraldry. Secret door here leads us right to the damn throne room. Otherwise, we'd have to go up the stairs and then down the stairs. It's a design choice. I'm pretty sure her father's the one who designed this. But, well, he's dead now. Lord Markham tells me you are the new Lords of Harmondale. Welcome to the Peerage. Now, why do you request an audience of me? This is kind of... you wanted this, you know? Queen Catherine inclines her head regally. You are the lot that won Lord Markham's silly contest, I see. I must admit I had little faith until the Dwarf King recognized you as the rightful rulers of Harmondale. You must have done something to win his respect, or we would have nothing to do with you. I'm still not sure what he saw in you, but perhaps there really is something of substance here. We shall see. Maybe you can do something for me that would make me think I should let you keep your new titles. Recently, a valuable agent of mine was arrested in the Telerian Forest for merely doing his job. They're keeping him in a cave somewhere outside of Pierpont. His name is Lauren Steele, and they are threatening to execute him if certain unacceptable conditions are not met in 28 days. Return with him before then, and you will win respect, gold, and gratitude. Good news! Like, Polly, like, gestures to <laughs> Jarek, who, rem like, moves like a, a drapery. Tapestry, we'll say, yeah. And there's Lauren Steele. Catherine stands and smiles. Good job, you really solved a terrible dilemma for me. Catherine turns to Lauren and shakes his hand. Lauren, it's good to meet you at last. Since everyone knows who you are now, you're not much good to me as a spy, but I would like to offer you a job in the Royal Diplomatic Corps. Please give it some thought. As for our heroes, you have my thanks. My purser will credit your bank account with 5,000 gold pieces for your services. Note that is put into the bank. And note here that we could say, hey, the Elf King wants the River Stripe plans. And she's like, wonderful. Here's some fake plans. And we could tell Pierpont, Queen Catherine wants Lauren Steele back. And he's like, wonderful. Here's a fake Lauren Steele. And then you could go confess to the respective parties that you handed over. Like that shit, and then they'll execute you. And you'll come back a year later, as if you TPK'd. That's good fun. It's a friendly griff. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it fucking is. Whoa. 
Let's not let's not think about what showed up there on the screen. That was that was spooky. <laughs> Speak none of it. All right. We're going to go encounter a couple of traps while we're in here. I'm sure, pretty sure with the power of expert magic and clubs, we will beat everyone down. Pretty sure. Do some, uh... Reach up and ragdoll down. Here's the front door. Uh, other buffs. Probably a bless. Do I do any, uh, uh, fire arrows? I don't think it's gonna be necessary. We got sparks. We're in cramped quarters. Probably a preservation on you. This mighty fort does a superb job guarding the East Bridge from invaders. It doesn't look like visitors are welcome inside the fort. We could get hurt! Excuse me, but visitors are not allowed here in Fort River Strike. I'm afraid I have to ask you to leave. Any attempt to go further into the fort will be treated as hostile acts should be dealt with as such. Good news! I don't give a fuck! You're a conscript. I'm an adventurer. <laughs> We're merely level 12. But, uh... We bring the pain. We bring the pain of clubs. You think you're tough shit? Just wait until you have a club thrown at you, by the way. Here's some murder holes to guard the bridge. I like this. This is a nice touch. What we got here? Air resistance and turn undead. Air resistance. Sure. Let's leave it. <laughs> That's good. Front character gets his face dunked in all these barrels, as he is my standard at this point in my life. Unless it's uh, one of the spellcasting ones. Orders from Stedwick. Captain Herrett, although we don't expect any direct trouble from Deja or the Elves, I'd like you to, too, keep an eye on bandit activity. I have a suspicion that the bandits are far more organized than they want us to believe. Don't hesitate to destroy them. Do not overly weaken Fort Riverstride to that end. General Daggerson. By the way, here's our charge connector stone. The One big old fucking marble. Hi, how you doing down there, bud? Sure. Surprise! You fools. You stepped in front of those sparks. No challenge at all. Man, that was good. God, man, that was good. Hello? Anyone? It looks worthless. It's fine. Hey, the place is filled. We'll find a use for this. We'll find a use for this. Eh. Sure, we'll take that. It looks worthless. Let's leave it. Body resistance, whatever. It looks worthless. Hashtag blessed. Let's leave it. It looks worthless. Eel? Eh. It looks worthless. That's not bad. I have no more room. But you don't have any more room. What are you doing with that? Get that out of there. There, by the way, is the portrait. Remove that. Here's the plans. Ha ha ha. Though, I don't feel like the plans are necessary. I mean, obviously, there's going to be other patrol patterns and duty shifts, but I think these are going to change after I killed everyone on duty here today, you know? Adventurer! <laughs> adventurer. Call yourself an adventurer. If you're an adventurer, I'm an adventurer lord. It looks worthless. 
Dark Elden Bastard Sword. The Hand and a Half Sword. Looks worthless. The sword was born out of wedlock. <laughs> Oscar's helmet is technically better than the hat you're wearing. Enjoy. You can see that smile there, which is noting that she is disarming these traps, but I am expecting my sound cue that happens in this video game when you disarm a trap successfully, and I'm not getting it. And it's annoying me. The prices we pay for modifications worthless. in life, right? It looks worthless. Mm. Ah. Mm. Ah. I'd rather deal with his mmms and ahs. Ah. 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 <laughs> I thought I'd bring up the whole smile for disarm trap thing because, you know, we've <sighs> we haven't really been disarming traps a lot this run, so it's nice to get that confirmation that everything is working as as the broadcaster intended. Hi. Here's our little fort prison. There's no one inside. Couple of barrels. There might barrels. Yeah. You know what? Let's feed him. The flail fist. He just shoves Vargas out of the way, and Vargas is like, fine. I've drank from enough barrels today. My belly is too full. Blue, white, and green. And here's the back door. Quickly, we must move. Now you might be like, Grimmoth. Hold on, Grimmoth. There was a way you didn't go, Grimoth. I saw it. I seen it. You took a different path. You there was a secret door, buddy, but, but what about the non secret door? What what happened? I look at you, dear viewer, and say, sure. Now that we're done with all that stuff, let's go back in. You mean this path, right? This path? Yeah, this path. This path. Let's, let's look. No challenge at all. For starters, it doesn't lead to the actual plants that we require. These are this bowman who has uh, absorbed all of the hits under the moon and stars. Let's leave it. Reason cap, don't laugh, all silly, even in ridiculous in appearance. Many sorcerers spend quite a bit of time enchanting hats like this with powerful magics. The conical shape and eyes in the front of the hat are peculiarly attractive. The creatures of the spirit world. And that property makes the hat easier to enchant. Well that's There's no room. Great. Let's let's put it on, shall we? Jarek, how do you look with this? I'm convinced. It looks worthless. Whoop. And whoop. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. Hey, the place is filled. Mmm. We'll find a use for this. And you see that over here as well. You got that long boat? I don't want that. Get that trash out of here. I'm not hauling that to a vendor. 
must be joking, man. It looks worthless. Leave it. Ah, oh, hold on. Wait, what? That's a barbed club. My god. The realist upgrade. 1d3 damage. Or 1d2 plus 1 damage with a plus 1 attack bonus. That's the second best prize we got in here. <laughs> we'll show this off. Fireballs. There. I did that for you. Let's get out of here. We're leaving now. Good. All right. So, let me think here. We got time to... Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's just walk back to the Tolarian Forest. We even save ourselves some time because uh, we'll take the carriage when we arrive in Harmondale. That way I don't have to walk all the way. All the way north. Because the actual entry road like this... It's a bit of a trek to make it north. Well, you know what? I think we'd swing this. We'll skip the carriage. Yep, 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 yep. It's Leonard Skinner's house. Here's our castle, which I think has unfortunate positioning. You would have thought that the necromancer who once dwelled in this region would have made this a more defensible location. Like, what if this castle, what if this fort, had more elevation? Like, imagine how. How do you defend this spot, right? You're standing there on the parapets, right? Trying to lurk behind the crenellations. And fucking goblins or whatever just walk up here and shoot down at you. Bad design. I'm not an engineer. But look, man. I played a few video games in my day. It doesn't look right. grab the poppy snaps over here. There's probably a couple other poppy snaps sprinkled around here too. Save those for later. There's probably a gold pile up there. Yeah, I did remember the gold pile. Cool. It's not much. What to pay for the character. Oh, there's two gold piles. More poppy snaps. Let's go though. I saw that facial expression, Jarek. What the hell, man? Look at us using all these days of food. No fruit on that tree. It lies. Right. Right. I don't know. Okay. Alchemist. Watermaster. There's our water walk specialist right there. I don't know. Deliver the plans, and then we got time to burn. We'll walk back to Harmondale, and I guess we'll get training done. And then we'll poke our heads in, in the Telerian Forest every now and then. Because we'll have to wait for them to engage in the fighting here for the trumpet. We'll go deliver the trumpet, and then we'll wait for Judge Grey to die. It's... It'll all happen. Murray. What's up, Murray? Greetings. Hello there, mighty fine Dave, you ask me. I'm Murray. It's a good portrait, Murray. Harmondale again. Make it quick, my patience is already wearing thin. The king smiles broadly as you hand him the plans. Thank you. These will be very useful. My factor will deposit 5,000 gold pieces. Oh, sorry. Bank account for services rendered. When we finally win this round against Arathia, I will not forget you. That's great. It's a good thing uh, no one's around to report that uh, we freed Lauren Steele. It's a good thing Queen Catherine doesn't know who raided Fort Riverstride and stole the plans. Uh, 
tippy toes. And ragdoll down. Every now and then you'll notice these very leaders here look to her right or left. Huh. Maybe, uh... Maybe... Maybe the mod speeds this up. So that you're not killing real-life time. To kill in-game time, huh? My lords, I have an urgent message from the Arathian ambassador for you. I am told it has details of an important event that is happening right now and that you should read it immediately. Here's the letter. Greetings. Years ago in a previous war, the elves stole an artifact from us during a raid. They've managed to hide this artifact away since, but now they decided to move it into the Telerian Caves for safekeeping. We sent a raiding party of our own to get the artifact from them before they're able to get in the caves. I would ask that you assist our forces in assuring the, the artifact's return. Thank you, Ellen Rockway. Imagine the stones on this messenger to wait outside this castle in this zone to hand me this letter. Incredible. All right, let's go for fetch to trumpet. We could then deliver it to the Elf King or Queen Catherine for a a bounty, a ransom. I think it's ten thousand gold. We're doing all right for money right now. This gold is to pay for leveling up and spell books and skill training, and there will certainly be a price tag attached on all those. the sounds of fighting up here. There we go. It's like, oh shit, he heard us. Time in, time in. <laughs> or rather, didn't hear them. The human forces typically get smoked. The conscripts and skull soldiers do not do well against these elven defenders and warriors. You gonna, you gonna send everyone in? Hold on, let me help. don't really think I helped there. Who wins in this ultimate clash? Have an arch trumpet. Charges, 65,536. <laughs> Quest item, an artifact from a previous elf human dispute lost by Terrence Griffinhart in a daring nighttime raid by elvish forces. Rumor has it that no army that has fought on the side of this trumpet's music has ever been defeated. Even if the rumor is false, it will certainly boost morale on either side. What do you mean we can't use it? Come on. Come on. We just... Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I misremembered, or maybe... Maybe today. Humans reign supreme, cuz... Okay. Well... Let me just clean this up. Don't worry about it. I got, I got, I got this. Hold up. Oh, excuse, excuse. Let me just, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of that for you. Don't, you don't have to, you don't have to worry about that. Let me just, yep, take, just clean those elves right up for you. Yep. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, y'all have a blessed day. Yep. <laughs> I know, right? No, I can't. Ridiculous. Base scheme doesn't have the charges count listed there. And I must be thinking of a different instrument. I thought you could toot on that damn drop, but... Oh well. Well, uh, we'll leave that body behind. They've, uh, they've done a great job surrounding that. You know, perhaps there is an alternate timeline Verdant has been exploring that, uh... that has uh, different levels of fashion which result in... Fully clad individuals. I suppose it is the s the sweltering month of May. All right. Well, anyway, let's go deliver this to the arbiter. What day is it? Wednesday. 
Need a ride. That's Avli Day. We don't get bonus gold, but it should be mine. I walked in and took it fair and square. <laughs> Those are the rules. Here, have have a couple of apples. Plenty of food for the road. This is almost like old times, me walking around every damn where in this game. I say as I... It's almost like old times, because you know I have five party members. Move it! We're all wielding clubs. One of the most terrifying weapons in this video game. <laughs> How dare that not be fixed? At the very least, I would have figured Greyface's patches that's integrated in with the... Like, the mod in the revamp branch had fixed that. We should not be attacking this quirk with plate mail on, or on in particular. But we are. Another weapon is crud. We can enchant it with a fire aura, and it goes really quick. Is, is, it, is there a... Uh -huh. What are you doing out here, buddy? Oh, that's the Regnan Arbalester. Right. Well, I think you were for the month of April instead of May. It's a really cool feature, by the way. The town hall actually gives you a bounty and then spawns that person in the zone. It makes sense. Why would the town, why would the people of the town care unless that person were, or that monster were here and causing a problem? Go club him. One day, well, fists, fists will be better. Every time 47, we're working on it. But until that day, club. Welcome back, my lords. You are wise to return the trumpet to me. Now I can use it to help shore up the weak side in this conflict and promote peace. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad I could assist. Well, feel like our work here is done. The day's been saved. Mission accomplished. I'm gonna poke my head in the castle, Harmondale, and speak with the ambassadors. And I'm gonna poke my head out and see whether the Arbiter's dead. Because if he is, that really does mean this, uh... This merge mod is like, I don't have time for this shit. You did it all. Screw the months of waiting. Which... Sure. Does mean that my training time I was gonna budget in. Oh well. I didn't even finish the sentence. The hell of the sentence. Let's see, you change your bounty for the that was the Oh no, that was this month's bounty. Sweet. Congratulations on defeating the Regnant Arbalester. Here's the thirty one hundred gold. Thirty one hundred gold for that is Sure. If you want the evil ranger promotion in this game, you have to have a 10,000 gold in earned bounties. On the flip side, this is the New World Computing logo. What's a 3DO logo? Ever since the timeline thing, my, my brain is just frazzled. Hi. The Queen is very pleased with you. The rescue operation went well, and Lauren can no longer be held as a bargaining chip for that wicked King Parson. When the current Harmondale conflict is over, I'm sure the Queen will reward you for your aid. I've heard of your daring infiltration of Fort Riverstride. Yes. Infiltration, that's what happened. I am impressed. Our strategists are analyzing the plans now. Thank you, Ariaro. And they say the information will be use very useful in any assault they mount against the fort. You have Adley's gratitude. Now... If you delivered the false things, the ambassadors would be like, yeah, we caught it. You, we, we acknowledge that those sorts of things are going to happen. We've got our eye on you. But like the XCOM council, we will be watching. This is worthless. I know, right? They are worthless. Y 
you. Have an arm. Quixote is like, we gotta we gotta go slay Romthrax anytime soon, and I'm like, please, we've already killed a dragon. My lords, I have been dispatched by the ambassadors from Arathian Adley to inform you of Judge Gray's untimely death. We believe it was a heart attack, and there is no reason to suspect foul play. <laughs> what an intergalactically stupid sentence. Like, it's just... You can't sell me on that sentence. Like, the only way you could convince me that sentence was true is if I were in, like, a group role-playing game, right? And an NPC told me that sentence, and the Game Master looked me dead in the eye and said, I promise you. I promise you, it's true. <laughs> and I would go, Okay! You're the Game Master! This is God telling me it is so! Because I have an infinite number of reasons to spec foul play. Just... Oh, I don't know. Is the ongoing war between Arathi and Avli? The Wizards of Bracada and the Necromancers of Dasia? You know, there's a lot of powerful influences on this continent. You figure... You, you, you know, you know... I, whatever, whatever, no. No, it's cool. No, no. Well, that's a good point, Prince Cosmo. His face is incredulous. Like, uh, yes. We believe it was a heart attack, and there is no reason to suspect foul play. My family is being kept hostage. Help me, please. However, they wish to speak to you at once and urge you to return to your castle. They have declared a truce until a successor can be found for Judge Gray. Okay, that is, that is definitive then. Merge mod revamp does not has no time to waste. We, I guess that's time travel for you. Let's walk back in and speak with the uh, speak with the kids. Ah, uh, greetings. My lords, I am Ambassador Wright from Bracada. You know, the wizards on Arathia's south southern border. You become very important persons. Since Judge Grey died in your lands, you must choose another arbiter to help settle the dispute between Arathia and Avli. I formally invite you to visit Bracada and Miss Beat Judge Fairweather, who we strongly recommend for the post. I don't mean to be pushy, but I'm sure you understand your choice will affect future relations between our two governments. Okay, so Harmondale is a little distant from both Bracada and Deja, so you can't immediately influence the situation, right? Of course, now, you do have a bunch of wizards, and wizards got a lot going on for them. Like time travel, apparently. Hmm, hold that thought. If I continue to play through the merge stuff, then yeah, I'll shift it over to YouTube. If I just end up going to, like, a careening halt and not playing through it more, then I wouldn't see the point. I'll certainly highlight it, but whether it gets shifted over just depends on whether I continue to explore this. Uh, uh, excuse you? What is this? <laughs> Whatever. A pleasure to meet you, my lords. My name is Ambassador Scale, and I represent Deja, the land of the Necromancers Northwest of Arathia. This is happening because, uh... Normally, these line breaks aren't here, and this would be a solid wall of text, but how the presentation is working for this has there being a bunch of line breaks, which results in this. My name is Ambassador Scale, and I represent Deja, the land of the Necromancers, Northwest of Arathia. Now, I know what you're thinking. Necromancy. Yuck. Isn't that death magic? Well, it is, but we merely pursue knowledge for it is own sake. <laughs> Rather noble, if you ask me. We're not so bad. You should speak with some of the fellows. They really know how to party. The ambassador forced a smile. <laughs> I invite you to visit Deja. When Judge Grey died, you became the ones who must choose a successor. We have someone in mind who will encourage our enemies to... Uh, bring this terrible war to an end. Yes. 
I urge you to choose Judge Sleed. It would mean so much to us, and we could do so much for you. Think about it, but don't think too long. So, the Bracada Ambassador is pretty forthright, but there's also the, the looming big staff of wizard threat, uh, which is very much conveyed in the message. This guy is clearly a worse ambassador. This whole statecraft thing, he's, uh, like, it could be, like, like, three kids in, like, a flesh costume, for all I know, right? <laughs> like, he's clearly worse at it, but he's also, like, yeah, we could help each other and work together. We're not gonna kick the shit out of you if you say no. I mean, I mean, come on, we're not so bad. We were not a party. Anyway, they can stay here. They can they can remain waiting. Until Fickle Grimoth makes up his mind. They'll just have to stay there. Forever. Alright. Ah. Inventory management? No. <laughs> I will not. Straight up to level 50. That's uh, what we're capped at here in the Emerald Isle. Uh, Armadale, excuse me. Need some training? Yeah, train me. Note the increased prices uh, due to the, the first promotion. Which would be a reason for why you would want to delay that promotion, so you have cheaper training costs. And that, that cost is not insignificant, and will continue to escalate at higher levels. I'm still trying to determine why the goblin's price is so much higher, though. Yeah, whatever. I know why his price is cheaper. He has the expert merchant. That's the ticket. 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 Need some training? The uh the goblin that we saw in here earlier, who would offer to join our team. I'm noting that she's not actually here anymore. Maybe they travel and wander around. We're actually not even through May with uh the trading. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good show, I say. I didn't grab Arms Master Expert. But we can do that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that repair item mastered. Or get on the road to that. Learning skill. Let's work on this stuff. That'll give me more of an incentive to head to Evan Morn Island. As the unarmed master and dodging master are both there. You! We've already got the minimum skill level that we require for Disarm Trap Master, but I naturally won't be getting that into our second promotion. How much of an extra investment do I want to place in the skill for her? It's not like I have anything else I'm going to be doing with her skill points anyway, other than eventually Grandmastering Chain. Uh, mastering Learning, I guess. A weapon skill, most likely a spear? Probably combine it with a sword or a dagger. I think I'm going to hold off on that, because uh, between sessions I'm going to crack open the files and check to confirm what the Tidewater Cavern skill level requirement is for disarming traps. I can't remember whether it's 16 or 18. That's one locksmith away. You, we are going up in that, then switching over to spirit magic. Deja will be wanting to visit for some things we are missing, for sure. And you. Start heading down the water magic path. So I'm definitely wanting to be into Talia next. I 
could still end with fighting Romfrex, though. Ah, fuck it. I started... I clicked the start broadcasting button eight hours ago. Allow me to recalibrate, refresh my throat after the reading I've done in the Harlan Ellison hate I channeled. We've done it a lot today. In our casual plotting, exploring through, we cleared out all the barrows, we've done some of the main quest stuff, we got our hook for the other games and how we might eventually get to those. Detalia is where we should be heading next. Uh, that way we can get the map to Evanmourne Island for the cleric promotion so that we can actually go to Evanmourne Island. And along the way, maybe I'll decide between light and dark. I have run out of save slots. Oh no. Beginnings. End of session two. The treat! Go! We had our fun. Plenty of hit points now. We're ready to continue rocking faces, and at some point in time, I will swap off of these clubs. For that time... Maybe at the end of next session. At least for Flailfist. Okay.